Hello. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> we are allowed to share the werewolf pack. I'm so excited. I always love early access streams. Everyone's gonna have such a good time. I've got so many secrets I can share with you, you know? <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Hey, Pepsi, by the way, thanks for the 49 months and Eclipse with the 13 months, Ollie with the 16 months. KK, thank you for the 21 months too. Oh my goodness. Show Greg <laughs> the way the chat's like, Greg, forget anything else, Greg. You know what, besties, I was, um, I'm on the same page as you. The first thing that I wanna do today is try and have Vlad woohoo Greg. I'm, I'm dead serious. That is the first thing that I want to do today is try and have Vlad woohoo Greg. <laughs> so don't worry. We're all on the same page. <laughs> that is um, the, the real reason we're all here today is specifically for Vlad and Greg. So that is my goal. Susie is making my dreams come true. <laughs> um, we can look at Greg's human form too. It should be fun. Um, but anyway, welcome in everybody. It's good to see you. Um, I warn you, I literally just posted a YouTube video, so, oops, shh, Simsy, shh. Um, <laughs> it's always fun. The embargo literally just lifted like one minute ago, so everyone can start posting their werewolf content and stuff. Um, so we have a lot to look forward to. It should be fun. Um, thank you all for the subs and stuff, by the way. Uh, I'm concerned that I'm going to miss them. <laughs> so bear with me, bear with me. Um, but besties, we got werewolves in The Sims 4. So, shh. We've got werewolves in The Sims 4. <laughs> Um, I don't even know where to begin, really. Like I said, I think the first thing that I want to do is try and have Vlad woohoo with Greg, which is not really probably the same thing that most people want to do. No, this is not Greg. This is just somebody. This is not Greg. I don't know who this is. <laughs> this is... It's a sim that I have not made yet. <laughs> um, but the cast is quite cool, isn't it? Like, the moon and stuff. Um, they're just as annoying as vampires and spellcasters with, like, the the animations um <laughs> so uh no one's surprised but you know show you greg is that really what you want first well maybe we'll do a poll in a sec give me a minute we gotta like you know come into the stream chat for a second <laughs> we are we just started you know <laughs> and then i'll um I'll, I'll walk you through no floating simsy watermark no like good so you're thinking about the expansion packs the way that early access works with a pack like this this is like normal early access i have this pack in my regular game um it's not anything like uh like the expansion pack early access you're thinking of when there's a weird floating watermark that says lil simsy that's when i've got like mega early access for an expansion pack um, and with those, they, this is because of the pandemic, instead of flying us out to their studios to play it, they would give us, like, a separate version of The Sims in our game that had just the base game and the expansion pack and also that weird watermark. Um, but this isn't, we don't need that, because that, this is just in my game. The pack comes out tomorrow, it's not, like, you know, that big of a deal, <laughs> so, um, it's just a regular code and stuff. Um, but hey, we've got werewolves, by the way. See, the howling is annoying! Look, why do they do it so much? <laughs> They literally howl so much. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> you can turn this off. The cheat is cast clock speed zero, I think. Yeah, and then that freezes them. Um, so if you're ever super annoyed at um, at your sims moving too much in cast, um, you can put it back by doing one. Uh, but you could put, like, you know, in between zero and one to make them stop moving. So... <laughs> Uh, that would save you a little bit of pain. You'll notice, like, the sim gurus that posted on Twitter, um, like, sim guru Kimmy and them, they were doing a bunch of, um, like, really cool werewolf painting things. <laughs> um, like, posting, like, speed paints of, of making custom werewolves. I'll show you one of them. Let me pull it up. Um, but they were doing these, like, really cool speed paints of making werewolves. Um, but obviously, like, I'm actually impressed that they didn't, um, freeze theirs because... Look, oops, too far. It's actually blinking and stuff. But if you ever need to do something like this and you're stressed about the game moving too much, um, don't worry. <laughs> Cast clock speed zero, that'll help you. Um, anyway, so I was thinking the first thing that I wanted to do today, I wanted to give people a chance to come into the stream. Um, I was thinking that the first thing I would like to do today is try and have Vlad 
woohoo with Greg. Realistically, that is not a very smart first thing to do. <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm gonna do it, probably. <laughs> I'm like, forget Cass. Vlad and Greg, <laughs> you know? Forget anything else. We don't need anything else. Vlad and Greg. You forget who is Greg again? Oh, I'll show you. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> You'll find out who Greg is. Don't worry. I, I'll show you. <laughs> Just give me a sec. All right, let me load into Vlad's house, though. Uh, Rainbow, Riz, Francie, Sarah, Abby, Drift. Oh god, I can't even- I'm sorry. I'm gonna- I think I've missed all the subs. Thank you all so much, chat, for subscribing and stuff in the beginning of the stream. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, Vlad, my dear, it being- it being daytime is extremely annoying. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll play in a different household until it's later in the day. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you Greg from the other household. That'll be better. Let me show you the- the town. That'll be a good place to start. Moonwood Mill. We're getting a lot of worlds, by the way. It's like, it's it's becoming, um, overwhelming. <laughs> when you look at, like, the list of them, you know, it's like, whoa. <laughs> that is long. <laughs> anyway. Moonwood Mill is the new world that came with this pack. Um, it's got five lots. One of them is a townie house up here in the back. Um, one of them's a starter home. There's a library that also kind of has, like, an attached gym. Um, there's a bar that has, like, a werewolf bunker at the bottom, and there's an empty lot. Um, which is quite cool. And also, this map view, it shows a lot of the rest of the town that is playable, but not, like, a lot lot, if you know what I mean. Um, much like how a lot of the other packs have been in the past. Um, so, like, this area, this is all playable space. Um, you're si oh, you can't see my mouse. This area is all playable space. Like, this is, like, a werewolf sparring pit, so you can be down there. Um, you can get up to the top of this mountain, your sims can swim in this lake. This is where, uh, where Greg lives. He's out here in the back. So these aren't, like, lots, but they're kind of, like, fake lots. I kind of compared the Greg thing to, if you're familiar with Cottage Living, if you've played Cottage Living, you know how um, there's that house... What's his face? The guy, like, the little guy who sells the, the llama clothes and stuff. You know how he has a house, but it's not really a lot? And it's not, like, a house that you can go into, but he's got, like, a visual of a house, and he, like, hangs out in his garden? Michael Bell, thank you. Um... The creature keeper, Michael Bell. It's kind of like him, where, like, he's in the town, he doesn't have a real lot, but he's got, like, an area that he sort of hangs around, um, he's got relationship with people, um, so you can think of Greg as being like that, um, so it's interesting, because then you can access this area without a loading screen, which is kind of nice, um, and also he can kind of just be around the whole town. Um, I will say, I am not surprised by the number of lots in this pack. Like, it being five is the same as we had in, like, Glimmerbrook with Realm of Magic. They had five. Um, same as Vampires, we had five. But what I will say is this world feels like ten times the size of, of these ones. Like, when I think back on this Vampires world, I'm like, oh my god, this sucks. Like, this one is so boring compared to the new one. Because this is just, like, five houses kind of around, like, a little town square. And there's nothing else, you know? But with the new one, the new one has, like... Oh, hey, Soros, thanks for the raid! Um, the new one's got, like, two community lots. It's got all this open space you can visit. You can swim in it and stuff. Like, this, the new world feels so much bigger than the vampire's world. It's like, you can't even compare them. Like, I, I said this in my review video I posted just now, but, like, basically... I, I feel silly that I've had such a high opinion of the vampire pack for so long. Because I don't really play with vampires, but I I felt very strongly that vampires was, like, really good. Like, it was one of the, the better, if not the best game pack for The Sims 4. Now I look back on that and I'm like, vampires sucks. It sucks. <laughs> They've got, like, half as much stuff as, as this one does. Um, the werewolf pack came with, like, way more stuff. <laughs> the world feels way more immersive. It's, like, way cooler. Um... So that's fun. That part is kind of nice. Um, vampires do suck. Yeah, quite literally, vampires suck. Um, that's kind of like the whole thing of them, is that they suck. Um, so... <laughs> Get it? Because, you know, this, they suck your blood. Anyway, um, so basically I'm impressed by this world. I think the other thing about the world that I like so much is that because they had James do the lots, like a simmer built the lots instead of, like, the sims team no offense sims team we love you but the fact that they had like someone who's actually good at building do the lots means that the world is like so much more immersive like i 
when I think about Glimmerbrook, this world literally makes me want to cry. I don't even like to look at it. Like, the fact that this building's got, like, mispainted roofs by accident, and there's, like, missing staircases to nowhere, and the builds are so- uh, like, this- this world really takes me out of it. Like, if it was more, I don't know, better done, it would be way more immersive. But the fact that now Moonwood Mill is, like, so much better done, it feels so much more fun to play in. Um, and I really appreciate that. It's- it's great to have these things, like, pre-play so you don't have to replace any lots. Like, it just- it's good. You know? <laughs> um, it's really good from- from the get-go. Um, tea brain, Corey, thanks for the subs. I'm sorry, chat. I'm- I'm really gonna try and keep up, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to read alerts today. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> Thank you for the subs and stuff, though. Um, okay, so I think we should start by showing you one of the townie households. Um, just so we can play- I wanna- the first thing I actually wanna do is have Vlad try and woohoo Greg, but... We can't do it yet because it's daytime, so Vlad can't come outside. Um, so I'm gonna try and play through the first day so that we can get with Vlad. <laughs> um, so these Sims, okay. So these are the only, like, actual townies that live in a house in this world, but there's a bunch of other townies in Manage Worlds. Um, I believe they have relationships with them so I can show you. Um, yes, 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 yes. <gasps> Spoilies! Oh my god! Don't show that! Spoilies! Oh! Spoilies! Everybody hates Greg! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, well, anyway, um, let me walk you through the townies. <laughs> so this guy, Christopher, he's the leader of one of the packs in town, the Moonwood Collective. Um, there's two packs. There's the Moonwood Collective and the Wild Fangs. And they're kind of opposite. Like, the Wild Fangs are very much like, embrace your inner werewolf, you know? Go wild! Transform other people! Try and grow the pack! Like, they're- they're kind of like that. Um, and the Moonwood Collective is kind of like, be polite to others! <laughs> Embrace your werewolf, but like, you know, um, also be nice to humans! <laughs> Um, and so they- they kind of have sort of opposing values. Um, and this guy, Christopher, is the leader of the, like, nice pack. Um, he sort of, like, adopts, it seems like, like, baby werewolves, like, people that have been turned, that have nowhere to go. Um, so he's got two kids, one being Jacob. It amuses me that his name is Jacob, because... Twilight. Um, <laughs> and also this, uh, elder Sim, Lily, also, um, is in the pack, and they live here together. The house is quite cool. It looks like, um, Christopher and Jacob live in the main house, and then Lily has her own little, like, smaller house over here. Um, which I really enjoyed, like, the storyline of that. I don't know. And also in the house, um, because Christopher has another kid. Um, Christopher's got two children. The other child is Rory, who does not live here anymore. Rory is the leader of the other pack. Like, she kind of didn't really get along with her dad, didn't vibe with- with his whole thing. So she went off and founded the Wild Fangs. So they kind of have a, a bit of a strained relationship. And I loved this because, look, Rory has a bedroom, but it's, like, obviously kind of abandoned. It's, like, got, like, a tarp up, you know? We've got a destroyed painting and some stuff like that. So I really- I really liked this. I loved how, like, you could tell she used to live here, but she doesn't anymore, whereas, like, Jacob and, and everybody else has their own bedrooms. Um, I love the lore of that so much. I feel like that is just such a fun way to start the pack- start the game, I mean. Pack. It is a pack, but wolf packs, you know? Um, and it's kind of cool, too, because, like, as you join in these packs and stuff, um, you can, like, talk to the other members and learn more, and they all- sort of similar to Cottage Living, how there's, like, the, um, oh my god, it's still happening. <laughs> the pause thing, the moving while unpaused, still happens. Or moving while paused, sorry, still happens. Um, I don't know if I can do it. But there's, um, like, an interaction kind of similar to Cottage Living, how you can, like, ask about the town, basically, and they'll give you, like, little tidbits of lore and stuff, um, which I kind of enjoy. <laughs> um, but anyway, the- the new pack has a lot of lore and stuff involved in it. It's quite cool. Um, I want to show you around the world a little bit, actually, while we wait for it to be nighttime so I can woohoo with Vlad. Um, but over here, this is the starter home in the pack, which is quite nice. It looks really good. It's also two bedrooms, um, so it's a really good thing to have access to. Um, I've noticed that there are wild animals, like wild stray dogs come around here a lot. I've seen a lot of them in my- in my gameplay, which is kind of fun. Um, up here is the mountain. <laughs> um, which is quite cool. You can, like, travel to the peak of this if you want to. Um, 
The plan is to woohoo Vlad today. The plan is to have Vlad woohoo Greg first, then we'll play other things. We've got a lot of stuff to do. We have a lot of things to talk through. We're not done yet. Don't worry. <laughs> but you can get to the top of this mountain. Uh-oh. Need to hibernate from werewolf temperaments. Oh my god, you're so dramatic! That's fine. Take a little wolf nap. You can transform first if you want to. <laughs> you're so dramatic. Okay, take a little wolf nap. You just vibe there, okay? <laughs> you can just take a little wolf nap, that's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> this, this part's kind of fun. You can buy this ability from the skill tree and then they can just sleep anywhere on the ground and sometimes they get like positive moodlets from it. Um, I quite enjoy that, to be honest. It's real useful. <laughs> I was doing a rags to riches thing, um, and I was like, now wait a minute, because you can take wolf naps, you can territory mark and like pee on the floor, you can, um, pers buy this personal grooming thing so you can like lick away the dirt and clean yourself, um, and you can also get this one, I believe, so that you can hunt for food. So you literally can just vibe, like, you don't even need to buy any furniture. <laughs> if, if you've got all this stuff, you don't even need to buy any furniture. <laughs> but I'm gonna talk more about temperaments later. I know people are in ads right now, they're gonna freak out. I'm not- you didn't miss anything, I promise. You literally didn't miss anything. My loves, I promise, I promise you didn't miss anything. I was- I was simply explaining that he can sleep on the floor because he bought one of those little thingies from the- from the tier list. I'm gonna show it to you later. I love you and I'm gonna show it to you later. It's okay. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. <laughs> I was not gonna, that's not the only time we're gonna show off the stuff, okay? I promise. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about the world first. Um, so over here, uh, this, this area, this is quite a cool lake, by the way, and also it shows like the reflection of the full moon when it's a full moon, which is kind of fun. Um, but your sims can swim in here, which is enjoyable. They can also fish from right here and stuff. Um, and then around this way, a little bit further back here, kind of on the other side of the lake, this area over here is where Greg lives. The, um, the ever so famous Greg. <laughs> um, Greg lives over here in this little house. You can't actually get into the house. That's what I was talking about, how it's like fake, you know? Um, but sometimes he like hangs around outside. Uh, and also there's these like warning signs. And if you investigate the warning signs, it usually has him come outside. Um, so if I get this to come over here and investigate the warning signs, it will probably have him come straight outside to see us as soon as she gets over here. The world's big. She's got to run. Um, but Greg clearly is a very suspicious werewolf that everyone has very, very bad vibes about. Um, literally everybody hates him. <laughs> Um, Lily is furious about Greg. They despise each other. Like, pretty much everybody hates Greg. You can, like, talk about Greg. You can warn people about Greg. This is Greg. Um, this guy right here. The man, the myth, the legend. Angry Greg. <laughs> um, couple interesting things about Greg. Number one, he's wearing a wedding band. I like to believe that in a past life, he and Vlad were engaged. Um, that's my dream. That's what I'm choosing to believe. Um, but now they've sort of gone in different directions. Um, the other thing about Greg, this man legit attacked me out of nowhere twice. So when they say be wary of Greg, they're not kidding. Like, I've got a household that I'm playing um, that has two werewolves in it. It's like two sisters that are both werewolves. And in that household, like, the full moon was happening, so they both turned, they were rampaging, and Greg literally came up and beat them both up. He just came over to my house. I was living, like, all the way on the starter home lot, like, all the way over here. Greg came all the way to my house and just beat me up right here for no reason. Like, he just came to me and beat me up. So, seriously, be wary of Greg. <laughs> you really gotta watch out for him. Uh, you've got options. Uh, you have to try and talk to him. You can attempt to communicate. You can attempt to distract. Call him over and provoke him. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he autonomously tries to beat up my sim because she's a werewolf, but we'll find out. Um, he's more likely to talk to you if you're a human. He's very anti-werewolf and anti-vampire. Um, and this sim's a werewolf, so we'll see. Skunk. Skunky scent from being near a pet sprayed by a skunk. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, anyway, you can like attempt to talk to him. And eventually you can actually talk to him. He just, he doesn't, he's not very receptive at first to your attempts to communicate. I wouldn't be either if I was Greg. Um, oh no. Okay, she's running away. She's running away. I can't cancel it. Oh my god, calm down! And now you're going back? Are you following him? Werewolf- okay. So as I said, he will frequently beat you up for no reason. Um... I wasn't kidding. <laughs> he- he will frequently beat you up. Um, so just watch out. Uh... Oh, I beat him up! <laughs> How's that feel, Greg? Yeah, that's what I thought. Look, 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 and when they get into a werewolf brawl, the loser gets, like, all these marks. He's, like, covered in band-aids and scratches and stuff because of me. <laughs> there you go, little old lady. Beat him up! <laughs> but anyway, Greg is very mean. Um, if you would like, I will show you Greg in cast. Is that what you want to see? Because I, I will show you Greg and Cass. Um, if that is the dream, we can do it. I feel like I'd like to do some exploring of Greg today. I'd like to find out what he's like, really. Um, but Greg, again, he's very famous. They've been, like, warning us about Greg this whole time. In all of the teasers for the pack, they were like, but watch out for Greg. So he's kind of become, like, a whole thing. Because um, everybody keeps trying to warn us about him. Um, explore Greg, wink wink. Besties, I literally made a video, I haven't posted it yet, obviously. I literally made a video called Greg Woohoo Speedrun. In which I tried to speedrun woohooing with Greg. But I was Stanley, so it was easier than trying to do it with a vampire. So, indeed you can woohoo Greg. <laughs> anyway, this is Greg, um, here's his, his wolf form. I think he's actually quite cool. I like the the red eyes. I don't think he wears any clothes ever. Um, but obviously, he is glutton, mean, and a loner. He's got the Renaissance Sim aspiration. And this is Greg's human form. In my opinion, it is very interesting. <laughs> I think he's quite cool. Um, so you can see he's got only one like and dislike, and it's that he likes pop music. <laughs> Which is quite amusing to me. Um, he's got a real fancy suit. Um, that's his everyday. Here's his formal outfit. He's got athletic, sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather, cold weather. Um, Greg is an adult. He's not an elder. He's got, he just has gray hair. Um, people kept asking me if Greg was hot. I, I, I don't think he's what I expected him to look like. But I don't think he's not hot. You know? Everyone's saying Daddy Greg. Okay, so I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> Everyone thinks Greg is very hot. Daddy Greg, sure. Um, but you see how he he's giving me, like, kind of old-timey vibes? And I also think he's immortal. So in my mind, I feel as though Greg and possibly Vlad had, like, a thing long, long ago. I'm really trying- I'm really trying hard to believe this. It's very important to me, and I feel like it ha it's real. Like, this- that's the ring, they were engaged. Then they had, like, a whole, you know, issue, cause the whole vampire werewolf thing, and they broke up, and now he lives off in the woods being all grumpy. It just feels right. To me, this is canon. So. Anyway, today my goal is to have them try and woohoo, but I don't know how it's gonna go, because I don't think Greg likes vampires, <laughs> so. We'll see how that goes. I can't do it yet because it's still daytime and Vlad can't come out yet. Um, but soon. Soon. Mark my words. <laughs> we will establish that it is real. <laughs> um, but anyway, we gotta- we wanna play a little bit longer with the rest of The Sims until it becomes, like, regular time. Oh, he's up! Okay, good. Well, let's talk about the, um... Let's talk about the abilities then really fast. 
So this one's a good one to show you because he's like max werewolf. This guy is the alpha of one of the packs. Um, so this is the like ability skill tree thing, which is very similar to the one that vampires and spellcasters have. I think this one's maybe a little bit better though. I don't know. I, I like this dormant abilities thing. So with these dormant abilities, basically your sim can learn them. They aren't like things that you buy. They just learn them from doing stuff. So for example, um, when you first turn into a werewolf, you don't have transformation mastery. So um, you can't like transform at will. You're kind of at the mercy of the moon and also your, your like fury, this like ball thing when it becomes full. Um, but the first time you transform without scaring anybody, <laughs> is when you unlock the ability to transform at will. So you can like then earn this ability and then you can transform your sim as you please. Um, there's a few others like the werewolf diplomacy one. So you can like get werewolf ally allies and convince people to be nice to you and stuff. Um, you can mentor other werewolves. This one is the werewolf menace one. I won't lie, this one I had a lot of fun playing as. I'll explain why in a second. Um, we also have the lunar epiphany one. So you can read ancient werewolf writings and they can like decipher the books better. Um, and the werewolf empathy ones, so you can help pacify other like rampaging werewolves. And then these, the rest of this, you get with like skill points as you have your sim like level up and, and gain skills and stuff. Um, just like with, with vampires, how they like fill up this bar and then get the points. Um, and then you like keep unlocking different tiers as you level up, you know, classic. Um, but there's a few really cool ones, like the wolf nap, so they can sleep on the ground anywhere. <laughs> and they usually get good movements from it. Not just napping as well, they're like proper, proper sleep. Like, you know how when you have your sim sleep in a bed versus nap, like they, the sleeping is better? They'll like proper sleep on the floor. Um, they can also mark their territory and pee on the floor. Uh, this one has them groom, like they can clean themselves without having to shower. Um, they can also use this one to hunt for food, which is quite cool. So you can have them like click on them, have them go hunting and they'll come back with raw meat. Um, I really enjoyed this one in particular, this ferocity one, because with this one, um, you can unlock the ferocious intimidation ability. And with that, you can scare other Sims and they'll run away from you and they have a chance of dropping their wallet as they run away. And then you'll get like 300 simoleons. <laughs> Like, it's anywhere from like two to five hundred simoleons I was getting when I was doing that. So I did a rags to riches, obviously. Um, and it was very successful, I thought. Um, but you you can use that to get rich. Highly recommend. The only thing is that everybody hates you. Like, legit, everybody hates you. Hates you if you do that. Because when you scare one sim, they all get scared and they all run away streaming. So you get like way in the red bar with everybody, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> that's fine. We like it. Um, it looks like this sim also has the will to resist, so he can regain control while rampaging. Um, he's got natural healing to recover from injuries faster. He's got lunar resistance to protect against the moon's harmful effects. He's also got immortal wolf, so he lives forever. Um, he's got this lunar howl one, um, so he can transform temperaments with this. Uh, this one, alpha wolf, means he wins all fights. Um, He's got the pack howl and also the curse bearer one so we can transform other sims. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of different ones that do a lot of cool things. Um, and it's also pretty fun too because each time you play, you can kind of go down a different path, you know? Um, which is just kind of interesting. So <laughs> yeah, he's immortal. He lives forever. Very, very interesting. Um, okay, what happens when two alpha wolves fight? I have no idea, Orbital, I haven't tried that. <laughs> I haven't tried that. And the other thing they get are these. Um, they get these like temperaments. Uh, and these are kind of randomized, but also based on your Sims traits. And I think that they have, there's like like 18 or something that you can get. Um, and they sort of impact how often and how fast your Sim gains fury. And then when it is full, then obviously they turn into a werewolf and they rampage a little bit. Um, but this one has, he's grumpy. So he needs extra rest to stay balanced. <laughs> um, he's guilty. So he gains extra fury while sad and he needs to be clean. He gets upset when he's dirty uh, and also has the mark of the night. Um, so both natural fury gains and energy decays are reduced, which is quite cool. But they all have sort of different ones. Like this one has, um, he's more hungry uh, and is easily excitable. This one is, has survival instincts, has an extra sense for danger, is restless. Anti-capitalist canine, well, hang on. I haven't seen that yet. Ever since, <laughs> Me too. Ever since the beast awakened, doubts about societal norms have begun to stir. This sim now rejects the daily grind and will gain extra fury if forced to take this endless crushing rat race. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I haven't seen that yet. That's really good. <laughs> Endless crushing rat race. And she doesn't like to be dirty. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I, I quite enjoy that. <laughs> We're all on the same page. We are all on the same page, me and you, friend. And she beat up Greg. I mean, you know what? I, Lily is kind of iconic. <laughs> oh, do you want to pee on the floor? Oh, you can't? Okay. She's kind of iconic. Perhaps my favorite Sim in the whole pack. <laughs> so, anyway, it's pretty interesting uh, the different, like, temperaments and stuff they can get and the different skills. Obviously, they, these ones all have sort of different um, abilities they've been trying to earn which is kind of cool. Like, she has night vision, so she's better in the tunnels, um, which is kind of interesting. You know? There's more to, it, more to it than you expected. Yeah, that's the thing. Werewolves feel so much deeper to me than the other the other occults in this game, including vampires and werewolves. Or include sorry, <laughs> this is werewolves. Including vampires and spellcasters, um, which is quite cool. So, all right, it's almost nighttime. As soon as it gets dark, I'm gonna go get Vlad. I just don't want to bring him out when it's daytime because I'm worried about him. But <laughs> um, the temperaments, I, I've not had a temperament go away yet, but I've gained more temperaments as I play. So like when you level up, when like when you first have a werewolf, they'll have one temperament. And then if they get level two, they'll get two, like they'll have a second temperament. And then like three temperaments, like as they level up, they get more temperaments um, was my experience. I haven't had one go away yet, but they might. I just haven't seen it yet. Um, so, okay, I'm going to get Vlad because I would very much like to go um, woohoo with Greg. I don't think it's going to work. In fact, I think he's going to beat me up, but we'll find out. <laughs> we will find out. Okay, let's go travel into the, the werewolf world. Okay, Moonwood Mill. Brother, I can show you cast and build by and stuff. Just give me a second because we're going to do this Greg woohoo thing first. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll try. We have a lot of stuff to show off, like all the cast, all the builds, people want to see what happens to kids and stuff. It's it's not, the kids, when they're werewolves, I haven't played with one yet, but I assume it's the same as, like, vampires, how kids don't actually do anything different. They're just, like, they won't show anything until they're a teen. Um, are you still sizzling in here? <gasps> James, you're trying to kill my sim! Okay, Vlad is tense. Wolf eyes everywhere from being in Moonwood Mill. Okay, this is a bad sign. This will not be going well for us. Stop! Oh, is it dark now? Are you good? Okay, I think it's dark now and he's good. Okay, well the werewolf books give you like little interesting teasers about lore. Okay, I'm off. Wait, I don't need to do this. I don't need to travel. I can just go there. Okay. Hopefully it's, um, actually dark enough, because if not, we're gonna do bad. Teleport here is missed. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. Investigate warning sign. Greg is not gonna like me. He's just not. Attempt to communicate. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, we're in love, we're in love, we're in love. Remember me from back in the day? We're in love, we're in love. <sighs> from being near a rampaging where- Shh, stop, stop, stop. Attempt to communicate. No, 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 no. Don't run away, don't run away. You're in love, you're in love. It's fine, you're in love. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if it is physically possible to successfully woohoo Greg as a vampire. <laughs> he will literally always attack you. I think straight away. <laughs> All I did was try and talk to him. He won't do it. <sighs> oh 
Oh no. Look, I tried to talk to him again another I little I don't think you can. You actually can't talk to him because when you try he does this. All I did was try and talk to him. Mesmerize. Okay. Attempt to communicate. Come on. Attempt to communicate. Is it because he's mesmerized? I've never actually done this before. Dispel Mesmerize. Did I fix you? Do you want to take some selfies? We can't take selfies with him. He won't let us. Oh, no. He's running at me. He's running at me. You can't take pictures if he doesn't want to talk to you. Vlad can fix him. Attempt to communicate. Come on. Come on. It worked that time! Cheerful introduction! <gasps> okay, don't be so angry. Don't be so angry. Bright and day. Smooth apology. Friendly. Friendly. No, 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 no. Make vampire pun. Come on. Oh, stop. You, th you blew it. Oh, and he left. He left. Come back. <gasps> Make vampire pun. Do you think he hates vampire puns? <gasps> Greg! No! Oh. No, chat, I can't take selfies with him. It won't let me. There's no take photo with option for him. Otherwise I would. It like doesn't let me take pics with him. Cause that would be easy if we could. Funny, make vampire pun. Can you take a picture of him? Is that gonna do anything? I don't think that works. Oh, he looks good though. play pop music. Oh, well, maybe it helped a little bit. Brighten day. Discuss our interests. We probably have a lot in common. Okay, it's offensive conversation. Please. No, 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 no. Flatter. chat chat we can take pictures together chat i know you're su you're suggesting it trust me i would do that if it would work <laughs> i promise i would do that if that was an option there's not an option to take a photo with him there's no point in spamming it because it's not gonna work okay the fact that you have to do this is ridiculous. We can hang up some pics of Greg in Vlad's bedroom, though. <gasps> oh my god, it's working. Take a photo of Greg. No! Wake up. This is not how you're supposed to play this pack. <laughs> this is not how this pack was intended to be played. No, 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 I want to take pictures. Yes, it is. Okay, maybe. Maybe it is. Oh my god, every time it goes up so high. No! No! Oh, you can't. I'm telling you, it's impossible. 
It's impossible. They fight like every two seconds. <sighs> Please. I just want to I just want to be friends. Please. You're so grumpy. Oh my god. No, I refuse to cheat it. I literally refuse to cheat it. I'm not cheating it. I absolutely refuse to cheat it. Mesmerize and then take picks? Oh, you might be onto something. Mesmerize him. And then take a photo of Greg. Can I even do it while he's mesmerized? Because it doesn't work. Smooth apology. Oh no, the sun's coming out. Oh no, the sun's coming out. Oh no. Self-deprecating joke? We're still okay for now. It can't be done. It can't be done. It's- I- I honestly believe that it's physically impossible. Do you want to go try and flirt? Okay, that didn't work either. Okay, well... I'll probably just leave him for the rest of the morning, and then tonight we can try again. Because it's impossible. I, I honestly don't think it's physically possible to do it, but we can try again later. <laughs> um, thank you all, by the way, for the subs and stuff. I really appreciate that. You were all very, very, very kind. Um, okay. Well, maybe in the meantime, we could make a or make a, a werewolf, and then we can come back tomorrow night and then play again, you know? Um, I think that could be pretty good, right? Let's go into Cass. I'll show you the, the werewolf Cass. That'll be a good use of our time. Tiny home and club. So, Vitrain, all the things that you would usually do to fix relationship, you have to keep in mind that it's not a lot. Um, we don't have a lot there. We can't, like, turn it into a tiny house because it's not a lot. And there's literally no way I could get Greg to come to my house because he hates me. Um, maybe a club might help, but keep in mind the tiny house thing won't work. Um, because <laughs> because he, we can't change the lot type. Um, you didn't miss anything because of ads. We just decided to come back at nighttime. Chat, I promise I didn't do anything. I will not do anything important if there's ads playing. I can see if there's ads playing and you won't miss anything important. You don't need to freak out. <laughs> All you missed was loading screens. It's really okay. <laughs> I love you and it's really okay. <laughs> Um, we decided to, because it was daytime, Vlad can't be out in the sun, um, we had to stop anyway, so we're gonna come back at nighttime again and try and do it again, but for now we're gonna look around and cast a little bit. Um, that is the plan. Um, if you were on the tiny lot, it does actually. I guess that's true, but it would also give us double, like, relationship loss. So I don't think it's worth it. Um, I think I feel like tiny homes are good for when you're trying to gain relationship fast, but not if people hate you. You have to keep in mind that Vlad also hisses. So if you have a tiny house with Vlad, people get double relationship loss. People hate him instantly. The loss is really bad. The like the I don't think that the the gains outweigh the losses enough. Um, so, does it feel good to you when people laugh and tell you it's okay, Rach? I think you may have misunderstood. Um, you think I'm laughing at you? <laughs> um, you, I'm just trying to calm chat down. I'm, I'm, I, should I be serious at all times? I don't understand what you're asking for. Um, I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm laughing because I'm uncomfortable, in case that was unclear. Um, okay, let's make a werewolf. <laughs> oh, good god. <laughs> okay, so werewolf cast is quite cool. Um, because you have a lot, like, a lot of customization options. Um, 
which is pretty interesting. Obviously, we've got like all of the stuff that came with cats and dogs kind of like transported onto werewolves. So we have the paint mode and stuff. Um, honestly, I don't think I will ever use this. Like I am not good enough at this kind of thing to ever need to use the paint mode. I never do it with pets either, but it's really cool to have the option. Um, people are gonna make so many creative things with this. It's gonna be so impressive, like so impressive. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see what people do. I've already seen some cool ones that the Sim Gurus have been doing. Um, so that'll be interesting. Does the immortal trait stop you from aging? Yeah, Munchella, just like how it does for vampires. It's the same thing. If you're immortal, you don't die, so you don't die of old age either. Um, I will say I haven't actually tested it yet, but I would assume, because that, like, why wouldn't it, you know? Peppa Wolf? You could make a wolf pink, that's true. You could also just do it, like, slightly more easily, um, with, like, the different stuff like this, you know? Um, so they have a few different like fur patterns that you can use and then just like cats and dogs, you can change like some of the different colors separately, um, which is kind of cool. So you can do stuff like this. <laughs> um, there's some really interesting presets. There's a lot of like normal presets and then a couple like kind of funky presets, um, which is cool. And then same thing in cast, they've got like a few different face shape presets, just like how human sims have. Um, but then you can also adjust all their ears separately. There's like a million different options of ears. Uh, they've got different cheek tufts that you can edit, um, which is kind of cool. They've got all these different noses, just like dogs, you can change like the color of the nose as well. <laughs> um, they've got different teeth that you can pick. You can also use the vampire teeth if you want to. They like added those into this. Um, They've got different chin tufts. Uh, and then same thing like regular human cast. If you click on their eyes, there's like some more options for different facial parts that don't have like a separate tab. It, this is the same as human cast. Like you just click on parts of their face, you can change it. Um, like mouths and stuff, you can sort of adjust different things. Um, then you can always like, you know, edit them, change the colors of them, all that sort of stuff. Again, just like human cast. Um, I'm sure we're all very familiar with how it works. <laughs> Uh, so you can sort of edit them that way. And then obviously there's also a lot of different clothing options, which is quite cool. Oh, the only thing is, um, I forgot to say, if you've got them linked, if, if you're going to edit a sim from the werewolf form, probably unlink them, unlink them. Because if you edit a sim, like in their human form, it adjusts their werewolf form a little bit and vice versa. Um, so I wouldn't recommend editing your werewolf when they're linked, like their face at least, when they're linked to a human, because it will adjust how the human looks. But if I do it like this, like now that I'm, um, now that I'm like not linked, it won't touch the opposite. It's just like, you know, same thing as any other occult. If you're, if you've seen the occult form there before, it's not different, but, um, you can link and unlink just like you can with other ones, like mermaids and vampires and stuff. So, so it's broken. What does that mean? It's not broken, it's by design. <laughs> it, it, the design is that this way when you make a werewolf, the werewolf will share some features as they're human. It's not broken. <laughs> That's a design feature. The point is that that way they'll look sort of similar. Unless you were to unlink them, then you can do it separate. Does that make sense? Um, that's not broken, that's just a choice. That's a design choice. Um, that's also how other occults work, it's the same. <laughs> It just maybe is a little bit less obvious because like the werewolf form is more different than how like the vampire form is. Um, but anyway, it's not broken. <laughs> it's on purpose. All right, let me show you their cast options. Um, it's quite good, I think. I'll kind of like uh, dig you around through all the cast really fast. Um, I don't want to spend too much time just looking at the clothing because you could just look up this. I'm sure there's lots of videos you can go back to, but... Um, there's, there's some pretty good new hair options. Um, I will say there's, unfortunately, as per usual, a lot more feminine hair options than masculine ones. Um, but there are a few new hair options. I quite liked this ponytail. There's a few different variants of it as well. You can see the ponytail has like um, this one that has the moon in the back, the plain one, and then also the dyed version, um, which is kind of fun. Uh, I also really liked this hairstyle. Um, this one I think is so cute. We've got this one, we have the mullet, and then we also have a like colored version of the mullet, which is pretty fun. Um, so there's a lot of really cool um, different hairstyles in this pack. Um, those same hairstyles were all given to the kids. I believe, oh yeah. If you make them a child, they delete the beast form. It's just like vampires and stuff, how they can't really do much as kids. 
Um, but I believe the kids have, yeah, like all the same hairstyles, um, which is pretty good. The toddlers didn't get any of them though. The toddlers have no new hairstyles. Um, but the kids do, the kids do have them. Um, the kids also got a couple different shirts. We've got this shirt for the children. I like this swatch a lot. Stop! <laughs> um, there's the, this cute little sweater vest kind of thing. Um, we also have this sweater for the kids with a couple different swatches. Um, and then they also got, I think, some shorts, if I remember correctly. Not all of this is new, I just had to reinstall the game. Um, so the game is acting like it's new, but they also have these new pair of shorts, which is kind of fun. And it's got like a little tail in the back, <laughs> um, which is, in my opinion, quite amusing. Um, there's also a hat, I think, if I can find it. I should just filter by it. I probably scrolled past it. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. We have this little werewolf hat, which is quite cute. It's got little ears. It's kind of fun. Um, yeah, I know. It's like, yes, we hear you. Thank you for howling. You can stop. You don't have to do it over and over again. <laughs> but the hat is quite cute. Um, I think that's everything. This is the styled look, so you can see, like, the whole outfit kind of, um, put together on this one. That's all the new stuff for the kids. I don't think these glasses are new, yes? No, they are not. I don't think any of this is new. Yeah. That's all of the cast for children. They don't have too, too much, um... The toddlers did get a couple of things, though. The toddlers got two full body outfits. Um, bup, 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 werewolves. We have this little one for the toddlers, which is kind of cute. Um, I like it when they add more things for toddlers. It's always fun. So we've got this cute little outfit. Um, and then we also have this little onesie, which is pretty cute. Um, very much enjoy this little onesie. I like this color, especially. <laughs> I think it's adorable. Um, Anyway, that's all the swatches on that one. I don't think there's anything else for the toddlers. I'm pretty sure that there's not. Um, there are no new trait traits as far as I'm aware, but there is one new aspiration. Um, it's this werewolf initiate aspiration. It's really interesting because it's kind of like four separate aspirations, but it's under one. Um, I'll have to show you later once we're actually in game. But basically you pick the one werewolf aspiration and then there's like one layer of it and you have to like become a werewolf um, learn about werewolves, do, you know, do a couple things, level up as a werewolf, and then after you finish that, like, first level, it gives you a pop-up in-game, and it gives you, like, four other ones to select from, and so there's, like, one for each of the different packs. Um, there's one to being a lone wolf, and one for trying to do the, like, werewolf cure. So there's basically four separate aspirations, um, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so once you, like, finish the first layer, it gives you, like, a option to pick. Um, kind of like career paths a little bit, yeah. Think of it kind of like career paths, but then it gives you like different aspiration choices. So there's basically four aspirations, but there's just one in cast. Um, but it's kind of cool how they did it that way, I think. Um, it makes sense too, because this way like you don't have four separate things in cast, but then as you start playing, you can kind of like, oh my god, the howling is so annoying. <laughs> the howling is so annoying. Um, they do it way too much. <laughs> Um, there's also some really cute clothes in this pack. Um, I'll kind of walk you through the different shirts really fast. We have this little sweater, um, which is pretty good. We've got this little sweater. We got this jacket. We've got a denim jacket, another sweater. He's howling. We have this little top that's kind of like tucked on half. Um, we've got like a more ripped shirt, kind of ripped hoodie, another ripped shirt, and a, another like denim sort of jacket thing. Um, which is quite cool. And something else that I was really excited about, um, and I've been kind of hoping they would do for so long, you know how so often when you try and use, like, the opposite frame clothing, so if I wanted to put, like, a feminine frame outfit on a masculine sim, they, like, don't fit? And it looks really weird, the, like, there's, like, weird stuff going on with their hips and stuff, usually. Um, with a few of these outfits, they've, like, properly adjusted them. So, especially, like, these two, the full body ones I noticed especially. Um, they've, like, actually made, like, proper versions for both frames. So that the sims don't look, like, weird when you try and put it on. There's no, like, weird, like, visual glitches at their hips and stuff. Um, so I am really glad they did that. Because it actually, like, now you can actually use this stuff. Obviously you always could, but, um... So often when it like when it messes up like that, it's really hard to use those things without them like looking off. Um, but it fits. So they didn't do it for all of them. Like they didn't tag all of the dresses 
as as being available for masculine, but it's like mostly the same cast. All the same tops and bottoms for both though at least, which is pretty cool. Um, there is more feminine cast than masculine cast though, unfortunately. They always do that. I don't know why. Um, I did not finish showing you everything. There's still pants to show you. <laughs> um, okay, anyway. So we have these new jeans, which are pretty fun. We also have these jeans, these more like leather looking pants. Um, and also these like cut off shorts, which are kind of cool. Um, and then, oh wait, shoes, 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 shoes. Stop howling. You're so much, you're so much. <laughs> Calm down. I am literally begging you to calm down. <laughs> okay, anyway, there's three pairs of shoes. We have these, um, these like sort of ripped shoes, which I really liked. I loved the idea of this because the werewolves never wear shoes, but I like the idea of that, like the human version having like ripped shoes, like their feet like grew through them. That's a really cool um, cast item, I think. Uh, and then we also have these sneakers too. I was pretty impressed with the cast from this pack. I can see myself using a lot of this stuff like all the time. I mean, literally all of these full body outfits, I love, like love, love, love. This one especially is so cute to me. Like I absolutely adore this outfit. This is so cute, right? And then we have this little dress. It's got some really cute little swatches. Um, we've got this like slightly fancier little dress. Um, this one looks so good and there's like some leggings that fit under it really well. Um, these are the new leggings from the pack, but I feel like that just works so well. Um, there's a lot of really interesting cast items in this one. Um, 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 um. also this dress, the fact that it has the little pouch and it's not like painted on, I know the bar is low, but so often they do like details on clothing that are like not 3D, but this dress is so cute with like the proper, I don't know, it's just, it looks really, really nice with the flowers. It looks really well done, I think. I, I described this this cast as being like a combo between rags to riches and like cottagecore almost. <laughs> it's like my two favorite ways to play The Sims, right? We've got like this sort of like cutesy cottagecore stuff, but also some good stuff for rags to riches. It like, I don't know, it meshes together very well, I think. <laughs> um, both very good, very useful sets of cast items. Um, so we have all those same tops, by the way, for feminine frame sims as masculine frame sims. Um, lots and lots and lots of clothing, but it's literally all the same. Like all the cast is the same um, for the tops and also for the pants. I think the feminine frame sims get like a couple more skirts. Um, maybe these shorts too, I don't remember. These are pretty cute though. I liked the idea of these a lot. I like the little bow in the back. Um, yeah, there's new scars and tattoos. Yeah, I'll show you in a second. Um, I believe that's all of the, the proper cast. We also have some accessories. Um, a lot of accessories, in fact. <laughs> um, they gave us a few new nails. Can I go back to this? Um, oh, let me edit this better. So we have these new nails, which are kind of fun. Um, we also have these new nails, which are quite fun. I think these are supposed to be kind of like galaxy-like nails. I don't really know. I can't really tell what it's supposed to be. <laughs> and then we also have the claws that the werewolves wear. Um, anyone can put those on. Um, there are a couple of new rings. It's so hard to see from far away, but there's like this little moon ring. I wish that they had done that view for the rings too. You know how like the fingernails bring you up close? They should have the rings do that also. Um, but there's a couple new rings. I think three total, yeah. Um, here are all the rings up close. They're pretty cute. It's nice to have more like little cutesy rings because we don't have a lot of stuff like that. Um, there's also, oh my God, I should have like uninstalled the other packs to show you cast. It's so annoying to have to dig through. We also have this little bracelet, which I quite liked. Um, they did a lot, I thought, um, like a lot, a lot of new accessories. Um, we have, bup, 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 if the werewolf pack would load. We've got two new nose piercings. Um, we also have these new earrings. I really liked these. Um, I was really impressed by these. Thought they were kind of cool. I like this one especially. Um, we have those little new earrings. There's also like a sort of matching necklace to the earrings, um, which is kind of fun. It's got like basically like a coin on it. And there's also this little moon necklace, which is pretty good. Um, and then what else am I missing? from Cass. Did I show everything? 
Why don't you know? There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, scars, that's right. That's what I was gonna do next. Um, they also added this whole category for body scars. Um, so there's like a million bajillion new body scars. There's like different bite marks and stuff. There's like scratches on the arms. Basically a lot of like werewolf fighting type body scars, um, which are kind of cool. There's a lot of them as well. Um, and I'm really interested in this category. I feel like the fact that they've added this new category is a really good sign and it opens up a lot of doors to like other future body scars they could add. Um, in the future. Um, I said future twice, <laughs> but I feel like there's a lot of room for, um, for stuff like that. Um, no, there's not any body hair. There's not body hair in this pack, but there is body hair coming to The Sims soon. Um, they said, like, not with this pack, but, like, soon was kind of the tweet they had posted, so. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. It feels like a really good opportunity to add in top surgery scars. I feel like now the category is there, and they made so many scars. I feel like it's one of those things where, like, before they had it, it was hard, but, like, with nails, how before we had nails, we got, you know, none. And then once they added them, we get, like, three nails per pack, <laughs> you know? So, and then they could really easily add in more scars now that the category exists. So I look forward to seeing, um, what they might add in in the future. But this is the tattoo, also. Um, there's one new tattoo. I believe it's just that one. I think. Oh, we also have these. Um, there's like, I don't know, is it supposed to be like hairy hands? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but either way, that's what they are. <laughs> there's one for each side and we also have this arm tattoo. Um, I like this one a lot. I think it's really cool. I was really excited about this one. Um, dirty hands? Maybe it's dirt. That's true. It could be that. It wouldn't be hair. I think it's dirt. Well, that's fun still. Um, it kind of works. Um, there was a back wolf. Is there a back tattoo also? The tattoos are annoying to scroll through because there isn't, um, oh, there we go. Oh yeah, this one also. Um, this one I saw in the live stream. It's annoying to scroll through the tattoo category because you can't filter it by packs. Um, but we also have that tattoo for the back as well. Um, it is very, very fun. Um, but I think that's all the cast stuff. I'm pretty sure. I think so at least. Did we, maybe, did I show you, these aren't from this pack, right? Oh no, these are, we have a couple face scars from this pack too. Um, there's a couple different eye scars. And maybe a few more. Oh my gosh, a whole bunch more. I hadn't clicked on, I had to reinstall my game earlier. So disregard, a lot of this is like not from this pack. Um, it's, it's putting like the marks on everything. <laughs> um, but we did get some face scars, yeah. Which is pretty cool. I don't know, I'm so happy with the cast from this pack. I feel like it turned out so well, you know? Um, I'm, I'm just so impressed. <laughs> makeup? I don't know if we got any makeup, let's find out. I hadn't actually looked in the makeup category for werewolf stuff. No, no werewolf makeup. Um, no hats either. I'm happy with Simsy is happy, hi Ninja, thanks for saying that. This pack is really good. I, I've been saying this all day, but I honestly believe this pack is, like, arguably the best game pack for The Sims 4. Like, this is so cool. There's so much stuff. <laughs> oh, don't worry, the shoes are the same for, um, for feminine frame sims as they are for masculine frame sims. They're all the same. Um, I've shown you all the cast. It's all the same. See? Don't worry. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. No, it's not buggy like the wedding pack. I haven't encountered any bugs. I'm sure that, I'm, you know, there's always bound to be something. <laughs> it's just how life goes, but um, nothing like, you know, the pack that shall not be named. Um. <laughs> there's not new traits, but there are new aspirations. There's one aspiration that goes off into four different aspirations. It's kind of cool. Um, but two, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pack that shall not be named. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Um, okay, shall I perhaps, maybe I'll go to an empty lot and I'll show you the build stuff. My first, mm, yeah, my first pet stuff. I won't lie. I'm kind of a my first pet stuff stand these days. I've changed my opinion. Don't tell anybody I said that, but I'm kind of a my first pet stuff stand, so. You've changed, Simsy. My first Greg stuff. <laughs> Betrayer. <laughs> it's kind of fun. You can die. It's exciting. Okay, let me show you my favorite things first. Number one, 
this bassinet. Oh my god. Like, are you actually kidding me with this? This is the most adorable thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, are you actually kidding? Iconic. Incredible. Perfect. Best thing I've ever seen. Best bassinet in the game. The sheep, the little moon, I don't know. This is so good. I'm so glad they added this. There's actually a few different kids things. We've got like this little sheep toy as well. Um, and this little like Fenry chomps a lot junior, <laughs> um, which is also a little toy. And these are both things that your Sims can actually play with. Um, there's this little like moon lamp uh, nightlight thing, which is pretty cute. Um, we also have like this little moon petal lamp, which is pretty cute. Um, and also there's a bunk bed, which is kind of fun. Um, I would say that could be for kids also, you know. Um, so we have this little bunk bed, which is nice. And we have a toddler bed. They added so much stuff for kids. I think that's quite cool because obviously in a pack like this, it's it's hard because, you know, like kids and toddlers aren't really like full werewolves. They don't have like werewolf forms, just like how vampires and stuff don't until they could become teens. So I appreciate them still adding in things for kids and toddlers in this pack. Even like we have um like this little decal for the wall and stuff too. It's nice to still have a couple things for kids and toddlers, even if they can't be like proper werewolves yet, you know, because um, they're still young. So I was very impressed with these with these little build items. This toddler bed is actually so cute too. I love the quilt. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm very into this. <laughs> it's got really good swatches, I think. Um, okay, so that's all of the the kids stuff. Um, let's just go down the line then. We have a new bush, uh, much like the other pea bushes. It is a bush that you can pee and woohoo in. I think you can also sleep in it, but mostly I just pee and woohoo in it. <laughs> um, so we've got a new pea bush. This one has no flowers, which is kind of cool because we don't have anything like that. The other ones all have flowers. So this one could be nice and versatile for that reason. Um, we also got this cool little like tire seat. It's a chair, but it looks like tires. Um, there's this fun like crusty armchair. Um, oh, sorry, cushy armchair. <laughs> It says cushy leather armchair. I said crusty. It's probably crusty too. It's probably crusty too, but this is the cushy leather armchair. Oh my god, look at that. Tell me it's not crusty. It is crusty. It is. It's still crusty. It's still crusty. Um, okay. <laughs> There's no swatches on this, by the way. It's just one swatch. Um, we also have this little, like, le little armchair thing. Also kind of crusty, as you can see. The, the wood's a little bit distressed. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> um, I love this dining chair. This one's pretty good. I like the back of it. Um, it's got some kind of cool swatches too. Um, I really enjoyed in particular these ones that had some paint on them. Um, it's not crusty, it's lived in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Um, there's also this adorable couch. Oh my god, I'm gonna use this stuff so much. I can think of, like, so many kinds of bills to put this furniture in. And the other bonus is that it's pretty cheap. Like, this is only 375 Chair's only 30 Um, this, this crusty armchair's only 125 So it's good to have, like, cheap furniture for building starter homes and stuff. Um, but these chairs being 30 they're so cute! And, like, this, like, these swatches are totally normal. You could totally use that in a regular house. You would never know. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, there's also this kind of cute little, like, log love seat. I love this kind of thing. Um, this is great for, like, putting around fire pits and stuff, I feel like. Um, but that's kind of nice. Also kind of crusty. Um, <laughs> there's two new tables. This one's a dining table, technically, but you could totally use it as a desk if you wanted to. Uh, this one is actually a desk. This table, it's got, like, uneven legs, so there's a book placed underneath one of them. Isn't that so cute? Um, and then it slots like a dining table so you can have your sims like eat here and stuff. Um, which I really enjoy. And then it's just got some nice swatches. Kind of crusty ones. Um, <laughs> it's only 200 simoleons as well, so it's really quite cheap. The desk is also only 200 and it's made out of doors. Look, 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 it's a door desk. Isn't that cool? Isn't that so fun? Anyway, there's also a fancy desk. <laughs> like a really fancy desk. Um, this is the worn secretary desk and it has some pretty nice swatches. It's fun to have more one tile wide desks. Um, I will gladly accept anything more of this that we can get. So that'll be fun to use. 
Um, the pack also came with its own telescope. Uh, if you missed it, we got a telescope, like a small telescope in the base game yesterday. Um, so now everybody has one, but the pack also has a second one, um, which is kind of fun. Um, so we have this now. We also have uh, this one, the Rockmeister. I don't even know what the heck this is, this guitar. I don't know how you unlock it. Um, it looks like it's a career unlock, but I don't know how you unlock it. <laughs> and it looks like this. Maybe it's from one of the packs. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, some, if it was from, um, like, some pack gameplay. Um, literally, like, packs. Not, like, the pack, like, the werewolf pack, but, like, one of the packs of werewolves you can join, you know? Um, there's also two new workout things. We've got a new punching bag and a new, um, like, weight machine. Punching bag's only 90 simoleons, which is really good because it's cheap. Um, so you can use that super easily. Um, and I like this swatch a lot. It's got like an angry vampire face, so you can punch it. Packs versus pack was so confusing throughout all of development. Oh, I bet. I've, I've caught myself being like, packs, pack, werewolf pack, literally werewolf pack that isn't a werewolf pack. <laughs> um, it's, it is confusing, all this pack talk about the pack. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, it's got a vampire on it. There's a couple swatches of that one. This one has uh, some pretty cute swatches too. We also have this new bar. And this is so cool because look, look, look. They added this thing. Um, it's supposed to be like the bar so that your Sims can have this like placed on a lot and go visit it. But then an actual bar slots into it. So it functions like this, right? Like your Sim will come around. They can actually get in there to bartend. And then the whole thing looks giant, but you don't have to use it all at once. Like, you can have this separate if you want. And you could put, like, any bar in there. And also, I'm pretty sure you can put, like, regular stuff if you wanted to put a chair. Because they can still get in here. They can still use it. Um, so this is really cool. And then, obviously, you can also, like, change the colors of it separately. Um, which is nice, because then you aren't stuck with, like, the one swatch. And it's got some fun swatches. Um... So I am very pleased with this. It's a really cool idea, I think. It's a cool way to go about doing this because they could have so easily just made it be like one big giant thing. I sort of expected from the trailer that it would be like one of the stands. Like, you know how the other packs have like, um, like the food stalls and stuff that you can buy stuff from? I sort of figured that this would be like that, but it's not. Like you can customize and, and custom place it. So um, anyway, it should be, it should be cool to see. Um, Oh my goodness, I think ads are playing. Well, I don't think, I know ads are playing, as you can tell from chat, but. Um, yeah, I like that, Ninja. It's cool, because this is gonna get, like, this has so much storytelling potential, you know, for the future, for other things. Um, and we don't really have anything like this. Like, this, like, cool bus. Oh my god, cars in The Sims 4. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's too many people here to make jokes like that. We can't make jokes like that. <laughs> but we don't really have anything like this. So there's like cool opportunity to use that for different stuff, I think. Um, but <laughs> there's no tires on it. So there, I believe that that was like fully intentional. They were probably like, oh man, we can't put tires on this. We can do a bus, but it cannot have tires. That's too far. <laughs> They're going to take it the wrong way. <laughs> there, these are the tires. We have them as a seat instead. <laughs> Um, anyway, 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 this flower pot's a tire. This one too. Um, okay, other stuff. This item is quite cool. This is a Moonwood Mill tunnel entrance. So I don't know if any of you watched like the Sims official live stream. I'll show you it too in a sec, but um, the tunnels, basically there's a bunch of tunnels kind of placed around the world, like the werewolf world, and your Sim can go in them and explore them and stuff. Um, and then they can like pop out from different ones and they can get collectibles and all of that. And then they gave us a tunnel entrance that you can place on a lot. I think they did it because the bar, like the, the wolf bar in the werewolf pack has like a secret werewolf like hang out in the basement, like in like a bunker. And so there's an entrance to the tunnels from the bunker, but you could place this anywhere. Um, so you can use that to, I think if you use it when you're not living in the windmill, it'll just take you to the world. But if you are in the world, it'll take you into the tunnels. Um, so that's interesting. Um, it's kind of cool to have something like that. I feel like there's probably like some storytelling potential with something like this too, because it's like a vault door almost a little, you know? Um, there are swatches for the van bar. Yeah, there's quite a few actually. And it's cool because you can change the swatches separately on both of these things. Um, there's some quite good ones. 
Um, anyway, so we also have this new planter box and I love this. I love getting new planters. I use the one, there's like a debug one from Outdoor Retreat that I use all the time. Um, and this one is kind of similar to that and that it looks kind of like handcrafted. Um, this is so cute. This is so cute. I'm so excited. Um, I love the idea of more planter boxes. There's also this huge like bonfire pit that we have, um, which is kind of fun. This is a little window planter, like for the walls to go underneath the windows. <laughs> um, it's like a little drawer, but it's been converted into a planter box. I think that's so fun. And it's cheap too, it's just 40 simoleons. Um, most of this stuff is pretty cheap. I mean, obviously this isn't, that's a tunnel entrance, but um, we have this like planter, it's only 40 simoleons. This one's only 70, it's like a barrel. Um, but it's really cute. <laughs> And they're so cheap, so I can use them for so many starter homes. I'm gonna use this barrel thing a lot, I think. Um, anyway, very excited about that stuff. Um, what else are we missing? Let's do all of the other like floor items before we do the wall stuff. Um, there's a couple new bookshelves. I was really excited about these, especially. Um, I think this one is so cool. I saw James in one of the houses that he built for the pack. He used this as kind of like a wall divider. Um, and that's so cool because it goes up to the ceiling, like it's the same height as the wall. Um, so if you put that like in the middle of something, it would it would totally work as like a divider, you know? Um, and it's really interesting, like what a cool bookshelf, right? Uh, it's got some nice wooden, sh uh, wooden swatches and stuff. I lost it because I went into build mode. Um, and this thing is only 250 simoleons. This one's a little bit more like industrial looking, it's kind of metal. Um, but it's got some kind of cool metal swatches too. You'll see a lot of the build in this pack is either like this kind of rustic-y wood stuff or it's like metal. Um, there's a few cool like metal fences and things. Um, this is a trash can. It's an oil drum trash can. Also only 80 simoleons. We've got this cool like clothing storage chest. This is a dresser um, and it's got some kind of fun swatches. A couple like distress swatches too, um, which I very much enjoyed. Um, 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 this is a wall shelf, but it you can like slot the collectibles from the pack onto it. So if you want to display any of your pack collectibles, you can put them on this shelf, um, which is quite fun. We also have this standing lamp, very patchwork, very cute. Um, we have a new mailbox from this pack, also very cute. I can see myself putting this in the Realm of Magic world as well. Um, I feel like it looks really good, you know? We have got to raise these prices. Ninja, no! <laughs> Ninja, please! Ninja, I'm so glad they're finally cheap. I can use this stuff in all of my builds. <laughs> Ninja, no, don't raise the prices, please, please. Um, anyway, so we also have this uh, like worn factory lighting ceiling lamp, which is quite cool. Um, we've got this thing, like pile of junk, factory rubble. <laughs> it's got like a weird stain attached to it too, which is quite cool. Um, this one's pretty useful. A little like firewood to go by the fireplaces. Um, 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 we've got two rugs. They're the same rug, but one of them's distressed. I like this too. I'm glad they did this. They're also not expensive. Don't tell Ninja. 60 simoleons this cheap rug is. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. But it's cool how there's like the same, but one of them is distressed. How fun is that? Um, I, I love these rugs. Probably one of my favorite build things in the whole pack is the, is the rug set. Um, there's also, look at this, floor cracks. I'm on the grass, so it's not that good of a spot to show you, but, um, there's some cracks in the floor. This is kind of fun too, because we've got wall cracks from vampires, but we don't have any floor ones. Um, and also they're free. <laughs> so, uh, there's a couple different variants of like scratches and stuff for the different floors. Um, and again, they're free. <laughs> so... Um, feeling pretty good about that. Um, we have a couple little like cutesy things, like some stationery. Um, we've got this item, this little like fungus terrarium. This is a mooncaster memento. Um, so that's kind of fun. We've got this little like angry gnome wolf, which I quite enjoyed as well. <laughs> um, there's a lot of really cool things. Um, just like, thi literally just things. Lots of cute little things from the build mode of this pack. Um, is that all of the things before the wall stuff? I think so. Okay. Let me show you the wall stuff. Here's a wall. 
make it tall. Okay, so on to more things. We have this adorable little like wall decal with some kids stuff that we were looking at. Um, we also have some more wall scratches, like lots of like wolf type scratches. And look at how cool this one is. I think I liked that one best. It's like the wallpaper is being peeled off. Um, there's a couple different variants that are kind of like that. I'm gonna use that all the time. There's like some really good different kinds of cracks. I love when they add stuff like this and it's free as well. <laughs> So you can use it in all your builds so easily because um, it's it's just free. Um, we also have this new poster. It's got some kind of cool swatches too. Look at how cool that sim is. <laughs> uh, there's a couple different cool like werewolf poster swatches. We have this one. This one is the fueled Fury Fueled by Nonconformity poster. Um, this one's got some kind of fun like werewolf themed stuff. Um, <laughs> oh, hi, Simguru Connor. Ninja, don't tell people that I called things crusty. In my defense, it was crusty. So, I don't know. It was. Literally, look. T look at this and tell me it's not crusty. I read cushy leather chair and I was like, oh, it's the crusty leather chair. I stand by it. It looks like a crusty leather chair. <laughs> it works. That's the uh, the theme of build mode for this pack is crusty. Um, we also have this cool thing. I loved this. There's like so many good swatches on this thing. I loved this like galaxy themed one. I had that. I put that in the build that I made. Um, I'll show you the build in a second. Um, but there's some kind of cool swatches on it. I don't know. I was I was quite impressed. <laughs> um, 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 oh, also this thing. One of my favorite parts for this very reason. The scratch through Vlad's face amuses me so much. <laughs> it really excites me. Um, oh, I got early access just yesterday. So somebody in chat asked. I've only had early access for a day. Um, I've played a lot <laughs> since yesterday. Mark my words, like a lot. I've had my guild for like 24 hours, literally like 24 hours straight. I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, but there's a cool swatch of this. There's a couple interesting ones, but I like the Vlad one a lot, so. We have that, and then we also have this little painting, which I quite enjoy. This one is very cute, not crusty. Very delicate, pretty, if you will. Um, and then we have this. I really like this mirror. It's like a smashed mirror. There's a couple different like uh, broken swatches on it. That is so cool. Um, we don't really have anything like this yet, so it's kind of fun to get new stuff like that. Um, and then, let me get rid of these things so I can show you more. This mirror, not crusty, so beautiful with the crystals. Like, are you kidding me? That's so cool. So cool. Then we have these little like tarp sort of curtains, um, the right and left tarp curtains. <laughs> They've got a couple different swatches here. Um, I was kind of impressed by those. This is supposed to be like an old factory shutter. Um, and I think this thing, the world's most inaccurate sundial, I believe is the last item from the whole pack. Um, but there's some really cool build stuff in this one. I'm like really impressed. It's a very interesting collection. And I think it's a lot of stuff that I can imagine myself using a lot, even when I'm not building like crusty werewolf houses, you know? Um, oh, it's not actually the ceiling fan. We have a ceiling fan too. I thought I clicked on it, maybe I didn't. Um, there's also a ceiling fan. This one's crusty, as you can see, crusty. <laughs> All right, let me let me get rid of this furniture so I can show you the build stuff, like the walls and everything. Um, okay, so we do indeed have a couple new wallpapers. Um, we have this new like sort of wood paneling kind of swatch. Um, it's got a few different swatches. Again, it's a bit crusty. Um, I can't believe I keep calling it this. <laughs> Uh, but it's got some good, like, wood swatches on it. Um, we also have this new brick. I won't lie. I, I might be missing something. But to me, these bricks feel very similar to, to this brick. But they're different. Like, I don't, they have more swatches. I know that. 
but I don't know. They're very similar to me. <laughs> there is more swatches though. <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's also this, though, uh, that has, like, the painting at the bottom, which is useful. Um, I quite like it, I think. Um, yeah, I think it's cool because I think this one is supposed to be, like, ever so slightly more worn. So it might be interesting to be able to add that in and, like, tie it in with the base game one to, like, add some variant. I don't know. Um, I think that's probably the intention, but... Did they say it in the live stream? Oh, I didn't, um, I, I didn't hear the whole thing in the live stream. I was kind of in and out because I was busy, but, um, that's the wallpaper. We also have a few different windows. Um, we have this little, like, wooden one. It's kind of like a hole in the wall. There's no glass. Um, it's got some crusty swatches, but also some wood swatches. Um, there's this one, which is so cool. It's like a broken through window almost, so it's like the brick, and it matches the brick swatches, um, but there's no glass, so it's just kind of open. And then we have the same one, but with the glass, obviously, in a couple different sizes. Um, I really like these windows. I was really excited about these windows. I think those are so cool. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing with them a little bit more. And then we also have quite a few different doors. Maybe I'll just copy this and place them on there. Um, so we have this wooden door that kind of matches that window, window right? Um, this one is so cute. I'm gonna build so many cabins with this. You have no idea. <laughs> um, so there's kind of this, like, wooden cabin door. Then we have this interesting, like, tested by time industrial door, which looks quite cool. And there's a werewolf version, and this one is, like, only open. I think werewolves only can go through it. So if you want to make a werewolf only space, you see how it says werewolves only? You can use that, and then no humans can get through, just wolves can. So you can make, like, a werewolf only hangout space, right? Uh, we also have this door that matches the windows, and we have this archway that matches the windows. So we've got loads of interesting uh, build features to use. One thing that I was obsessed with, you're going to love this. Let me delete the doors so I can show you. I'll replace it. Um, we got these new columns. Like, there's a couple new metal columns, um, and there's, like, some basic more wooden columns. But they also added this. Oops. Come on. Come on. They also added this spandrel. Oh, isn't that so cool? When people love to do these sort of like industrial builds. That's going to fit into so much stuff. That is so cool. There also is like a kind of matching fence to that, um, which is pretty good. So if you wanted to use a matching little metal fence, it's also cheap. It's just 20 simoleons. Um, there's also this cute little like wooden fence, which is pretty adorable. It's got some good swatches. And we also have this like chain link fence, um, which I will be using to trap my sims. So, in the past, I've had to use the one from Get to Work, and it's just not as good. I, I used to use this one. Um, I like it less. And also this one, I like that less too. This one, just better. Just feels more right. So, um, very excited about that. It has a matching gate as well. Oops, not from Get to Work. Come here, werewolves. Matching gate. So... <laughs> I'm pretty excited about the build stuff. There also is a couple, um, oh, sorry. There's one flooring. I haven't shown you that yet. There is one floor. Um, this one is cool because it's very worn. We don't really have anything like this yet. Um, I can see myself using this all the time. This is a really good option. Um, and there's three different roof swatches. Um, but look how good that looks. But there's three different roof swatches. Um, they are like this. Oops, flip. Go this way. Go this way. Okay, so we have this one. Um, you can see how it has like little glass pieces in it. Like there's some like open, like you can see it. it's a bit transparent. There's also like a completely solid version of that. And there's this one. Um, so we've got a lot, a lot of different roofs. This one is so cool. I love the colors on that. That's so fun. Nice and crusty. Nice and crusty, you know? Um. <laughs> There's also some debug stuff. I don't want to spend too much time um, going through this. I love you all, but I, I kind of want to go try and woohoo Greg again. Um, did I do that right? Did he not show hidden objects? Um, okay. Anyway, debug. 
I want to go woohoo with Greg again, so. <laughs> Let's woohoo Greg. See, here's my problem. I was trying- there's, there's like some collectibles you can get. Look, see? Ooh, cute. Collectibles. Wow. New collection. Oh boy. Fish. Ooh. Greg. I was trying to woohoo Greg with Vlad. Extremely unsuccessful. Extremely unsuccessful. I did it with a human for a video. Easy. No problems. Just fine. When I tried to do it with Vlad, oh my god, big problems, not fine, not fine. <sighs> so, what should we do? <laughs> How do we fix this problem? I'm like, do I need to get a sim? Oh, this is Wolf Stanley. Oh, look! <laughs> look at the, the werewolf version of Stanley that I made. Isn't that so funny? Anyway, um... <laughs> it just felt right. <laughs> it just felt right to me. I'll show you, I could probably do Woohoo Stanley with a regular sim. Woohoo Stanley, Woohoo Greg with a regular sim. It's just Vlad that he doesn't... It's also daytime, so I can't. I had to stop because it became daytime so Vlad couldn't be outside. Because the guy has to go burn in the sun. So annoying. <laughs> Stupid Vlad. Can't handle the sun. All right, this should be fine. I'm a bit romantic, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm romantic and alluring. Okay, this'll be no problem, chat. This'll be no problem. <gasps> there he is! Oh no, Vlad, go home! Go home! Go home! Go home! Go home! Oh my God. I told you it wasn't going well for us. <laughs> It's daytime, Vlad! Please! <laughs> Vlad! Alright, I'm gonna come do a fr friendly introduction. Why is it letting me talk to him like normal? Oh my god. Also, can I just tell you? Don't run away. I saw this. So I filmed a video trying to speedrun Woohoo and Greg, okay? I saw this, it said, ask for Greg's gift. And I was like, oh my God, a present? Totally didn't think about it. Not once. I was like, oh, that's so nice of him. Ask for Greg's gift. He bites me, I become a werewolf. In hindsight, obvious, extremely obvious. I should have known, but I was like, wow, a present? <laughs> <laughs> That's so kind of you. <laughs> totally did not think about it like that at all. Did not see it coming. Like <laughs> They got me. They really did. Okay, I'm going to flirt with him. Watch. Compliment appearance. He's going to love me. The gift that keeps on giving. It was a gift. It was a gift. Oh my god, he's obsessed with me. No, 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 don't yell. Don't yell. Don't yell. Shh, sweetie, it's okay. It's okay. No, 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 not unpleasant conversation. No, 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 stop. Stop. Not unpleasant. Oh yeah, you look good, Greg. You look real good, Greg. We can change him, don't worry. Oh! Stop running! Hold hands! <sighs> Discuss interests. He's feeling a bit confident. Oh no! I've lost my ability to communicate with Greg! See? He thinks I'm unpleasant! I am not unpleasant! I am a weenie! Greg, I'm right here. Greg, look at me. Greg. 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 Shh. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you should have seen me when I was playing with Vlad. Literal. Are you good? When I was playing with Vlad, literally every two seconds, he would beat me up. Literally every two seconds. Constantly. 
What are you doing? Is he okay? I'm actually worried about him. It doesn't seem normal. <laughs> I confused him? Is that what's happening? He's confused? Oh, Greg! I feel bad now! Wait. Is this Werby's? Is this how you're trying to get me? Doi, are you trying to get me? Maybe I'll give him a wellness treat. Maybe I'll take him to the vet, you know? <laughs> are you trying to trick me? Compliment appearance. Oh, <gasps> he loves it. Flirt again. Please, I want to woohoo with you. Don't confess to it, that never works. Don't do that. Welcome to the neighborhood. Not this. I'm busy. <laughs> Can they get married? I don't actually know. I haven't tried. I I wouldn't know. <gasps> Kiss. So much easier when you're not a vampire. This guy is so grumpy. Try for baby! Try for baby! No! He said no! Oh, they can't get into it! Woohoo! No! Is somebody in the bush? If you don't get out of that bush this very instant, I swear to you. Where did it go? I'm honestly, I bet somebody's like sleeping in the I lost the bush. I don't remember where it is. There is a bush. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> I don't remember. Wait, am I on my own house? Okay, thoughts on. I place a bush here at my own house. No! Greg! Passionate kiss. <gasps> Woohoo and shower! Oh! No! <laughs> oh my god. It worked when I did it before! Woohoo and bush. <gasps> yes! I bet somebody was in the bush before. I bet that's why. Yeah, because there's a bush right here. I honestly, I bet somebody was in it, like peeing in it or using it so they couldn't woohoo in it. <gasps> Are there ads playing? Not now! Oh, I'm pausing my game. Why Twitch? There's no woohooing until Twitch stops. Now we wait. <laughs> the suspense. <laughs> the suspense. It's fine. He's not even here yet anyway. My little Greg bestie is all the way back here. Hi, buddy. You're so cute. I'm obsessed with him, I won't lie. I really am obsessed with him. The more I think about Greg, the more I love him. <laughs> the more I think about Greg, the more obsessed I become. So... <laughs> Just give it a sec. Give it a sec. 14, 13. Oh my god. Twitch. Literally, why? The suspense is killing me. Will Greg be in the unpause stream? Oh my god. Now's a good time to talk about that. Okay, so tomorrow night, I'm going to leave my Sims game unpaused overnight for like, I think like 14 hours probably. And the idea is that I'm going to have it be all occults. It's going to be like Vlad, probably Greg, an alien, a mermaid. You know, like we're going to have one of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna leave them in the house overnight unpaused and like see what happens and judging off how everybody behaves I would not be surprised if it's a complete disaster like a complete disaster okay come along then Greg take your time take your time Just, you'll get here you'll get here give it a sec come on Greg <gasps> everyone shh watch Ooh. <gasps> what? No, 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 no. I want the full animation. 
happened? No! It worked before! Why? <laughs> Did he change his mind? Did he go back into his whole, like, doesn't want to... Doesn't want to talk to me thing in the middle of it? Woohoo in bush. Greg! Here we go. Okay. Yes. There we go. That is what I wanted. Thank you. Let's get married. Can you marry him? Can you marry Greg? <laughs> we'll have to find out. Oh, I'd marry Greg. I'd do it. He's wearing a ring. I think he's got something going on with somebody else, but that's not my problem. That's that's a that person's problem, not mine. Gregnant! No! Oh my god, maybe we have to try for a baby with Greg in the bush. Not Gregnant. <sighs> Can I not ask you to date me? Well, maybe I'll try for a baby in the bush. Greg! You can't leave. This is me asking for Greg's gift. If you know what I mean. Okay, off you go, Greg. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a pregnancy test. <laughs> I haven't had a werewolf baby yet. What if it's a human? Then what? That would be terrible is what. End your stream. What? It was funny. My joke was funny. It was. I could go ask for Greg's actual gift. Maybe I'll turn into a werewolf so you can all see what happens. Greg. Greg. Can you turn into a werewolf while you're pregnant? I would not be surprised if you can't. And if I can't, I'm gonna have to get something else. I don't know if you can. That's like an honest question. Ask for cursed bite. Yeah, pregnant sims can't be bitten. I didn't think so. I would be very surprised if we could have been. <laughs> Some say I'm mean. They say I'm gruff. A menace. You know what's mean? Gruff? What's really menacing? Life. Get used to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. You can't fight or get bit while you're pregnant. Like, you can't fight at all while you're pregnant, so that would be odd if you if you could get bit. Anyway, that you're edgy, Greg, is what you are. <laughs> you are so edgy. I can't even talk to him again because he's having one of his moments. Greg. <sighs> he, don't you walk away from me, Greg! Okay, new thought. What if we change to a werewolf aspiration? And we get started working on this werewolf business. Cause soon I'm going to turn. I don't have any of my mods installed, so I can't force him to give birth. So we have to do something. But luckily once it becomes nighttime, I can go play with Vlad again. So it should be fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, MCC and UI cheats are updated, but it's okay. It is okay. Baby will be a werewolf? I th it's It's got like a 50-50 shot, right? So it might be a werewolf. It also might not be. Um, we'll have to see. If it's not, then I'll cry. And probably delete it. Okay. As the hand I'm sorry, I can't just say that so casually. If it's not a wolf, then I'll cry and delete the baby. <laughs> uh -huh. As the handshake ended, Ginger felt her inner wolf cry out. 
There was a connection between the two of them, one that both terrified and excited her. Had he felt it as well? His steely expression led her to believe that he had not, that she was no different from any other new neighbor he had felt obligated to meet. The thought weighed heavier in her heart than she'd anticipated. There seems to be entire passages of this written in indecipherable, indecipherable language. The only thing Stanley can make out are some symbols that look like the moon. <laughs> Werewolf Wombat, no! It really is, though. <laughs> I love Twilight. There's literally a sim called Jacob in this. Let's not forget. One of the townies is literally named Jacob, so... There's no way that that is not on purpose. I'm sorry, but there's no way. No way. It's gotta be like a little hint, like a little teaser, right? 100% on purpose. If I see him, I'll point him out to you. But he lives in the town, so. <laughs> All right, hurry up, finish reading your book. Come on. Come on, Team Vlad or Team Greg? Oh my god, good question. <gasps> we need a poll for this. Mods. Mods. Team Vlad, Team Greg. I'm not actually sure. I might still be Team Vlad. I just have like a history with Vlad. Um, so it's hard to, uh, <laughs> it's hard to move on so easily from that, you know? Um, we added a couple sequels to a base game book called Dusk Glow that's definitely not based on anything. Right, okay, right, 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 right. The sequels to the book Dusk Glow. Certainly not based on anything we know from real life. That makes perfect sense, I understand. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> oh, wow, Greg's winning by a lot. That's impressive. This is his moment. The guy shows up and in just one day, he completely takes over the world. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm going back. I'm sorry, not to like spend the whole stream trying to woohoo Vlad. Sorry, woohoo Greg. But I want to bring Vlad back just for a sec. I want to give him one more shot. We couldn't do it before because he was being so annoying. He kept trying to like, Greg kept trying to beat us up like every two seconds. I'm going to try one more time. One more time. If it doesn't work, it won't work because he hates me. But if it doesn't work, <laughs> we will stop. I wonder if I could do some little sneaky things, like, um, hang on. Maybe get some romantic aura on this lot. <laughs> um, maybe we could get, like, I don't know, that'll do. Let's try it from there. Greg! Oh, Greg! I have returned, Greg! I'm here to spend all night trying to woo you. Look at the fog. Ooh. Ooh. See, he hates me. It's truly devastating. Here he is. Hi, buddy! <gasps> Bright and day. Okay. Flatter. Maybe ask about day? Casual stuff. I found that smooth apologies never work. It always makes them more angry. Oh my god. Like right now. Is he gonna fight me again? Uh, is he? Yeah, he is. What for now? What is this? Like the tenth time that that Greg has beaten Flat up? <laughs> I give up. It's just it's not gonna work, besties. It's just not gonna work. It's impossible for us. Look at him as well. They get this like Anytime a werewolf beats you up, and trust me, I've been beat up by Greg a lot. Um, I've been tr I've been spending a lot of time with Greg. Whenever they do this, you get this on you. He's like covered in scratches and paw prints and band aids. <laughs> Greg's kind of toxic. I won't lie. 
It's actually kind of rude. <laughs> you refuse to believe that Greg is stronger than Vlad? Oh no, I 100% believe that Greg is stronger than Vlad. You think this little puny vampire man is stronger than Greg? He wants to be left alone. No, I didn't even do anything this time. I legit did not even talk to him. He unprovoked has attacked me. I did nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> this happened to me. I was recording a Let's Play episode. Um, today, and I had two vampires. They're like sister, or not vampires, sorry. Oh my god, misspoke. I had two werewolves. They're sisters. They were in the same household. And Greg, unprovoked, attacked both of them, like in front of their house. I wasn't even over here. I was like by the starter home lot, like I was down here. And unprovoked, like Greg appeared and beat us both up. Not at the same time, but like one and then the other. Both. Yes, granted, I think it was a full moon. So we were, you know, <laughs> there was a lot happening um, in Greg's defense. But still, unpro I didn't even talk to him. I was just there at my own house. At my own house. Anyway, Greg is a bit of a grumpy, mean, mean, mean sim. And I think now we should actually play with werewolves a little bit. <laughs> we need to stop this. We need to, like, actually play with werewolves. <laughs> we can't keep doing this. <laughs> we need to actually play with them. Um, okay, okay. Should we... Um, I don't know. Should we try and play with... An existing one? Do you want to make a new one? Do you want to play a Stanley and try and turn him? I'm kind of thinking that I might try and turn Stanley, but I do need to close my game and get a mod so that I can force him to give birth. I need to reinstall MC Command Center. One moment, please. <laughs> one moment, please. Let me just, um, let me just reinstall MCC so that I can force him to give birth. Um, ah, fixes still needed for the June 14th update. Is it gonna be broken if I try and use it? I don't know. I suppose we'll find out. <laughs> it's fine, I'm sure. We won't have that big of an issue. It's not like UI cheats where it's like, you know, broken, broken. Um, Okay, other, no, 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 no. The Sims 4 mods. I'll just get my MCC back. Let's try it and see what happens. If it's, if it breaks, then it breaks and it's, it's the mod's fault and not our fault. <laughs> there was an MCC update yesterday. Then why can I see on the change log, um, fixes needed still? Look, can you see this? No, you can't. Okay. Look, fix is needed. It's a hot fix. It's not done yet. There you, oops. Oh no. Game. It's not done yet. It's just a hot fix probably. Um, that's okay. That's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, we don't need to worry about it too much. I'm just trying to force Stanley to give birth. That's the whole point of it. I'm just trying to cheat Stanley to be further along in his pregnancy. <laughs> Um, that's all we need. That is all we need. Um. <laughs> all right, if it would just hurry up, that would be great. I just want to have a baby, please. What if it's not a werewolf? Honest question. If it's not a werewolf, are we gonna delete it? Because I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in having a child. Oh, I'm in the wrong household. I'm not interested in having a child. <laughs> yes? Oh my, are we serious? Okay. So if it's not a werewolf, we're legit gonna delete it. All right. Um. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Have baby at hospital. Send alone. You got this, little buddy. It's a boy. What do you think? I was thinking Greg Jr. I'm glad we're on the same page. Greg Jr. Or I guess I should name it Greg Humphrey Jr. But Greg- the- the Humphrey's not Greg's last name. That's fine, I'll just keep it. Are you a werewolf? <gasps> In werewolf bassinet! Good sign. Very, very good sign. Okay. I'm feeling better about this now. Okay. This is good. Age them up. Should I? Right now? No, I don't want a toddler. You can't make me! How have you tricked me into doing this? How is this happening to me? I feel like I've, I'm being scammed or something. You managed to trick me into having a baby in this? Like, I'm just trying to play with werewolves and now I'm gonna have a toddler? What is wrong with you? Maybe I'll make it a child. Oh, Greg sent Greg a gift. Fussy toddler. Great. Greg Humphrey Jr. Do you have any little special... Let's go find out in Cass. And if it's not a werewolf, then it's gone. Because it should show me, right? It should still have, like, the little werewolf, like... It's a werewolf. You don't need to be deleted, because you're a wolf. Okay. Well, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, should I make it a child? Maybe at the very least I could make it a child. Don't be squeamish. My life would be a little bit easier if I skipped the whole toddler thing. Should you be, like, evil or something? I mean, you're related to Greg, so... It howls. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He howls. Not it. Sorry. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god. <laughs> Should I do the mullet? I kind of am thinking I will. Oh my god! Stop! I'm gonna wear this. Here. This is not my problem. There we go. Solved. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Nikki, Artsy, Amy, Baby Apple, thanks for the sub. This way, this way he can sleep in the bedroom and we don't need to buy anything extra. It'll be easier. I probably will simply just not play with him. <laughs> I won't lie, I, I don't imagine myself uh, giving much effort to this child. However, I do imagine myself trying to convince Greg to turn me into a werewolf now that I'm not pregnant. So, or I should say Gregnant. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just want to turn. Please, 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 please. Come on, come on. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'll attempt to communicate with you again, but I literally just want your gift. I don't ask for much. I would... Hello? Ask for Greg's gift. Again, I already got one of Greg's gifts, but I want the next one now. <laughs> um, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Yay! I have been bit. Painful bite for the next two hours. What? Look, now I'm glowing. With Greg. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You should just go to sleep for now. 
I would like to sleep through a little bit more of this. You have to be careful though, because when it goes to the next stage of this, um, oh, I should have been more careful than that. It's by the time he gets home, we're gonna be doomed. Like, genuinely doomed. Yeah, see? We've got insatiable hunger. Okay, come on, use the bathroom. Where are you? How slow are you? Is it because you have to pee? No, 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 use the bathroom. Oh, we're doomed. Actually doomed. Um, serve up some fruit salad. Quickly, before it goes down further. Okay. This is concerning. Very, very concerning. Yeah, the hunger goes down, like, scarily fast. This one's not so bad, the first one, but the second level of it- Oh, that's disgusting. The second level of it goes down, like, so fast. So we should probably try and sleep for the next three hours, just while we can. But we have to be careful about timing. That is some crusty fruit salad, yeah. So make sure you- make sure we're watching this. Two hours left, because when that goes up, we have to be really careful. Look at how fast the hunger is going down even now, and it's not even that bad yet. Here we go. Stanley has a child now. Yeah, we had a kid with Greg. It was a big mistake. Big mistake. Big, 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 big mistake. Don't worry. I won't be thinking about the child very much. Put the food away. Oh, we don't need to. He's going to be out here using it in a second. It, it's got eight hours. 34 minutes. Oh, just come eat now. Just come eat now. Oh my god, come eat now. It's gonna go down fast. You have to be careful. See? Ravenous hunger. He ha Look at how fast it goes down. He has to like li literally keep eating. Because it just keeps going down and down and down. Do you have time to shower? Look! Isn't that so bad? Come back, get more! Ugh. Oh, the mail has been delivered. Is it gonna be gifts for the baby? <laughs> I think it might be gifts for the baby. Uh-oh. Ravenous hunger ends in like 47 minutes. Here we go. Can they die? I think they probably could die of starvation from that, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, right? Um. <laughs> okay. Come on. What are you doing? 29 minutes. No, no, no. Eat more. Stop. Thank you. Uh oh. Here we go. One minute. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Everything's totally and completely fine. Totally and completely fine. <laughs> Everything's fine, I say. Fine. I have, I have had like five werewolves transform. I have never seen this before. What is that? <laughs> is this because I installed MC Command Center? That's the only thing that's different. What's wrong with you? It's creepy. Because I haven't had this problem this whole time. I'm gonna go take it out of my game and see if that helps. <laughs> what the heck? The costume? No, because I had Stanley turn into a werewolf before. Like, I literally have had Stanley become a werewolf, like, yesterday. This is not my first time doing this. <laughs> I haven't had this happen yet. <laughs> I don't understand what that is. And I did install a mod, so, like, that, in my mind, is the most likely issue. The mod. Um... I'm gonna take the mod out and see if that helps. Cause that doesn't, that, that has to be the only thing, right? 
Because I haven't seen that problem yet. <laughs> That's so weird. That's so weird. I think you had a, a similar thing with Mermaid's Tail. Yeah, I've seen it before, but not since I've been playing the Werewolf Pack. So, I don't know. That's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, I saw a glitch that was happening in cast, but that's not what the- I don't know, this is so weird. Um, but anyway, we'll load it and see what happens. <laughs> we'll see if it fixes it. <laughs> oh my god, you have no idea how stressed I feel right- uh-oh. You have no idea how stressed I feel right now. When this kind of thing goes wrong, when I'm streaming, bad vibes. Bad vibes. <laughs> It's very stressful. <laughs> no, I don't have any CC installed, GB. I literally don't have any mods. Oh, well, I just had MC Fan Center, but I'm taking it out, and we're gonna see if it fixes it. Um, oh, but this is not fun. Um, no, the game didn't crash. I just had a- okay. I am teeth. I am teeth. Yeah, Lemons, I know it's the SDX. That's what I heard was causing the problem, but I don't have the SDX. <laughs> like, the SDX is not installed. <laughs> uh, because I know that glitch was happening to people. Um, try going into cast. Oh, that could be a good idea. Let's see if this happens. Oh, I'm stressed now. I am anxious now. All right, the fix that I saw that people were using when this happens is to take out the, um, it's the content folder from your Sims 4 folder. Um, let me see, let me close my game again and I'll try and take it out and see if that fixes it. I don't have, it's, it's the SDX. It's gonna be fixed when it comes out tomorrow, but um, it's the SDX drop I think that's causing this, but I disabled it on purpose so that I wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> so I don't understand. Oh, no, it installed itself! The SDX drop is there! Okay, it's- it's the SDX drop then. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Um, that's- that is not a big deal at all, because that's just- they're gonna have that fixed by tomorrow. Um. Okay, well, let's try that again. <laughs> let's try that again. Um, but it's the SDX drop from yesterday that's causing that, so. Um. Anyway, weird. Very weird. <sighs> Should be fixed now, though. Um, anyway, I was having the issue in CAS a little bit, but then I fixed it by taking out SDX drop and, like, not installing it, but it came back on its own somehow, which is really weird because I have the SDX drops disabled. But, I don't know. That'll be fixed by tomorrow when the pack comes out. That's, like, an early access problem. <laughs> um, it won't be a problem for you, so that's good. Um, the typing was aggressive. I wasn't aggressive typing. My mods were just telling me what was the problem, and I was like, yeah, I know it's the problem. I've done it already. <laughs> I had this problem earlier. I just, I fixed it already, and now it came back. <laughs> but, um, that's no problem. Don't worry about that. No! I don't want the SDX drop. I do not want the SDX drop. Play without the SDX. That's what I would like to do, please. This is the new, uh, Sims 4 Dentist pack. <laughs> <laughs> very exciting. Uh, very, very, very exciting. All right. Are we... Please be fixed. If it's not fixed, I'm going to cry. It might be the save then if it's not fixed still. But we will see. The SDX was like prep for the werewolf pack. Um... Why is this happening to me? <laughs> I will cry. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> the fact that I had no issue. I've literally played, honestly, probably like 15 hours of this pack. I'm dead serious. I've been playing. It was like from 1 p.m. yesterday until like I went live today 
I slept, but I've literally played so much of this pack, I've had no issue. Why is it happening now? Okay, it's finding Cass. It's finding Cass. So why is this happening now? <laughs> when things go wrong in front of people on stream, it's so scary. <laughs> I've literally played so much of the werewolf pack and it waits until now to break. There we go. Reloaded and fine. Okay, so it was the SDX drop and it's reloaded and it's fine. That, that makes me feel better. I knew it was because I had this like an issue in cast yesterday, but um, doing the SDX drop fixed, like deleting it fixed it. So that's going to be fixed tomorrow when the pack comes out. It's just a weird early access thing. So well, don't worry. Where? Just a weird early access thing. Okay, I would very much like for Stanley to be um, a hot dog. This feels right to me. Thank you. Okay. What? Okay. I feel a lot better now. I'm back to normal. Back to being a weenie. So, yeah, the wolves can wear clothes. They'll usually um, generate in... Excuse you. They'll usually generate in the clothes that... Um, they usually aren't in the clothes they were wearing, but I don't think they can wear the hot dog suit. So, that's why. Like, if he was wearing regular clothes, um, like most shirts and stuff, the wolf would wear too. See? But because he's in a hot dog suit, the wolf doesn't wear it. What is happening? Why is it doing this? I want to be red. And yellow. Makes me click it twice. I think Stanley is the problem, really. I think it's a Stanley issue. Why is this happening? <laughs> the fact that I have literally successfully done this so many times off stream. We've had no problems this whole time and you choose now to break? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, just keep rampaging, buddy. It's fine. Just keep it up. You know, break stuff. Do what you need to do. Unlink the forms. I did that the first time. Trust me, my loves. I unlinked it the first time. Then the second time, because it didn't work unlinked, I thought, hmm, let's leave it linked. It didn't work both times. <laughs> I unlinked it the first time. <laughs> I already did that. <laughs> His temperament, let's see this actually. He's got racked with guilt. Sometimes the weight of this werewolf curse is too much to bear. Not only do these sims gain extra fury while sad, they also might feel a sliver of remorse for their actions. Ooh. 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 Okay, he's actually breaking everything now. This rampaging business? Yeah, it might be because he's rampaging. I'm not sure. Him being, a, like, rampaging might be messing with it. I don't know. Um, well, we're gaining a bunch of ability points. We can pick some new prizes. You're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. How long are you rampaging for? 56 more minutes? Okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> oh, I didn't want you to go outside. Oh, here we go. <sighs> now he's off somewhere. Quite literally. Somewhere, question mark? Here it comes. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, there's ads playing. Well, now's a good time for there to be ads playing because he's literally not even here. <laughs> he's literally not here. So there being ads playing, that's fine. Because he's not here. <laughs> it's a game pack, so it's going to be $20, Una, when it comes out tomorrow. It'll be $20 tomorrow. Um, just give it a moment. Can enrage kill in this scenario? I don't, I don't think they'll die from being enraged in this case, but I guess we'll see. Um, I guess we will see. Um, but anyway, don't worry. Now we just wait for him, because he's off busy being somewhere. <laughs> they are immune to the anger death. There you go, that's good to know. Thanks, Connor. Um, so the Sim Guru Connor said that they're immune to the anger death. That makes sense, because they're using enrage to, like, do this rampage thing. 
Um, so if they died from the anger death, that would be really bad. <laughs> so it makes sense how they, like, they made them immune from it. It's a separate kind of anger. That, that checks out, I think. Um, separate kind of anger. So, um, now we wait. The ad should be ending in literally zero seconds. So no one should have them anymore. You, you miss nothing. He literally has just been somewhere this whole time. There was nothing. There was nothing. Don't worry. Um, okay, now we wait. And we have awoken naked on the top of the mountain. <laughs> but we unlocked Transformation Mastery. You unlock that if they successfully, uh, like, have one of their rampages without scaring anybody. They unlock the Transformation Mastery. So that's one of his, like, dormant abilities. And now he can transform at will. Um, if he doesn't have that, then he can't control when he transforms. He's, like, kind of at the mercy of the moon and only the moon and, like, his rampage. But, um... Anyway, now he's up here. <laughs> now he's up here, um, and we are naked, apparently. So that's really good. We have some points, though. Um, I think I might buy, like, the territory marking and wolf napping for now. I might even get scavenger, too. I might just spend them all on some low-level stuff so that we've got a few abilities. Do you want to take a little wolf nap on the floor up here? <laughs> Oh my god, he's naked still! I thought he was gonna change! I don't know why I assume he's gonna change. <laughs> he's still naked! <laughs> and he's just sleeping up here. <laughs> As nature intended, yes. Why is he naked? Well, think about this, right? He just transformed into a werewolf for the very first time. So the, the storyline is kind of like, he became a werewolf, didn't realize he was becoming a werewolf, as he's a werewolf, he's, like, ripped through all of his clothes, right? Um, but he's a wolf, so it doesn't matter. And then, when he became a human again, when he came to again, he can't remember what happened. He doesn't know where he was. He doesn't know what happened. That's why he's so scared, because he doesn't know what was going on. Um, he's got this, like, scared, what happened? Where am I? Woke up naked on top of the mountain, because, like, his clothes ripped off, and now he's a human again, and he's like, what's going on? <laughs> you know? Um, that's kind of what I assume to be the idea. Um... But now I'm naked on the floor, so that was probably a mistake. <laughs> Do you want to wake up? <laughs> Do you want to transform? Hey, buddy. Do you want to mark your territory? Naked and afraid, quite literally, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Anyway, you can mark his territory. Um, I might actually see about doing a little bit of, like... No, I'll do some more marking your territory. Maybe I'll do some, like, scavenging of the ground. See if we can get our level up a little bit more. Because then we'll be better off. We'll get another ability point. Come on. Scavenge the ground. Level me up. Level me up. Come on. So close! I'm so close. There we go. Tier two. Runt. Oh, we found a minnow while scavenging. How is there a fish up here? Tell me how there is a fish up here. <laughs> okay, we got a new temperament too. It looks like we're also an anti-capitalist canine. Yes. <laughs> I saw it for the first time on stream earlier. That's so funny. Ever since the beast awakened, doubts about societal norms have begun to stir. This sim now rejects the daily grind and will gain extra fury if forced to partake in this endless crushing rat race. <laughs> Comrade Stanley. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, well, I've got another ability point. <laughs> I think I might buy the hunter thing so I can hunt for my own food. Um... Oh, do you want to go see? Okay, honest question. So there's two different packs. Which one would you rather join? Um, there's the Moonwood Collective, um, which I'll read it to you. The Moonwood Collective is a dignified group of werewolves whose mission embodies the union of lycanthropy and philanthropy. Members are expected to be tactful, prudent, and diplomatic. They seek to make meaningful connections with all sims. This includes mastering fury control and to become more approachable and friendly to non-werewolves. Oh, literally everybody is saying wild things. <laughs> Not a single person said Moonwood Collective. 
<laughs> All right, the Wild Fangs are a scrappy, free-spirited group of werewolves. They believe the werewolf lifestyle is the ultimate gift, and they're going to make the most of it. The world is the Wild Fangs' playground. While exploring the vast world to expand the pack's influence, members are also expected to commit to ongoing self-improvement, aiming to become the best werewolf possible. There's a poll. Yeah, 80% of chat is voting for Wild Fangs, so... <laughs> Um, we can we can do that one. Whatever you guys say, we'll we'll go for. But it looks like it's a, a serious majority for Wild Fangs. <laughs> so the poll should be in chat. Uh, anyway, you should you should see it pop up at the top of your chat. If you don't see it, maybe try and refresh. It might be glitching. But um, isn't the world pretty though? Like, look at this area. It's real nice. It's real nice. Um. Okay. Now we wait. Now we wait. Oh, I got an insider's guide to being a werewolf? Oh, wait, do you want to read that? <laughs> that might be really useful for us, actually. <laughs> All right, 72% of chat says Wild Fangs, so we'll try and join the Wild Fangs then. There seem to be entire passages along the pages written in an indecipherable language. Yeah, we know. Hopefully he'll learn it soon enough. Um, when you feel that rage coming on and don't want to destroy the house again, consider one saving grace. Door locks. Just go lock the door. Even a werewolf can't break through those things. <laughs> you know what? I've, I have learned that in my gameplay over the past day or so. I've been like, yeah, lock them out so they can't do that. <laughs> so they can't break anything. <laughs> you got anything else good for us, Stan? Any other good tips? This is indeed Stanley Humphrey, yeah, Kimmy. Indeed it is. Hurry up. Give me some more stuff. Well, here we go. It's a first quarter moon. There might be more to discover if Stanley gives this book another read. Might as well. Try and change his fur now. Yeah, I don't know why. It's starting to stress me out, the fact that it wasn't working when I tried to change his fur. Because I don't understand what's different, because I literally have- I'm telling you, I've done this like 10 times off stream. So I don't understand why it wasn't working when we tried to do it a second ago. Um, but like, whether I had it linked or unlinked, both ways that I tried, it didn't stay. See, when I- I have to click it twice. And then it doesn't stay. I don't think it'll stay. I don't get it, because it's been working all day. It's stressing me out. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. I literally changed. I like, I'm telling you, I'll show you. I literally had, I did this exact same thing with Stanley. Like this exact same thing. Nothing was different. I literally changed it. The same, like I had him, get, he got turned by Greg. I changed it in Cass. Like I don't. Anyway, it's fine. I don't really care. I don't want to think about it anymore because it's stressing me out. <laughs> I don't want to think about it anymore. Miss Flex, uh, Hufflepuff Ainsley, thank you for the subs. I'm sorry, there's so many of you subbed today and I haven't had a chance really to get to all of them. Um, I promise I've been trying to, but um, there's a lot going on and way more people here than usual, so bear with me, okay? Um, all right, this says now, some werewolves think that they want to have a go at life alone, but it's often not the easiest path. Wolves naturally find pack behavior satisfying, and packs offer support in ways you may not have even considered. From managing fury to sharing resources, it'd be a shame to miss out on it all. They're also a great place to find a fated mate, that once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Interesting. Oh, turning on a date can be catastrophic, especially if it's your first date. Our recommendation? Go for a run. Rampage to your heart's content in the other direction. You might not have complete control, but even rampaging werewolves consider a nice long run a good time. Give in to that instinct and you're sure to find yourself far away from your likely terrified date. Okay, good. <laughs> Great. Well, I don't think Greg's afraid of me, luckily. Oh, I'm sleeping on the mountain? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, no, Jeremiah, he, he like forcibly turns into a werewolf on full moons and also when his fury gets full. It's both those things that cause him to turn. Um, 
Oh, he's hunting for food. I return with some fresh meat? Yeah, eat it. Go for it. Why not? Why not? Okay. Well. <laughs> well, I think we should go try and join the pack. I think that's my new goal. I don't know how many of them are gonna be out at this time. It's only like 6 a.m., but oops, wrong way. This way. So this over here is the Wild Fangs like hangout spot. Uh, the pack leader is currently somewhere else because it's 6 a.m. I can't say I blame her. Beastly growth spurt from being a small werewolf. Growing up is weird enough as it is, but now this? Oh! That's so cute! <laughs> no, you can't create your own pack, Kay, but you can take over one of the other packs. You can try and become the leader of one of them. So that kind of counts as, like, making your own, right? Um, to an extent. Um, so that helps. Okay, I'll just work out until my friends get here. Oh, <gasps> yes, here she comes. No, come back out! Hello. I'd like to sniff and introduce. Hello. I haven't taken over a pack yet against Hope, so I don't know if you can change its priorities. I've not gotten that far. I only got access to this pack yesterday, so... Uh, once I join, you'll see. Basically, to try and join... Um, well, I don't think she'd let me, because I'm not that close with her yet. Maybe I'll werewolf spar with her, see if that helps. Um, but basically... Um, there's a couple things that you have to do to try and join. Number one, you have to, like, impress the pack leader. Um, there's, like, three different, um, like, tasks you have to do, and you can pick them. There's a few different tasks that you can do to impress them enough to, like, be allowed to join into the pack. And then once you're in the pack, it has gameplay kind of similar to the, like, um, like, societies and clubs from university almost a little bit. Um, if you know what those are like, um... I think I might actually give you a heartfelt compliment and try to take some pictures. And so you have to, like, do stuff to stay in good graces with the pack. You have to, like, give, uh, like, contribute pack resources. Um, the different packs, both of them have different, like, tasks you have to do to stay in good graces with the packs. Um, yeah, you can vegetarian. I have, in my Let's Play I'm gonna post tomorrow, I've got a vegetarian werewolf. So. <laughs> um, yes, indeed. You can be vegetarian. Alright, I'm gonna ask to be a friend of the Wild Fangs, please. Please, I'm low. Oh, I peed on the floor. Okay. Please. Oh, my fury is getting up. You don't know me well enough yet? What? Look at how close we are. Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. What is your problem? Express admiration. Tell funny story. Ask about werewolf packs, maybe? No, we're doomed. No, we're doomed. Well, Tacos, I really want to emphasize <laughs> that I was not having, like, any issues until I went live, which is so stressful. But I think it's an early access issue, and it won't be it won't be bugged tomorrow when it comes out. Um, I think it's an early access issue. But you have no idea how beyond stressed I feel right now. The fact that it's happening while I'm streaming and wasn't before. <laughs> I feel very unprepared. I feel very unprepared to deal with this, and I'm nervous. <laughs> It makes me nervous. All right, I'd like to be a friend of the Wild Fangs, please. Are we close enough yet? There we go. All right, we are a brand spanking new friend of the Wild Fangs. So now I can actually use their facilities and stuff, which should help. Um, and then, oh, why are you crying? Do you think that one of the werewolves got killed by story progression? Like, somebody from the pack? I'm looking around. Okay, that's her dad. He's still here. I'll have to check later. <gasps> Feeling flirty! I think I can trick Rory into liking me and then I can steal the pack from her. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's one way of going about it. All right, I was gonna see, um, I'm gonna do, so here, there's like these different trials. You have to do three trials in order to convince them to let you join. Um, there's a few. Uh, you can give them some excellent quality food, give them an uncommon or rare collectible, um, demonstrate a pack howl, we don't have the ability yet, obviously. Demonstrate scavenging, we do have that ability. Lunar Epiphany, we don't have that ability, or Werewolf Spar. Um, so we can try and like do a few things to like impress the Sim, and then once you've done three, you can ask to join the the pack. Um, which is quite cool, in my humble opinion. Um, okay. I would now like to perhaps demonstrate my scavenging for you. Tell me it's not Lou. We'll have to look. Well, no, Lou's there. So it's not Lou. I wonder if it's her brother. Okay, werewolf pack. The last thing, I think maybe giving some excellent quality food might be easier to have us like make her like us. Is there a grill around here? Oh. There's a grill at the other place. I guess they probably don't cook. They probably just, you know. <laughs> um, they probably just do a lot of like eating of raw meat and stuff. <laughs> just saw a grill. Oh, over here. I know there's one by the other place, but I don't think there's one over here. All right, well, we can cook in the house and then try and bring some. Come here, little friend. I'd like for you to try and cook a hamburger cake so I can impress the werewolves with it. Okay, then I'd like to, maybe I'll check the neighborhood stories and see if anybody died. <gasps> okay, well not a werewolf, but somebody from Get Together died. Bella and Mortimer Goth are having a baby, yikes. Daddy Winter moved in, okay. Some babies have been adopted. Maybe I'll just open a few of these. Drink operator, cat, nothing else? Oh, so I don't think, she's probably fine. No one died that she knows, as far as I'm aware, at least. No, Vlad and Greg are impossible, Mia. It's impossible. Vlad and Greg, they simply won't. I think there is nothing that can be done to make Vlad and Greg get along better. Literally nothing. Terrible. Okay, let's see if I can get an excellent- is that excellent quality? <gasps> yes! Okay, so we can go bring that to the pack. <laughs> okay, hello. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. All right, let's come back here. I would very much like to impress Rory. I've got excellent quality food for my werewolf trial, please. Thank you, thank you, hurry up. Come on, just run, little buddy, just run. Okay. Did it work? I should really get going now? Don't leave. Ask to join the Wild Fangs. Don't leave me, I wanna join the club. Before you join, remember that the Wild Fangs stand for embracing all aspects of werewolf life. We value three things the most. First, no lazy pack mates. You'll actually have to contribute to the pack and help out. Second, stay on that grind. You've gotta to work to improve yourself as a werewolf. And third, we don't keep our talents limited to Moonwood Mill. You'll need to expand, you'll need to get out there, expand your horizons and maximize our impact everywhere. I'm in. And so you can see there's like this new pack thingy. And this stuff, the check marks, is because I'm currently like in, in good with them. But if you're not doing well, it'll give like an exclamation point yellow one. It'll be like, hey, you need to work on this. Um, and they actually will kick you out <laughs> if you're not doing enough. <laughs> if you're not doing enough, they actually will kick you out. Um, but for this one, we have to do pack participation, um, like be friends with them, keep adding things to the pack, like uh, stash, pack stash, pack resources. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> um, 
expand and explore, uh, but that means like mark our territory places, meet non-werewolf sims, um, and also keep self-improving, like spar with pack mates and stuff. Um, and that is the goal. I might actually try and, um, I might see if we, oh, do you want to do a werewolf spar at the sparring grounds? I might actually. Mermaid Raid! Hey, Sam Marky, thanks for the raid! It's good to see you all! I'm currently playing with my hot dog sim, sim as a werewolf. So you caught us at a good time. No! What? What? Did you run off to go get- oh. That's fine, you can eat, I don't care. Okay. Oh, you are gonna spar. Oh, you're sparring? What the heck? <laughs> you just said you weren't gonna. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> okay, well, I'm practicing a little. Oh, that's not good. I'm I'm about to oh no. <sighs> okay. Things are looking bad for us. It looks like we're about to um have a moment. He's going hunting. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna have a a rampage probably soon but maybe that's fun you know maybe it's good for us i found some more fresh meat stanley at this point just like do it you know mark your territory let's just go all in here we go here we go. Yeah, the this thing is our rage meter. When it gets full, this happens to you. And now I'm rampaging. Um, so you can't really do much except wolf-like things. <laughs> so. <laughs> Lovely. Look how pretty the sunset is, though. Isn't that nice? Oh, no. Uh, besties, tomorrow is the full moon. Things are not looking good for us. <laughs> Things are not looking good for us. Okay. <laughs> good to know. <sighs> Three hours left. Honestly, just keep scavenging for all I care. If you're gonna be rampaging, might as well try and get something out of it. Two hours left. Not so bad, we're okay. We're okay. No, the wolves don't have tails. They just have little stubs like that. <laughs> 100 baby challenges of werewolf. Oh my god, could you imagine? I'm not sure that's possible. I don't even want to think about that challenge. So maybe that's maybe that's the problem. 100 puppy challenge, you know. They rage when this when this werewolf fury bar gets full and their werewolf fury goes up based on like the full moon, their abilities, their preferences, their temperaments, stuff like that. Tamed cow plant jawbone? Oh, I'm almost done with my fury. Wait, can I turn the lights on then? Because I want to see my new stuff. <laughs> Tamed cow plant jawbone? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that's quite cool. Alright, my fury's gone. <laughs> I'm fixed. That makes me feel better. Um. Okay. Let's see. Contribute to pack resources. Let's give them a few of this stuff. Let's see if we can come put, like, the iron that we just found and things like that in there. I've also got an extra of these books, so we can contribute that, too. The more you contribute to the resources, the more, um, obviously the bar goes up and stuff, too, so... As long as you do stuff like this. Contribute to pack resources. Keep it up. All the raw meat you can get. Come on. Come on. Last one. Thank you. Did it work? Oh, we're doing pretty good, I think. I think I might save my ability points, though. Who is Lou? Oh, Lou is one of the other townies. He's a person in our pack. I think I know him. Lou. Person in our pack. Mmm. Save game. 
safe game. Storm, are you scared of storms? Oh, cause you're like a little wolf and you're scared of storms? <laughs> That's kinda cute. <laughs> oh, Come on, run home. Run home, you'll be okay, you'll make it. You got it, it's all good. Oh, you're not even tired, oh. Well, <gasps> oh my God! Um. No, I didn't build this house. This is the base starter home that comes with the pack, Jim. Um, I did build a house though. I can show it to you. I can replace it. It's a little bit dark though, because <laughs> of the rain. Um. I built this for a video. I was playing in this in my Let's Play um, that I'm doing, but I built this. I was kind of trying to make it be, oh, insufficient funds. Um, I was kind of trying to make it be sort of similar to like the like abandoned factories they had sort of taken over in town, but like a starter home version. Um, so I built this. Cheater, it was worth it. The place depreciated in value. But it's cute, right? I think it looks cool. We can live here instead. <laughs> we can live here instead. All right, I also have, now we have like workout equipment so we can actually use these. That'll be good for us. You can go back to sleep. Oh, you have to pee? Okay, you can go pee. Do a savage poo. There you go. <laughs> oh, my dad said cool in the chat. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? My dad saying cool about my build. <laughs> oh, is that spoiled? Let's find out if they get sick from eating spoiled raw meat. I don't know. I'm curious to see. Yes, they do. Shockingly, eating spoiled raw meat is not good for you. <laughs> Um, great. <laughs> okay, should we go try and do, maybe we could try and do our like little expand and explore stuff. Mark your territory and meet non-werewolf sims that have something different about them. Let's go find out. Maybe we could go to like Glimmerbrook. Or maybe the vampire world. They won't be out, will they? Let's see if we can find some spellcasters, perhaps. I would like that. Um, okay. Um, oh, maybe I'll go visit this house where my spellcasters are. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I'm here to go meet Sterling, who is a sim that I made and that I can come bother. <laughs> so, Sterling is a spellcaster that I made. They are um, quite cool. I'm here to do a respectful introduction. Do you think that meeting spellcasters will count for this? Rory? Yeah, go for your promotion. That's cute. Oh, don't be so grumpy. Both of you, quit being so grumpy. What is your problem? So dramatic. No, you don't have to meet other occult types. I'm just trying to, Rainia. You don't have to. You can also just mark your territory and it counts. <laughs> I just thought it would be fun to meet other occult types with him. See, that counts. Mark territory. Mark territory. Mark territory. Iconic. Iconic. Can we see his human form? Who? This sim? He's a hot dog. Do you think I can level up just from marking my territory? <laughs> That's the real question. Oh, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, the answer is probably yes. I'm just gonna pee all over this house. Oh no. Okay, well I did, I became a, I'm now a prime werewolf and we also became a delta in the wild fangs. So I did both. Also, now I'm a night wolf, so I prefer sleeping during the day and I gain fury if I sleep at night, oh no. Oh no. Well, we unlocked a few new things. Lunar Blessing gives us extended benefits from the lunar cycle. 
Night vision. Oh, I want to do some stuff in the tunnels, I think. Let's go home and then tonight we can try and dig in the tunnels. I think that could be kind of good. Let's go back home. Teens don't get temperaments? I have no idea. I haven't played with a teen werewolf yet. I've only had, um, like, adult werewolves. And now I guess a child, but... I'm gonna pee all over this house. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe? Um, do you want to do a little wolf nap on the floor then? Because you don't like being... Well, I guess that should be fine. And then maybe we could go try and explore the tunnels a little bit. He's not doing so good. The moon thing is our new temperament, Lizzie. It's it's a, it's the night wolf one. So he doesn't like to be asleep at nighttime. He wants to sleep during the day, basically. Um, do you want to keep wolf napping? This temperament business is very dangerous for us. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like it though. Maybe I'll go dig around in some tunnels. Perhaps I shall go dig around in some tunnels. Hello. I'm so lost still with the <laughs> with this pack. Let's go explore the underground tunnels, shall we? Um, let's go. Oh, it's raining so much. All right. The entrance to the bunker is metal, but as Stanley travels onward, the tunnel twists underground and the pathway becomes dirt on all sides. After a few minutes of walking, Stanley realizes that his seemingly endless tunnel must, really, must lead de deep beneath Moonwood Mill. I can't speak. Oh my goodness. Continue onward. What do you got for us? Diverging paths. Stanley seems to come to a dead end before noticing a small ledge off to the side. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but Stanley manages to clamber up and finds a set of three different tunnels. The one that heads left seems littered with debris and gives off a rusty scent. The one in the middle smells a lot like garlic. Only the tunnel to the right has a pleasant odor, the smell of fresh air. Do you want to maybe navigate the debris? More rabbit holes? Great. Elena, I know you're, like, joking and angry, <laughs> but I will say... Do you think they're actually going to be able to go in the tunnels? I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I don't know. I don't think they would be able to go in the tunnels. The tunnels are cool because there's other tunnels placed around. And if you, like, if you use them enough, your sim will, like, discover the paths between them. So you can use it to, like, teleport between the different tunnels. Which is useful. Um, so this, to me, like, this feels like an, a very reasonable time to have rabbit holes. I, I know the, like, anti-rabbit hole sentiment, but I don't think this is a time that I'm mad about them being rabbit holes. So... Um, anyway, Stanley is making his way through a particularly tight corridor when he notices something give way underfoot. He bends down to check and discovers something. A scallop shell. Though hunks of rotted beams and broken metal parts line the tunnel, Stanley is able to move around them with his ability to see in the dark. Eventually, he comes across a mountain of old logging tools and sawmill blades. This looks like most of the old Moonwood Mill. How did it get down here? Stanley spies a lockbox trapped underneath part of an old water wheel. It seems like it takes super sim strength to get to that thing. I actually saw a text string with Greg, because I was talking to him in a different, like, earlier before I started streaming. And Greg said that he used to be so annoyed by the sound of the mill that he, like, destroyed it and dragged it down into the tunnel. <laughs> So it's kind of funny to see this one and how it's like, how did it get down here? Well, how's the old mill down here? But it was like, it was Greg. And I know that because I saw the other, other text string. So, oh, wait, attempt to lift the wheel. Stanley manages to lift the heavy water wheel slowly enough. The surrounding junk settles rather than slowly, rather than falling into the opening. Then just as carefully, he manages to secure the lockbox before giving into the mounting weight. The lockbox is already open, and it isn't empty. Oh! We got a pear, flea market bubble bottle, and wolfsbane seeds. Okay, I found an exit. Oh, it's just this one? Oh, boo! We came out the same exit we came into? You can find new ones. It's actually quite cool. Um, do you want to go explore the underground tunnels, perhaps? Do it again. Just do it. Maybe I'll click some random ones this time. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for the sub gifts, by the way, Tommy. I'm sorry, I know I haven't been doing very good keeping up with alerts today, but bear with me. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> How about find the fresh air? That should take him out of the tunnels, but I wonder if it'll take me out of a bunker door. Oh, it's the same one. Try again. Try again. Head towards the garlic this time, maybe? Yeah, the fresh air is back out, Lainey, but sometimes it takes you out of a different one. Um, like, it can take you out of a different one, you know? Um, we are not on the front page, no, Riley. It's just an early access stream. <laughs> um, I'm not on the front page. Something furry is scurrying towards Stanley. Looking closer, it's a small rodent with a strange glint in its eyes. It doesn't seem entirely normal, and Stanley freezes as it momentarily stops, squeaks, and continues on its way. Stanley is grateful for his ability to see in the dark. Otherwise, he may have been charmed by its cute-sounding squeaks. Ooh. Ooh. What's next? Old braided garlic cloves dangle from the walls along the twisted tunnel. Eventually, Stanley comes across a large metal box with a barred door. He tests the bar and finds that it can be lifted with a bit of effort. Oh, go inside. Stanley pulls up on the bar and slips inside the box. It looks like some sort of old refuge chamber. There are beds, supplies, and some broken carved pieces of wood laying about. Oh. I managed to find something of use before heading out. Power sit midnight and a moon petal? As Stanley crawls on a particularly low stretch, he notices the tunnel splits into three paths up ahead. From one path comes a faint but magical sounding melody, down another a lingering scent of garlic, and down the third a welcoming bit of fresh air on the breeze. Let's follow the magical melody this time. I think. We did the garlic already. <laughs> Stanley can make out some light ahead. It must be an exit? No! Okay, well, <gasps> wait! Look at that! Oh, it's the moon petal. That's lucky, I feel like. Wow. We got some wolfsbane seeds, too. That's cool. That is very, very, very cool. Oops, sorry. I moved the crater network thing back. So now I was trying to move my OBS and I moved the thingy. That's okay. It can stay right there. It can stay right there. Um, okay. Well, are you digging? You're cute, Stanley. <laughs> You're funny. Well, this is annoying. We haven't gotten any of the other paths yet, but it's still quite cool getting to explore them a little bit. Um, I wonder if... I wonder if any of these things can be given to the pack, like the shell? I don't know. Yeah, the scallop shell can. Uh-oh. The beast beckons from a dangerous amount of fury. What? Again? I wasn't even looking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> well, that's fine. Should we eat the pear, please, too, maybe? Give the pack some resources, shall you? Uh-oh. Oh, it's a full moon! Duh! Oh, that's why this is happening. It's because of the full moon. The fury went up really fast. Rampage. Excessive amount of fury. Uh-oh. Well, now we just wait. <laughs> now we just wait. Okay. Very cool. You're doing great. Oh, putting the fire out? Oh, did it properly burn? She flicked me in the nose! The third temperament? Yeah, this one is uh, the night wolf one. So he prefers to sleep during the day and be awake at night. He also has this one, um, he's an anti-capitalist canine. He doesn't want to be forced to partake in the endless crushing rat race. And also, racked with guilt, he, um, gains extra fury while sad, so. <laughs> you know what? I don't think we're even experiencing a full moon yet, technically. We will know when we are, and I don't think it's happening yet. Because we'll get this thing, too. Because today is a full moon, but... I don't think it's happening yet. Howl somewhere else, okay. 
Run around, buddy. Have a good time. Run around. Have a good time. How are you doing? Whoops. I don't care about the kid, by the way. Um. <laughs> I'm just not interested. Oh, here we go. Now is the full moon. Call of the moon. From being a werewolf during a full moon. Rut row. Stanley can feel the pull of the full, the full moon. A woo. Transformation guilt. Deep down inside, am I truly a monster? Oh, no, you're not, Stanley. Don't listen to them. Look, it's going up so fast because of the full moon. Oh, no. Here we go. Bad sign for us. Bad sign for us. Look at it. Yeah, now we're rampaging again. That's great. <laughs> Jeremiah, I already filmed the Can Werewolves Make You Rich video. I'm posting it in a couple of days. Show you the moon, please? Yeah, I can show you the moon. Here's the moon in the sky. Of course it's raining. That's kind of bad timing um, to be able to see, like, how cool the area is. But um, where's the... Isn't the lake supposed to, like, sparkle in the full moon? Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool! That is so, 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 so cool. And no, someone asked if we can die from being angry. They actually confirmed earlier today um, that this enraged, like, the rampaging enraged, will not kill them. Um, it's, like, disabled. They won't die from the rampaging. Because um, they get enraged a lot as werewolves. Um, if they get enraged, like, for other reasons, they might. But the rampaging won't kill them. So... The way he's just running around. Don't break the house! Oh, Stanley! Hey, Stanley. We have three hours left of- What do you want? Oh, Stanley. Daniel, I can't deal with you mocking me right now. It's a very serious time. <laughs> was that a savage poo? <laughs> no, that was him marking his territory. You were savage poo. I, I can't, because I'm rampaging. I can't click on anything. Otherwise, I would. Now he's marking his territory inside! Oh my god. <laughs> we have to deal with, like, what? How many more? Three he's more hours? Bruh. Yeah, he has it. It's kind of cute, actually. Now he's digging in his pee. I found a diamond! He's breaking a chair. He's breaking a chair. <sighs> this is going really well. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> this is going extra- Oh, now I'm off somewhere. Okay. Great. Great. You're back. And it's almost over. Oh, now I've got three more hours. The where the full moon is gone, but I still have three more hours of rampage. The full moon is rough. The full moon is really rough. Oh my god. Yeah, I can lock him out now. I um I, so I've been, because I have another sim in my household, I've been playing in a different household, like, to record videos, that's, um, it's, like, two werewolves, so on the full moon, I couldn't lock them out, because obviously Stanley can't, like, lock the door when he's rampaging, so I had, like, the two werewolves, and I couldn't lock either of them out, because they were both rampaging, <laughs> but now I could, because I have a younger sim, but, um, another sim at least, but it's okay, he can break stuff, I don't mind, it's kind of amusing to me. Oh yeah, I can show you them now that it's raining. Now that it's not raining, I mean. Um, moon. There's the full moon, see? It's quite cool. And then like I was trying to show you earlier, the lake um, is, oh, I get so lost. You see how the lake is like glistening in the full moon? Isn't that cool? Doesn't always do that, um, but it's glistening in the full moon. Also, someone asked if he's not controllable. He is controllable, but not when he's rampaging. Um, you can do a few things, like werewolf things, but if you try and click on stuff, it'll give you, like, the three question marks. Stanley is rampaging and unable to use this right now, so. Um, you can't do much while they're rampaging. That's kind of the whole point of the rampaging. <laughs> you can swim in the lake. Yeah, you can indeed swim in the lake. I'd rather not talk about it from recent werewolf rampage. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I wouldn't either if I was you. He still hasn't gotten, like, the experience full moon thing. I guess it's not over yet, so. 
He can't use the tree, Royal. You just can't click on anything. But I, that was just an example. I let me click on that and say question mark, but he can't do anything while he's rampaging. That's all I'm trying to tell you is you can't do anything. You can't click on stuff while you're rampaging. Um, okay, I would like to go and swim to prove it to chat. <laughs> Chat's asking, I'll go show you, we can go swim. Um, come on. What happens if they go on a rage when they're supposed to go to work or school? I don't actually know. Okay, this is the aspiration thing. So I, you know how I was explaining how with the aspiration, there's like one aspiration in cast, but it's got like four tiers. So I finished the werewolf initiate thing. Um, and then uh, now it pops up with like the four different ones. No, it's not broken, Quinn. <laughs> I think it was just waiting until the full moon ended. You see how now finally it's not a full moon down there anymore. I think the experience of full moon just wanted you to have the full full moon. And now it's not over and now it's over. So we finally finished the full experience. It wasn't broken. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's probably by design. <laughs> I think it lasted until 7 a.m. And that's why. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, it, I, I get, like, annoyed when people, like, um, say things are bugs when they're not bugs. I'm like, that's by design. <laughs> I know there's bugs sometimes, but this one's not. <laughs> you know, like, I know you didn't mean any harm, but that not everything is broken, okay? <laughs> sometimes it's on purpose. It's not unreasonable for the full moon to last until 7 a.m., you know? Um, but anyway, there's four different options. So there's, like, four different aspirations that kind of branch off of the one. Um, there's the Emissary of the Collective. That one wants you to, like, join the Moonwood Collective. There's the Wild Fang Renegade that wants you to join the Wild Fangs. There's the Lone Wolf one that wants you to become the strongest, scariest werewolf on your own. And there's the Cure Seeker one that wants you to seek the cure to continue as a normal sim. Um, I think I'm probably gonna try and play with the Cure Seeker one on stream tomorrow. Today I'm mostly just experimenting a little bit with you all and answering questions and stuff. Um, Maybe we could do the Wild Fang Renegade one today a little bit as well. Or the I haven't done the lone wolf, the I haven't done the lone wolf one yet. I know we're in the Renegades, but um, whatever you think, we could do a poll. We shouldn't do this one because we're not in that pack. We're in this pack, so we kind of have an option between these three. But I want to do Cure Seeker tomorrow. So maybe it's between these two. Um, Wild Fang Renegade. We could do that one. Um, we can do that one for sure. Okay, anyway, so now we're, like, in the proper group. And it looks like I think you can switch back between them as well if I change my mind, which is good. Um, and also, he got, like, a fanged friend thing. Um, so we get additional boost to relationship with both werewolves and non-werewolf sims. And we also have this lunar confidant one. Um, so we get initial relationship boost, either positive or negative, when introducing ourselves to werewolves, depending on how they behave. Um, and there are new werewolf graves, yes, yes. Okay, so for the aspiration, we have to join the wild fangs, we already did. Um, turn three sims into werewolves, we can't do that yet, we don't have the, like, ability. Um, werewolf world domination, where we have to uh, obtain the territory marking ability, um, and also spar with people, uh, and also provoke Greg. All of those things will, will work. Um, and then the last thing you have to do is become alpha of the wild fangs. So... We've got a lot to do. It's just like the one, it's not like a multi-tiered aspiration like the other ones are. You know how these will have like multiple tiers? This one's just the one tier, but it like will take you a long time. Um, so, and it's kind of two tiers, I guess, because it had the first half, but um, anyway. Can you attack normal sims? Yeah, once you've got the, the cursed bite ability, I think this is the cur- one of them. There's a cursed bite ability. I don't think we have it yet. Um, oh, do we have the ability to get it yet? Curse bearer. Yeah, we can do this and then we can turn. So with this curse bite, you can turn other sims into a werewolf. So you can like attack randoms and turn them into werewolves. Um, so that's fun. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna stream at the regular time. Tomorrow we're gonna stream um, at the regular time, which is like an hour ago, but tomorrow is when I normally go live, um, if that helps. This flooring is new, yeah. Indeed it is. Um, indeed it is. I might go try and turn somebody. <laughs> I might go try and turn somebody. Um, okay, I think I'd like to go to Oasis Springs, please. 
I'm gonna go bother the land grabs, please. I just want to see what they're like, that's all. I just wanna pop in, maybe turn a land grab into a werewolf, you know? Have a lovely little day. I'm going for Nancy. That's my real goal. Hi everyone, it's so good to see you. Rory, what do you want? Oh, you got promotion, that's good, congrats. Congratulations, <gasps> Nancy. Cursed bite. We don't even need to try and talk to her first. Just get her. <laughs> and then I assume it, oh, it did count now. I was like, I wonder if it won't count until she like officially has turned, but it did count already. That was easy. I think I can't curse bite anybody for a little bit after that. I have to wait. Malcolm's over here. Oh, I can do it again? Are you serious? Rory? Yeah, I get to know Daryl Charm, that's fine. Hang on. I'm coming to get somebody else. Don't mind me. Here we go. It's so aggressive. Okay, calm down. Stop howling. It's kind of scary. I could turn the whole family into werewolves like this. Nancy, where did you go? <gasps> Jeffrey, oh my god, let's actually get all three of them. I'm serious. <laughs> Look at him running away! <laughs> oh my gosh, that counts? Well, I turned three sims into werewolves. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good with my, um, with my rewards. Um, let me, like, do a little bit of mark and territory while I'm here. That counts for world domination? Oh my god. Let's just go peel over their house then. That's easy. <laughs> Don't mind me, everybody. I'm doing some werewolf world domination. I'm just gonna pee all over the land grab's house. Thanks. <laughs> Have I posted a YouTube video yet? Ezra, yeah, I posted a YouTube video like three hours ago. Um talking about the werewolf pack. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Okay, besties, I won't lie to you. I really have to pee. Do you mind if I run to the bathroom? <laughs> I've got, I've got a break scene. I've got like a highlight reel. I'll, I'll play the highlight reel and also I'll do some ads so people won't get ads while I, um, when I'm back, you know? So I'm gonna go pee. You should pee too. Literally get up and walk away. It, the break scene is exactly three minutes long. So I'll just let you watch the whole highlight reel. I'll be right back. Um, and then we'll play some more werewolves. Don't worry. Okay, I'll BRB. We should do a big anniversary. Ah! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! She's, yes! I told you I should do one more! Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh! Mean. Lean, Eugene Green. You can't leave until you hide your feet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to kill these people, hang on. I mean, evict them, sorry. <laughs> Dina Caliente died! You oot! Ooples and Banunus! Will you come to electrical with me? Because I'm a bit scared. I always die in here. Okay, the last time you asked me to do something with you or for you, you killed me. Like three Okay, times. that's not even true. <laughs> I really think it's time to be merciful, your highness. No! No! I don't want to lower food taxes. Raise the food taxes. If the peasants die, then we won't have a food shortage. Hello? Problem solved. You knocked over my cereal box. It's oh a bit. No. What have they done to my father's anchor? My friends must have played with it at the party, and now it's ruined. You're stupid, Dan. Do you want to see my sinnies? <gasps> this is the worst day of my life. Find me, Dan. Thank you. Hello. I found a body in communications. 
the body of your wife. Who? She's pregnant or she's going to die of typhoid. What is this, Google? Like when you Google your symptoms and it says you have two options. <laughs> You're pregnant or you're dead. I heard it was someone's birthday today. I brought a cool gift. Yoo-hoo, can I come in? Whose birthday? Surely you don't mean. Now, no, no. But he was sitting in it and he scooted forward and then, and then he just, oh, oh no. The way I said, oh no. I'm referring to the music, the sound effect music. Not, not music music. Like, you know, when it's like, Flossy, I meant to go to the romance festival. What do you mean I can't? No, you cannot do this while a sim is dying. No, no, no. I just gave you an outfit for my wedding. Maybe I'll propose. What? I'm sorry. Now, who are you proposing to? Bethany is over here, not the random dude. What are you, what the heck? Eh, she tried to kiss him. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> How many days my raccoon have left? I, I think the raccoon's days are extremely numbered. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, you're about to walk off a cliff is what you're doing. What? <laughs> no, you just walked, no, you just walked off the cliff. He's in the water. Oh no. What? Uh, oh, no. I feel like, um... oh, boy. <laughs> oh no! This is not good. We should do a big anniversary. <gasps> it restarted, right? Okay, good. <laughs> I always have to wait. I'm like sitting here waiting for it to loop. You know, I I need like a timer or something on it. <laughs> By the way, I under I know I was watching chat. I know it's stressful to get a bunch of ads, but just for, just for the record. I was playing ads on purpose just then, because if I played them then when I was peeing <laughs> and there was nothing happening, then you won't get ads when I'm actually here showing off the pack. Does that make sense? Um, so I know there was a bunch of ads playing, but what I was doing was just trying to appease Mr. Twitch so that they won't try and run ads while I'm actually here. Does that make sense? Because now it can't. Um, I know it's annoying, but like, <laughs> I wasn't even here. You didn't miss anything, I promise. I wasn't even here. <laughs> That was the whole point. <laughs> um, I was hoping that like telling you that in advance would would appease you, but the chat was still very distressed. Um, so <laughs> it always makes me really anxious when I see the chat being like, oh my God, eight ads. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but like, I'm not even here. It's just, that's why I told you to walk away. <laughs> I was like, go get some water or something, go pee so that you don't miss anything. Okay. Look at Malcolm trying to wipe up my pee. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, anyway. Um, let's go see if we can go home. Well, Tom, I played three minutes of ads is what happened. Um, so, because I, <laughs> I was gonna, I have a three minute highlight reel for when times like that happen. I'm like, Mr. Twitch, here, you may have three minutes of ads. And then um, I was gonna go pee in that time. So I know there was a bunch of ads, but like, that's because I was taking a break on purpose so that we could appease Mr. Twitch. Um, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm going to return home now, I think. Um, and then we can hopefully, didn't get any ads? Yeah, I don't know, they don't give them to everybody. And if you're subscribed to my Twitch channel, you won't ever get ads. Um, but not everyone gets ads. I don't know how they, I don't know how they give them out. I don't know. I could not tell you how they choose that you got some and somebody else didn't. I. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wish there was a, a, a more clear answer, but I, sometimes you don't get them, and I don't know why. If you're not getting them, honestly, embrace it. <laughs> embrace it. Okay, I'd like to focus on the pack leader, because I was kind of hoping that we could, um, I think I want to try and spar or something. Do you want to do a little werewolf spar, perhaps? Are you good? We're running. We are all running. <laughs> I'm a, if you're subbed, you shouldn't be getting ads. If you did get ads and you're subbed, it would have been a glitch because that's not normal. If you're subscribed, it, I literally have ads turned off for subs. That's like a choice on behalf of the streamer. Um, and I have it turned off for subs, but I can't like if it's glitching and Twitch is giving them anyway, I can't do anything about that. Um, yeah, you can come down here. You can cut. This is one of the secret tunnels. You can explore in there. Um, it's quite cool. We're gonna spar. Yes. 
Yes! What skill are you building? Fitness? Okay, that makes sense. I don't have a very high fitness skill. <laughs> From my understanding, I think if you've got an ad blocker, it messes with the fact that the ads shouldn't be playing and it tries to play them anyway. I think that like a lot of times the glitch is because you have an ad blocker. If that's not the case for you, then I don't know what's going on. But a lot of times when I hear that subs have are getting ads, it's because they have an ad blocker. Which is so annoying. Like you shouldn't be getting ads on Twitch if you haven't, but like whatever. Um, a lot of times the ad blocker is what's causing the problem. Um, and like giving you ads when you're subbed. Very backwards, it makes no sense. But that's what I've heard from people. Um, is that's when it causes a glitch with the sub thing. Um, Okay, well, can I spar you again? Because I would very much like to get my level up again. And I'm really close. Yes! We're a tier 4 werewolf, a werewolf veteran. We've experienced most of what werewolf life has to offer, but there's always room to learn. We have a new temperament, um, and so you have to be careful about that. This temperament is that we're a carnivore. So we have to ad adhere to a strict diet of fresh meat. <laughs> okay, we have to adhere to a strict diet of fresh meat. We also obviously have to only sleep during the day. Uh, we're an anti-capitalist canine and we're guilty. Cool. <laughs> okay, do you want to take a wolf nap? And then I'll show you how he can hunt to get us more meat. How does that work for vegetarian sims? I have no idea. I don't think if vegetarian you'll get that one. I think that like, cause people get different ones. Not everyone gets that one. You get sort of like random ones of these. Not everyone's gonna get the same ones. Not all your sims will get the same ones. And they sort of have to do with their traits as well. Um, so I assume if your sims vegetarian, they won't get that one. Um, no, they don't have tails. I understand the like confusion with them not having tails, but when you think about it, like, if they had tails, it would clip with, like, everything, right? Like, their tail trying to sit down and stuff. Like, they're, I think they're trying to have them be a little bit more human so that all of the pre-existing animations will still work and they can all still, like, use other things. Because if, if they made them have tails or if they made them, like, walk more like a wolf, that would, like, ruin all of the other animations. So then they would have to, like, they couldn't use all of the existing base game stuff. Um... So I assume that's why they don't have tails. They have, like, little nubs. But I think the tails probably wouldn't work. Like, I know that it's like, oh, they don't have tails. But then you're like, oh, wait. Yeah, of course they don't have tails. <laughs> you know? Like, oh, yeah, duh. Um, but anyway, it's kind of weird. You can like fitness. Yeah, that's fine. And he's got, like, a little nub. Look. See? No, I'm feeling his butt. That's wrong. Um... Werewolves also don't have tails in urban legend. Then having tails is purely a Hollywood trope. Is that true? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know much about, like, werewolves. <laughs> so I don't really know. Um, okay, I'm gonna come contribute some of my things to the pack resources while I'm here. See if they can like me better. Diamond. They don't traditionally have tails. Yeah, they can turn into humans as well. Yeah, I can show you. Wait. Return to normal. Well, my sim's not a human, he's a hot dog, but your sim might be a human. Mine's just not. <laughs> Mine's just not. He went hunting for the raw meat. You can, like, click on them and have them go hunting, and they can get raw meat that way. Contribute to pack resources. Take this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Contribute to pack resources. I'm giving them, like, all my raw meat. I'm trying to get this, like, bar up higher, see? It takes a while to level up, doesn't it? Come on. Hey, Frost! Thanks for the resub, by the way. How are you doing? I'm currently trying to be a werewolf hot dog. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Can I tell you? Oh my god. You might have seen this. Um... If you watched my video yesterday, so in the update yesterday, in the Sims update yesterday, they added, obviously, like, the new small telescope, um, and they also added a new death, like, you can die from the telescope. Oh my god, can I show you? Wait, let me go back to my house and I'll buy one. Um, the death is, like, super rare, though. Like, you're not supposed to die often from this. It's not common. Like, 
you know, you're, you're probably not going to have any issue with the telescope. Literally, the, I'm cheating for money. The first time, the first time that I clicked on it, as I was talking about how I think there's a new death, it wasn't even confirmed yet because the patch notes weren't out yet. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a new death in this update. They've been really hinting at it. Like, and my friend Little Dika saw this in the game files, man, 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 like talking about it. <laughs> Literally, as I'm saying, he saw this buff in the SDX drop yesterday. Boom, we get the buff. Stanley gets absolutely destroyed by a meteor. The timing of it was so weird. <laughs> it was like the most unlucky, I guess lucky depending on how you look at it. The weird, like just the weirdest timing I've ever seen for anything. Actually, I'm going to show you because I posted, um, I posted a video of the death specifically on my second channel so I can show you, but oh, let me pause my game. Careful, careful. Um, but it was so funny. I just, I don't know, I couldn't believe it. Let me see if, actually don't do theater mode. Default view, that'll be fine. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, oops, 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 oops. All right, let me pause my Spotify too so I can play this for you. It just was like the weirdest, funniest just, like, timing. Buff meteor death warning thing. So that to me seems like a pretty strong confirmation. Oh my God. Uh oh, Stanley just See, known as a meteor. See, literally as I was talking about it, we put in a special code. Lil Simsy equals one hundred percent death rate. Okay. It's heading right for him. Okay. Seek shelter and quickly. It's coming right for me. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a meteorite, and it's headed right for Stanley. Run for cover. Don't run for cover. Stay here. Wait, that's. I think that's the buff. <laughs> I think that's the buff that I was talking about. The question is, do you actually die from this, or is this just pretend? Three. Let's not Two, pretend. One. Anything? Death by meteorite? What? Houston, we have a problem? Stanley Humphrey's about to die from being struck by a meteorite? No way. Woo! It's so <laughs> violent. Here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It is so violent. <laughs> like, so dramatic. It, like, it was shocking to me. I just, I didn't even know if it was actually going to happen or not. And then all of a sudden, he fully got struck by a meteorite. <laughs> it's so violent. <laughs> That, like, fully made my day. Just the timing of that as well, with the fact that I was literally talking about it as it was happening. I would argue most, de most deaths are violent. All right, no, that's not true. I guess some of them are, but not all of them are violent. And not all of them are as shocking as that. Because some of the other deaths, it's like, oh no, you're choking. Like, it's kind of violent, but it's like, whatever. Like, you're choking on pufferfish, that's fine, grow up. But this one, it's like, dead <laughs> it like falls out of the sky and hits you it was it's shocking quite literally <laughs> anyway it was funny i really enjoyed that um grow up i'm sorry i need to be nice to people that choke on pufferfish um death by piranha violent oh no the no no the deaths in the pond are not even. They just go in there and then they drown. And that's like fine. They don't get eaten or anything. They should, but they don't. <laughs> it's not violent. It's not as shocking. Am I just like desensitized to this? <laughs> I'm like, they just are drowning in a pit of piranhas. It's not like violent. <laughs> It's fine. You know what? The vending machine death is kind of violent, I think. It's shocking when it crushes you like that. I like it. <laughs> anyway, they have some really good death animations in this game. They're all quite fun. <laughs> okay, I want to go try and befriend some other werewolves. I'm getting too distracted. Let's go to the mm, bar. Yes. 
Murphy bed, absolutely violent. Yeah, that one, when it smashes you, that's rough. <laughs> the fire one's kind of brutal too, yeah. Genuinely. Um, you know what is actually really funny though? When they freeze to death and they like, they like turn into an icicle and then fall over. <laughs> That one's funny. I quite like that one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come introduce myself to this sim, but it's good. It's really good. <laughs> oh, the bunny one is kind of brutal too. Do you know, I've actually been working on a death tier list. It's just taking me a while to get all of the footage of it, like all of the deaths, you know, because there's so many of them. Um, but I've been working on a death tier list video. Okay, do you want to discuss being a werewolf maybe? My social is low, so. Death by flies is violent. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Death by fly. Ew! Stanley! You peed right on the floor. What do you think you're doing? Congratulate on engagement? Aw. That's cute. Yeah, you can die from flies in eco lifestyle. That's how they pee? Yeah, look, 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 watch, watch, watch. I'm marking my territory. <gasps> it's a new werewolf. Be my friend, be my friend, be my friend, be my friend, be my friend. No, I want a friend, please. Don't look at me from marking territory in the other sims. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done it as a human. Maybe I should have done it as a wolf. Oh, oops. Yeah, that makes sense. I probably- Oh, stop it, Stanley! You're being kind of scary! Calm down! Okay, come introduce yourself to this one. Come on. I'm all stinky. It's embarrassing. Share concerns about Greg? Maybe... Do you want to do a little werewolf spar? I'm gonna do a rampage again soon. This is- we're off to a bad start. Uh-oh. Oh, that's counting towards my werewolf world domination, though. Do it again. This is just a random werewolf. I think this is like a game-generated one. They're not like one of the townies. It's just- it's Jordan. I don't think they're one of the- Make wolf eyes at? No! Oh God! Mm, I made a faded mate by accident! Has Stanley found his faded werewolf mate? Every werewolf has one true love destined by the moon. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let me go into cast and see who this sim is. <laughs> they seem cute. Oh! Oh my gosh! You're very pretty! Oh. Well. In that case, that is fine by me, thank you very much. <laughs> you nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster! You imprinted on my Jordan! <laughs> Stop. The way those two were in a row, both of those chats were in a row. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> how did Stanley get hurt? I know, like how- Stanley- Look, I'm sorry, she is way out of your league. She is way out of your league. <laughs> Are you seeing that girl? Way out of your league. <laughs> Okay, well, let's come ask about favorite color. Maybe invite Jordan to join Beastie Boogie? Is that like asking Jordan to dance with me? Jordan likes the color blue. No, you have to like me. We're in love. Ask about Moonwood Will. What do you got for me? I'm not sure how the Lunar Statue of Moonwood Mill stays in sync with the moon. Maybe it's magic, or maybe someone is much more mechanically savvy than I am. I'm so stinky. It's so embarrassing. 
Can I- do I have, like, the grooming self thing? Oh, I didn't buy it. Well, I don't want to buy it yet, because I want to buy other cool things instead. Like, Lunar Resistance, because I want to get the Immortal Wolf one. Vicious Howl. Hunting Party to lead a group hunt. Tunneler. Primal Instincts. Oh yeah, there's showers in the basement in here, isn't there? I forgot. Well, there's a shower, at least. Okay. This should go fix it. Yeah, they're faded mates now. So we should have... Oh, that's Rory. I flirted with Rory so I could try and get ahead. <laughs> See, look, we have this faded mates thing with Jordan. Is this as good as vampires? Eb, you know, I honestly believe that this pack, and I'm not kidding, I think that werewolves are like literally 10 times as good as vampires. I, I, I cannot even begin to express to you how much better I think this pack is. I, I am so impressed by the werewolf pack compared to, especially comparing it to other occults. This pack is so cool. There's so much more to do. Also, look, that was Jeffrey. He's, um, a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, I flirted once, Tracy, and that was what had us become faded mates. I think the first werewolf you flirt with is your faded mate. Except I flirted with, um, with Rory before, and we didn't become faded mates with her, so I don't know. Maybe she already has one? I don't know. Um... But either way, I'm gonna try and fix this, and then once my stuff is up, I'll... Maybe Rory was a human when I flirted. And that's why. Okay, do you want to go hunting for some food? Um... Werewolf... Hunt for food. Yes? Thank you. You literally have Greg's child. Oh yeah, I had kids with Greg. Maybe Greg can't become, um, you think it's the make wolf eyes? Yeah, I did the make wolf eyes interaction. Um, but you know what? When we flirted with Greg, we weren't a wolf. We were a human. And then Greg turned us into a wolf. So that makes sense that Greg wouldn't be our fated mate because we weren't flirting with him when we were a werewolf. Um, and then maybe, maybe we were, one of us was in human form when we flirted with Rory. And then we were both werewolves when we flirted with Jordan. And that's why Jordan is the one that we came, became faded mates with. I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, Poo Poo, it's kind of control. I'm sorry for calling you Poo Poo, but it's your name. Um, I think the faded mates is controlled by who you flirt with. I don't think it's autonomous. I think it's like who you flirt with first will be your fated mate. So they can absolutely be gay. It's just like, if you flirt with, you know, whoever, then that person will be your fated mate. Um, from my understanding, at least. I've only seen it a couple times, though. Um, <laughs> whenever I say things like that, I'm like, oh, Poo Poo, here's an answer to your question. <laughs> I always feel so weird. But like, their username is Poo Poo. Um, I didn't just like say it for no reason. <laughs> Um, I uh, know this, this sim is my, my sim Sterling, by the way, chat, who just asked, um, listen, poo poo. <laughs> listen, poo poo. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> okay. Um, do I have anything else I can give to my pack? Yeah, I've got some food. Let me go see if I can give those things to my, uh-oh, never mind. I'm on a rampage. Okay, so... Never mind, I will not be giving anything to my pack. Instead, I will be on a rampage. So, that's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do some scavenging. Celine, you think George is pretty cute? Should I ask him out? Yeah, go for it. Whatever you wanna do, I'm not here to judge. I got a time capsule. I could probably give that to my, to my, uh, no, so to answer your question, he can't die from being this mad flea. We were asking that earlier, and one of the sim gurus was in chat, and they told us, um, the enraged death is disabled 
for when they're like on a rampage. So this rampage moodlet will not have them die from being enraged. The rampage is separate. I think if they get enraged like from another thing, they can die, but this rampage won't kill them, um, which is good. It's, I think it's just diff it's different. It's a different kind of enraged. I think it's a good way to think about it. What should you paint on your wall? You're gonna paint on your wall? <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, there's so many options for cute stuff you could do. What are you thinking? Okay, let's keep um, scavenging the ground. I'm gonna be enraged for 40 more minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do it again. Oh, I'm like, thanks for the gifted subs, by the way. We're almost done rampaging. Oh, I should go see if we can do some like werewolf sprawling. Oh, look at me, I'm back. Werewolf brawling. Transformation guilt, oh. I wanna go see if we can do some werewolf brawling. Um, and then maybe we could, where's my friends? Maybe we can see if that counts for neighborhood brawl, right? Werewolf pack, werewolf spar. I don't know if it will, because it's sparring and not brawling. I don't know. Celine isn't a werewolf. In her little storyline, Celine is like a friend of both packs. She's like super into werewolves, but isn't actually one herself. What, will you not do it? Um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go back. What? They have all left. Everyone hates me. <laughs> oh, he's back. Lou. Well, maybe I'll give you a pack mate gift. You want some raw meat? Selena's the bartender. Selena's the bartender. Um, where did you go? I can't give you the gift. Oh my god. Whatever. I'll just put it in the pack resources. That's fine. Come on. Oh, that was Rory. Come on. Festering bitterness? Who are you bitter towards? Sterling? Oh, well that's rough. Okay. Well, let's see about maybe, um, werewolf sparring with Rory. Hopefully this will count. I don't know if it will though, because again, as far as different than the fights, but yeah, I don't think it does count. Well, it counted for my werewolf stuff, so <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Go fight Greg. We could go try and fight Greg. Do you want to go fight Greg? Okay. Well, currently me and Greg have very high romance. <laughs> Um, but I can go try and fight him. I'm into it. I like this plan. I very much do. Come on. Come along. Run a little bit faster. This world is big. It takes them ages to run around it. <laughs> okay. Investigate Greg. Greg. Let's go attempt to communicate. I wonder if my existing romantic relationship will prevent him from beating me up or if he'll still beat me up. That's the, oh, he'll still beat me up. Okay. <laughs> and to answer your question, my existing romance will not help because now I'm a vampire, he hates me. So, insta fight. Yeah, I thought we had something, Greg. But evidently we don't. <laughs> evidently we do not. Oh my god. Enemies to lovers? Can I still woohoo you though? Did I call him a vampire? Did I call myself a vampire? Oh, apparently I did that like so many times. When Dan's been editing my videos, he keeps making fun of me. Because I keep calling myself a vampire instead of a werewolf. I know I'm a werewolf. It's very obvious. I'm just not smart and I keep misspeaking. Did I say it just now? Oh, now chat's making fun of me too. I can't escape it. Everyone mocks me. <laughs> you call werewolves vampires like 10,000 times during development? I, I bet. Because I keep doing it. I don't know how. It's not like, <gasps> did I beat up Greg that time? <gasps> yes! 
I'm so powerful. Are you seeing this? Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, do you want to do it again? The more werewolf brawling I do, the closer I'll get to werewolf world domination. So I might just keep fighting him. Okay, I lost that time. Wait, it didn't count? If I just provoke Greg, is that all I have to do? Oh, provoking Greg counts, but fighting him doesn't? One thing leads to another. I'm gonna do it again. Stanley's doomed from this. I'm serious. Uh-oh. The beast beckons. Greg's gift. Oh my god. You already have Greg's gift. Make him our mate? I tried to. We already- we have a kid with Greg. This child is literally Greg's kid. Oh no. I'm rampaging. But now that I'm a werewolf, Greg doesn't like me anymore. Um, yeah, I forgot about the kid too. I'm not really trying to take care of the kid, I won't lie. I would have deleted him if I could. Joined late, can we have a rundown on who Greg is? Yeah, Greg's a new NPC. He lives out here. Um, everyone keeps saying, beware of Greg, beware of Greg, beware of Greg. And I can confirm, beware of Greg, because he is very mean. And he will beat you up. That's all you need to know. Who is Greg? Hi, Morgan. <laughs> Who is Greg? Is that the real Simguru Morgan? I'm gonna go with yes. And I'm gonna VIP anyway. Yes, okay. Well, they said yes, but... <laughs> I'm gonna go with yes it is. <laughs> I should go through and look at like the mods list on the Sims channel and then just like VIP all the Sim gurus. Princess Cordelia forever, okay. Confirmed, definitely Morgan. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. Not fake. <laughs> oh no, I'm peeing on the floor. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm sorry, Chad. <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself here. Well look, I love this cool stuff that they get on them when they get beat up by a werewolf. He's peeing on the floor again? Stanley. All right, well, we're getting closer and closer to being like a top tier, top ranked werewolf. The more I do, the closer we get. Do you want to keep scavenging on the ground? Because I need to become alpha of the wild fangs, and I think I'm getting close. Sort of. Well, I'm getting closer at least. I've got some more stuff we can give to the group. Will Greg hate his own child for being a werewolf? Yeah, I think so. I don't think Greg is very nice. <laughs> oh, Marvel, you're even more pumped up seeing this than you were when it was announced. I'm glad, though. I'm glad that the gameplay is making you feel excited. I won't lie, I've had a lot of fun playing with this pack. Um, I I really believe, honestly, this is, this is the best game pack for The Sims 4. I think, like, content-wise as well. Oh my god. Stop! I think it comes with the most stuff, also. Greg is just misunderstood? Yeah, I must have misunderstood him when he beat me up like 20 times, Ninja. I must have just misunderstood his intentions. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, he must just be misunderstood. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Okay, well, I'm back now. And I'm too tired. He's gonna get mad if he sleeps now, because I've got this, like... Night wolf thing, but I'm too sleepy. Maybe I'll sleep for a second. Just a little bit to get me a little bit happier. Come on. Anyway, I honestly think this pack is probably one of the best, if not the best game pack for The Sims 4. I'm so impressed by how much comes with it. Like, I am, I am really and truly so impressed by how much comes with it. It, like, it feels like such a full pack. It, it feels like, especially comparing it to, like, vampires, I'm, like, there's so much more in this one. And granted, they had, like, the tier system to sort of build off of already, I guess, which helped. But, like, there's so much more going on in this one. It's so cool. It's so cool. Um, I really enjoy it. And the world is so cool. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really impressed. All right. I've returned with some fresh meat that I found. Let's eat it. 
Let's eat it. I've got more werewolf ability points. Should I save them for the final one? Maybe I should, because I'm getting- I'm not like that far away from unlocking it. Is Greg ever in human form? I've never seen Greg out and about in human form, but Greg has a human form. So. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> hopefully that helps. Alright, I'm gonna try and befriend this sim. See if she likes me. Maybe I'll discuss being a werewolf. What if I give her a curse bite? I can't curse bite Amelia, can I? Because she's a spellcaster. Yeah. Boo. I might curse bite Celeste. No, Celine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Should I go off and bother people? Maybe I'll go do some turning of people. Maybe I'll go to the goth family this time. That sounds like fun. This comes out tomorrow, Annabelle. I wonder if anyone in chat could confirm. I think this should be out tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Because usually game packs are. But I don't know for I don't know if they've confirmed that. I'm just sort of like guessing based on the past. Um, but I don't know if anyone has actually said. Um, I'm just sort of assuming. <gasps> Did you get a dog? <gasps> Bella's pregnant? Oh, I can't turn her then, but I can turn you. Cursed bite, cursed bite, cursed bite, cursed bite. Oh, it says on origin. Okay, so it is confirmed. Good. It says on origin. Well, there you go. It's definitely coming out tomorrow at one. It says origin. Yes, tomorrow at a time. Okay, Ninja, thank you. Very helpful. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. It sounds like Origin says 1 p.m. Eastern time, so that's what we need to know. <laughs> at a time. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. Oh, those were the old goths because I took out the SDX file because I was having that weird glitch. That will be fixed. I think they had the new SDX to fix the glitch. But I, I had to take the SDX drop file out, so that's probably why those are the old goths. I would assume. I didn't even think about that. I think with the SDX drops, they like add it into your content folder and then later on in, a, in like the next patch, they put it properly in the patch. I think is how it works. And there hasn't been a proper patch since the goth SDX drop. Or I guess there was. Oh, I don't know how it works. That's weird. I don't know how it works. I don't- I don't get it. I'm not familiar with the... But there was another SDX drop today. That's true. Um, because they were, I think, fixing the bug. So it should be fixed for tomorrow when it comes out. Alright, I'm just gonna come bite the pancakes. Don't mind me. I'm werewolf world dominationing. Anyway, I'm not an expert. I don't actually know. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more, but I don't actually know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Reader Girl, because my Twitch schedule is always not right if I have uh, things like this happen that change. Generally, I stream in the mornings on Wednesdays, but today we streamed at 2 Eastern Time because that's when we were allowed to show off um, the the pack. So we waited until 2 p.m. to go live today, even though I normally stream the on, in the morning on Wednesdays because uh, we wanted to play with a new pack and we couldn't until 2 o'clock. Yes, correct. The SDX today fixed the bug. Okay, cool. So that, that like, member chat, that invisible bug we were having, the invisible bug we were having, like, earlier on in the stream, they already have an SDX drop to fix that. So by the time the pack comes out tomorrow, there'll be no concern. Um, it will be fixed. So that's good. And I only had it happen to me the first time today. Like, it happened to me today on stream for the first time, which is so annoying. Like, of course, the bug comes out the first time I'm trying to do it live. But when I'm recording this whole time, the past two days, nothing happened. All right, we finished our werewolf world domination. So that's good. Oh, and we're getting so close to finishing this level too. Oh my goodness. Okay, can I come use your bathroom? Oh, I can smash it. What if I just go and smash all their stuff? I don't think you can bite vampires, no. Oh my god, I can actually break all their stuff? Rory wants to go on a date? Oh, but I'm breaking stuff. Ugh, and you're, I don't want to. I'm sorry, I don't want to date you. I'm smashing these things instead. No, so Maria, what we were just what I was just saying when I got distracted, you can't you can't fight spellcasters. I just confirmed that a second ago when I tried. Um you can't so when you do the cursed bite, it turns someone into a werewolf, right? 
Um, but other occults can't turn into werewolves. They're already a different occult. So if you try and bite a vampire or bite a mermaid, I assume, those things, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. You couldn't bite them. It would, like, have it grayed out. I don't think that it would let you. Um, at least that's what I would assume would happen. I can actually smash everything. This is the best part of this pack. Why is nobody talking about this part? I can break everything. Oh, that one's unbreakable. Uh, but yeah, one occult person. Same thing, um, like if you were, say, a vampire, and then you had a baby with a werewolf, your kid wouldn't be like a half vampire, half werewolf. They'd be either a vampire or a werewolf. Um, does that make sense? All right, I'm coming to scratch furniture. Uh oh, I'm enraged again. <laughs> I keep- I'm doing such a bad job of caring for this. It's okay, we're like autonomously gonna break stuff anyway now. <laughs> Do I gain- like, does my pack like me better for breaking stuff? <laughs> they need to make hybrids? I don't know, I think that would be like way too much. They'd have to have a hybrid for like every variant. I'm li I'm not surprised that they don't have hybrids. I guess it would be cool, but I'm not surprised that it's not a thing, you know? Um. <laughs> okay, I'm here to scratch everything else in my house. Or in the pancakes house. I'm absolutely tormenting the pancakes right now. Wild Fangs notice? Oh my god, see? Stanley hasn't been adequately demonstrating pack participation. If this behavior continues or he receives additional warnings for other pack values, he'll be put on pack probation. The werewolf pack panel contains helpful tips for maintaining pack participation. Oh my god, well I'm destroying stuff. I can't come and give you things yet. I'm busy. Oh my god. Okay, maintain good relationships, give gifts, and give pack resources. I have been doing that so much. You're so rude. Oh, three minutes until spoiled. Oh god. I've been doing so much for you people and you just don't respect me. Can I dig this up yet? No, I don't think I can. How long? 20 minutes? Okay. The pack comes first, little selfishy. That's true. The pack does come first. Oh, upgrade parts. Do they want upgrade parts? I don't think I've had upgrade parts yet. Dig this up. We'll see if we can give them this. Plumbite. Okay, let's go back to Moonwood Mill. And I would very much like to, I guess we'll just go home home. Um, and then we'll go over and we'll give them the stuff. You can have vegetarian werewolf. Yeah, I was playing as one in my let's play. I haven't posted it yet, but I filmed a let's play. It's gonna be like three parts. I filmed two parts. Um, and I have vegetarian sim in that household. So you can indeed be a vegetarian werewolf. Okay. Let's do this. I have come to give you a couple rare things for pack resources. Don't be so grumpy. You will have both of these things soon. There we go. Only the pack leader can decorate. I want to be the pack leader. I want to decorate so bad. Okay, um, oh, maybe we'll take a photo with Lou. See if we can boost that relationship a little bit more. <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. We're so getting there. I wonder if we're like even close. The fact that I've got a child and I haven't even talked to them once. I haven't even clicked on his needs. I've like actually not been trying. Not even at all. Okay, we're good friends with Lou now. So that's good. I should probably try and become better friends with Rory. The closer we are, the better we are. Yeah, I think... So, when I click on Rory, because Rory is the pack leader, I haven't actually done this yet, so I don't actually know. Um, but I can challenge the leader for the alpha rank. I'm gonna try and, like, fill up my stuff and also try and get... Because I'm almost, like, the next werewolf level, so I think it's probably better if I wait until I'm at least there. Um... But it sounds like we can try and challenge Rory to be, like, the leader. Do you want a werewolf spar quickly? That could be good. See if that can get this up. 
Dislikes. Okay, fine. Kid. Can I werewolf spar you next? Werewolf spar. Come on. Did it even work? Okay, now I'm dirty. So, do you wanna use the restroom and then- No, don't use the restroom, just wash up. No, I haven't played with the kid at all. No, I have not played with the kid, like, literally at all. Um, let's challenge to tug of war, maybe. <laughs> you wanna try it? We'll see what happens. Hello. Oh, I'm so close! Come on, give me my level up. No, everybody left me! Lou, do you want to play tug of war? Come on. Um, share concerns about Greg? Oh, I'm so close. Come on, werewolf, challenge to tug of war. Come on. Yes! Tier 5 Apex. Stanley is now the Apex Werewolf. He's the best of the best, the cream of the crop, top of the food chain. The final tier abilities are now available for purchase. Okay, this is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Okay, um, oh I can't buy- Snap, what are you doing? She's rubbing her face into my box of cards that I'm sending out for the St. Jude stream. Wormy, come here. You wanna come say- do you wanna see the werewolves? I think you probably like them. It's nice and wolfy, just like you. You're well, you're a cat. It's kind of the opposite, but do you like them? Okay, you can sit on my lap now. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I have to buy the natural healing one, and then let me see if I can. Yes, I can be an immortal wolf. I will never age. I will never die. Okay, and then we have one more tier point. We can run at super speed. Win most fights and challenges against other werewolves, being an alpha wolf. Get Lunar Howl to transform temperaments? Oh, be warned, he may never be the same again. Or, oh my god, wait a minute. Well, okay, let's think about this realistically, right? We're probably not gonna play with this household again after this stream. Because I'm gonna make a new werewolf tomorrow on stream. So, what if we, like, forget the immortal wolf thing? Okay, we don't do that. And then we buy, like, alpha wolf, and then whatever this lunar howl thing is, just to test it. Right? Because I haven't seen it yet, so it could be an experiment. Because this one we know that, okay, they'll be immortal, whatever, you know? Okay, let's do that. <gasps> I did it. Oh my god. Okay. So, should we try the lunar howl? It said it would transform temperaments. Oh no! Okay. I'm on a rampage again. <laughs> I'm always on a rampage. <laughs> of course I am! I'm always on a rampage! <laughs> am I like Greg now? You think I'm like Greg? I don't know. It's just- it's just a rampage. I'm a legendary apex, so I'm confident. Don't worry, I'm just on a rampage. I'll be fine. Oh, look, it did transform my temperaments. Oh my god, wait, look. Okay, these ones are blue. They aren't even red. They aren't bad. Mark of the hunt. Symbols depicting the hunt engraved on the werewolf's heart by the light of the moon. With this mark, both natural fury gains and hunger decays are reduced. We also hate being wet. <laughs> Shower? Just don't. Rain? Just don't. This sim loathes water and will gain extra fury when wet. Okay. Mark of the night. Symbols depicting a night sky engraved on the werewolf's heart by the light of the moon. With this mark, both natural fury gains and energy decays are reduced. Wait, so we've got double? And mark of the forest that also reduces natural fury gains and decays? Oh my god, you're absolutely losing your mind. Well, he's got three things that reduce his natural fury and energy decay. That's so good. So he's, he's just never gonna have his energy go low, probably? And if his fury decays less, he's like all set. Huh. I like that he hates water. That's quite funny to me. <laughs> 
It's not all energy. It said fury and hunger, fury and energy, fury and fun. Oh, they aren't all energy. Why did I think that? Oh my god, so all of his needs go down slower? Wait, wait, sorry. I was so distracted by the fury thing. So it's like three of his needs. Hunger and energy and fun decay is reduced. He's like all set. He's like a super wolf. I'm glad I got that. I'm glad I picked that one. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, well now I think we can probably try and fight for the alpha. I'm lost. It's over here. Okay. Focus on the pack leader. Oh, here she is. Werewolf pack. Challenge Lita for leader for alpha rank. Honorable raw brawl or epic tug of war. Let's do an honorable brawl. Shall we? Let's wait till he comes over. Oh, here he comes. All right, I am challenging the alpha. I'll probably win, right? I hope. I'm actually nervous about this. <gasps> I lost. Uh oh, it's Greg. Oh no. Oh no, this can't be good. Oh, and now she's gonna hate me? Oh no. Are you good? Look! I told you, he randomly beats you up, unprovoked! I didn't do anything! Except challenge the pack leader, but like... Oh my god. Okay, well, let's try and work on our fitness skill then. And see if that helps us. Maybe we'll try and win next time. You're a werewolf? I guess I provoked him by existing. <laughs> he beat me up too! Oh, double beat up? <sighs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not upset or anything. I'm good. <laughs> Okay, let's work out a little bit. Let's see if we can um, get our, our fitness skill. We're pretty low. It's only two. So if we get the fit... Oh! Well, Stanley from promoted to the rank of Beta in the Wild Fangs. I suppose being higher up in the pack would probably help me win. <laughs> so... Um, well, now we have the world's most inaccurate sundial. So that's cool. That's probably why I couldn't have won also. Because I was only... <laughs> I was only, um, the, the tier before. Oh, your pack rank doesn't matter. You can be any rank and win. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So as long as you're good enough, you can challenge and win. Okay. I got to get stronger then. <laughs> I have to get stronger then so I can win. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Level three is not good enough. <laughs> not good enough. Oh, now he's gonna shower, but he hates being wet. Is he gonna get upset with me now? <sighs> if so, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Yeah, I'm wet and I hate it for the next two hours. <laughs> oh my god, that's so dramatic. No way it'll actually take you that long to dry off two hours. No, keep pushing the limits, come on. Yep. Angry workout, let's do it. Stop! Oh my god, you're in such a bad mood. Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, we're gonna have to, once we level up again, we're gonna have to buy the thing, whatever this one is, so we can groom ourselves. That might help with him being wet. If he can just groom himself, he won't have to worry about that so much. Oh, we could also buy the gym rat one. That's a good call, because if we buy the gym rat thing, then his hygiene won't go down while he's working out. Yeah, we should do that. We should absolutely do that. All right, just keep working out, buddy. Oh, what are you mad about now? 
unfinished business? What with Rory? Grudging, a grudging after a fight and festering grudge. Oh no. Well, <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. No, we, that is an awkward pack experience. Yeah, that puts us in a sort of unfortunate situation, doesn't it? And we do have that faded mate still. Um, Jordan is the one who's our faded mate. We could probably try and invite her out and see her again. All right, well, I found some fresh meat. You want to eat it? Maybe I can give it to the pack after you're done with the, with that one. Yeah, you can get pick, kicked out of the pack. You can get kicked out if you um aren't like doing your pack tasks, like like contributing to resources and expanding and exploring and all that stuff. Um, you have to stay up to date with all your self improvements. Do you want to mark territory? Yeah, faded mates can be gay. I assume C dot. From my understanding, it's just who you flirt with first. I think is who becomes your fated mate. Like, the first werewolf that you flirt with as a werewolf, like, in your werewolf form. So I think you kind of pick. I think that it sort of gives you a chance to pick. Um, I don't think that it's just random and it's not, like, only straight or something. Um, I think it sort of lets you dictate how it does it. Um, so, you think it's making wolf eyes? I thought it was just flirting with, with a, another werewolf. I'm pretty sure, at least. I don't know. I don't know. Um, no, I think that you can still date anybody else. Um, oh, it's supposed to happen randomly when you flirt with someone. So you dictate by flirting, but it isn't 100% going to happen. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So it just has a chance of happening when you flirt. It's not like guaranteed the first person you flirt with or anything. It just might happen if you flirt with somebody. So the time that I flirted with Jordan by accident, I got a faded mate. <laughs> um, so they're kind of random. Okay, that's good to know. That makes sense. Um, but, like, you kind of control it a little bit based on who you're flirting with. So it's not just randoms. Oh. I might bite you. I'm sorry, Tina. You deserve it, though. I did it. Faded mates are only werewolf with werewolf. Okay, good. That's good to know, too. It's nice having sim gurus in the chat because it really helps to, like, answer questions. <laughs> it is much appreciated. Okay, I'm going to do a little wolf nap on the floor here. Um, see if I can get my energy all the way up. He only, oh wait, he doesn't have sleep during the day anymore, does he? I was gonna say he only sleeps during the day, but not anymore, because we had, we re-rolled our temperaments. Rory wants to come over to hang out. Yeah, are we gonna, like, make up and not be, like, enemies anymore? Attempt seamless community, oh no. This is not good for us. I'm gonna have a little incident again. <laughs> no, the werewolves can't wear the hot dog suits. Um, I did try. The werewolves don't wear the hot dog suits, though. The werewolves can wear most of the clothes in-game, but I think there's some things that if they don't, like, fit right, they probably just disabled them. I assume the hot dog suit probably looked really weird on a werewolf, so they were like, yeah, don't bother with that. <laughs> That's just a guess, but um, I think it's, like, the stuff around the head, probably, that kind of messes it up. I don't know. But they're like, I, I can see that being an issue. Um, I want to make a werewolf who runs around looking like the flower bunny. That's not a bad idea. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I guess I can't. Can I travel while I'm rampaging? Or at least about to rampage? Because maybe I'll go like destroy somebody's house. How about the Calientes? <laughs> I might as well. <laughs> Yeah, the kid can still get quick meals out of a broken fridge, don't worry. Um, they're fine. I already messed with the land grabs. I think I'm on to mess with, um, with the Calientes next. Just getting started, okay. <laughs> Play The Sims 4 for five hours, yeah, in this save. <laughs> I'm like, I've played The Sims 4 for a lot longer than five hours, besties, I promise. <laughs> All right, let's go smash everything. Oh, I can't smash that because it's too good. I can smash most things, though. Look at me go. Smash this. 
Oh, it's in use so I can't smash it? Boring! I want to break everything! <laughs> smash this. Smash this. Smash this. I'm serious. The ability to break stuff as a werewolf is truly the most fun thing in this whole pack. That's not the intended most fun part of the pack. They probably have, like, way the things that are supposed to be more fun. But for me, it's the smashing of things. The fact that I can come and just completely destroy somebody's house is so funny to me. Like, look at me. I'm breaking everything. <laughs> I'm just showing up to break everything in their entire house. <laughs> I feel so powerful. It says a lot about Simsy. Yeah, I think so. Thank goodness you can't smash tombstones. All right. Don't give me any ideas. Oh, I got another ability point. <gasps> oh, okay. I wanted to buy the thing so that I can um, do personal grooming. Because I don't need to take baths because he hates water. So that should help. Okay, I've almost destroyed everything in the house. Oh, another computer. Smash. It's like smash or pass, but it's me breaking the entire house. There's a couple things I couldn't break. Like, I'm not allowed to break the, um, this, because it's unbreakable. It's, like, the most expensive one. Annoyingly. Can I break this? No. Is there anything else? I think I might have gotten it all. I'm no longer rampaging either, so. Oh, look, I'm grooming myself. Wild Fangs notice about pack participation. Oh my god. Okay, I'll go work on it. They're mad that I'm not participating with the pack enough. Um, okay, let's go and see about going back home. Bum, bum, bum. You hate the saliva? It is a bit gross. <laughs> I'll say that much. It is a little bit gross. I know, this is my second time getting yelled at for not helping the pack enough. But like, there's so much going on. There's so much to do. How am I supposed to keep up with all of this? You know, like... Oh, he's gonna be really upset. He's gonna be all wet. He hates being wet. Oh, wait. I got a cool thing. Look, it's one of the new collections, isn't it? Can I give that to my pack? Because <laughs> I will. I want them to like me better. I'm really trying here. I'm really trying. Oh my gosh, Ninja, can I tell you? I actually filmed a, a rags to riches thing using the ferocity one. Because, okay, chat, with this, it unlocks the ability to use ferocious intimidation on others. So you can bare your fangs and send Sims fleeing in terror. With any luck, they'll drop their wallet too. And so with this, I'm dead serious. You can just like scare them and they run away. And half the time they drop like 300 simoleons. It was like anywhere from like two to 500 I was getting. I was making so much money. <laughs> It was incredible. Granted, everybody hated me. Because it's like not just the sim that you scare, it's like everybody around you that also hates you. Canine familiar figurine Gibby. Gibby? Gibby! Oh my god, that's so cute. I don't want to get rid of it, I like it. But anyway, it was it was great fun. Um, highly recommend that if you're um, looking to make some money in The Sims. <laughs> Uh, just intimidate people, and they'll give you money. So. Okay, can you scavenge the ground a little bit more? I need, like, one more thing at least. There we go. Okay. I was gonna say, you better give me at least one more thing. Let's come back into town, because I've got to contribute to pack resources. They're gonna be very angry with me, so I need to get a move on. Oh, it's very stormy. Need money? Do crime! Yeah, that's, um, officially recommended by The Sims. So. The Sims is actually pro-robbery. <laughs> Parenting level two? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've not talked to my child a single time, but sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> sure. If you missed it, chat, um, my sim had a baby with Greg. The baby's other parent is Greg. Um, and the poor, the poor kid is very neglected because I'm, I'm too busy. I've got other things I need to worry about, unfortunately, for it, so. Anyway. <laughs> okay, werewolf, would you like to go hunting for some food, maybe? That could be kind of cute. Get some snacks. I'll bring the extra to my besties over in the pack. No, I only got one of them. Okay, never mind. But I'll go do it again. I'll go do it again. Hunt for food again. Come on, come on. This lot is not on the gallery yet, but I'll put it up for you. I built this um, for my little mini let's play that I'm gonna do. So I'll put it up on the gallery for you. Did I get any more? Okay, I got like four meats. Good. Let's go give these to my friends at the pack as well. Contribute to pack resources. Well, Tori, I was forced into having a baby with Greg. And I did say that if it wasn't a werewolf, um, I, I was going to delete it. I might age it up soon. I think I might age the kid up soon. Um, into a teen. Because I'd like to, I'd like to see them as a teen. Okay. Well, the pack is liking me better. I got a pack gift from Lou. He gave me a fish. I can eat it? Oh my god, I can eat the fish. Look at me go! Why is that so funny to me? Okay, can you get off this so I can use it instead? Yeah, I'm kind of trying to be pack leader. I'm really close. I think I might need a higher skill, like a higher fitness skill first before I can, before I can do it. Um, but I'm trying. I am trying. Should I try again now? Werewolf pack. Challenge leader for alpha rank. Should we do an epic tug of war this time instead of the brawl? Because we lost the brawl. You want to try an epic tug of war? Okay, no pressure. Oh! <gasps> I did it! Whoa, Stanley is like totally radical, dude. Stanley has risen with the ranks and proved to prove to the world that the wild things are here to stay. What adventure will he conquer next? Leader, leader, pumpkin eater. Stanley is now the wild things alpha and official pack leader. New unlocks, unique power over pack membership and ranks, exclusive interactions with members of both pa packs and with the trailer, I can't speak, and with the hangout spot. Oh, and that's how you get the fancy guitar Th from build mode, is you have to be the, the top leader of the pack. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, we can put, like, friendly decor out. What does it do if I change it to friendly decor? Oh! What's normal decor? Intimidating decor? Oh my god. That's so cute, I can change the swatch of it. Let's make it friendly. Oh, I have to pay my bills, oops. My power got shut off? Oh my god, you can tell that I've not been, I've been very busy thinking about other things. Wait, that's actually so cute. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> and we finished the whole aspiration. Like, what, do what, so, okay, what traits did we get? We already had the fanged friend one, so we get additional boost to relationship. The lunar confidant one, um, oh sorry, that's the boost relationship. The fanged friend one, um, oh they're both relationship boosts. Oh, that's weird. One of them is when you introduce yourself though. Um, and the chomp champion. Sims turned into werewolves by chomp champions won't negatively react to being turned and they'll want to join the chomp champions pack too. Oh. So if we turn people now, they won't be mad? They'll like it? Oh, I'm playing my fancy guitar! Oh. 
Yeah, you can cure being a werewolf. One of the okay, so let me show you this. It looks kind of different in this in this mode, but basically, um, there's one aspiration in cast, and it's this werewolf initiate one. And then once you finish it, it gives you a pop up with like four to pick from. Um, there's like one for each of the packs. We just did the one for the for the wild fangs. There's a lone wolf one that wants you to like be solo and defeat Greg. <laughs> Um, and there's a cure seeker one that wants you to like get the cure and then drink it and and save yourself. Um, so that's quite cool. Um, there's a few different options. There's like four aspirations basically. I'm glad we became the pack leader. I'm feeling really good about this. Is Rory still friends with me? That's the real question. Yeah, we're still friends. Not even mad. Best, leave me alone. Okay, well, do you want to see about maybe calling up, um, Jordan? Let's go travel with Jordan somewhere and see if we can go on a date with the Fated Mate then. The Emissary of the Collective one is for the other pack, Hexbangle, so it's like the same aspiration that we just did, but with, like, stuff that fits better for the other pack. Um, does that make sense? So it's, it's similar to, like, you want to become the leader of that pack, but with different things. Um... Yeah, me and Greg are enemies and lovers, yeah. I don't know if he paid the bills, but I don't really care, because I can just pay it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm here to date. No, my werewolf thingy is so full. Tell unbelievable story. Offer a rose. Why are you uncomfortable? It's because of me. Hip bump. Are you not going to like it? Enthuse about interests. Good to know. Oh, you did like it. Okay. Don't leave me! We did bite Na Nancy, yeah. I turned all of the land grabs into werewolves. I was sort of on a bit of a rampage. We got... Oh, where did you go? Open sim profile. We have this fate one. It's fate. Do you believe in fated love between werewolves? Because right now, I sure do. Because we became fated mates with her from earlier. She left me. That's so annoying. Come back. <laughs> come back. Let's come here then instead. I'll see if I can bring her here. Hello. I'm sorry. Am I imagining things or can I not travel with her? What happened to her? She like fleed. Maybe she's at work? I feel like it's possible she's at work. But if so, that's rude. Celine, you want to get to know Marcus Flex better? I mean, you can, but <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That is so funny. No, I'm sorry. This is truly one of the funniest things I have ever seen. The funniest thing I have ever seen. Nancy Landgrab crawling around the werewolf world. The werewolf world. Because I turned her. It's actually kind of scary. Oh, she disappeared. <laughs> okay, Nancy, pop off, I guess. That's that's good for you. <gasps> Vampire. Nancy's running wild. <laughs> okay, okay. I would very much like to, um, I want to fight you. Snarl at. Oh, you immediately do not like me. Kiss hands? No? Okay. Well, I thought I'd try. Not meant to be. From flirting with someone other than your fated mate. Something feels indescribably wrong about all this. Can Stanley defy fate? Oh, that's so interesting. That's actually really cool. I'm, I'm really curious about this, like, fated mate gameplay. Huh. Okay, well, too bad I can't talk to mine because she left. <laughs> Can I send her a text at least? Can I bring her out of the world? You want to go to Willow Creek and see if that works? 
Oh my god, I think she's at work. She doesn't want to see me. She hates me. I'm devastated. Really and truly devastated. Okay. Well. Am I getting a drink? Oh, I think it's your first time getting a drink. Huh. Werewolves, I haven't played with spellcasters in moon phases yet, um, but with the werewolves, it's pretty cool. On the different moon phases, they have they have different like um, effects on the sim. So for example, today it's a waxing crescent and we get increased skill gain from fitness activities. Um, sometimes you get like increased relationship gain. I've seen um, they get like mood lit boosts from sleeping during a new moon. Um, some, some things like that. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we probably should work on that. We've been trying to work on our um, fitness activities, so. No, Alicia, so from my understanding and what Morgan said, Morgan is a sim guru who works on the pack. Um, it sounds like the faded mates are random, but based on who you flirt with. So if you flirt with like two sims, one of them might not become your faded mate, but the other one might, might actually do it, you know? So um, there's two different, like there's kind of, uh, what am I saying? Basically there's a chance of anybody you flirt with becoming your faded mate, is what I'm trying to say and failing to say. Um, but basically, um, if you talk to someone and flirt with somebody, it might become your faded mate. What if you're married? Well, I assume if you, okay, so say for example, if you, st and it's only between two werewolves, so I assume if you start the game with two married werewolves, the first time they flirt, they'll probably become faded mates, right? Um, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. I, it's So I, I flirted with one random sim at the bar by accident, and now I'm faded mates with her. <laughs> um, but I flirted with like two other werewolves first, and I wasn't with them, so. Yeah, how dramatic would it be if you, were, if you weren't married to your faded mate, if you married somebody else? T. <laughs> it would be interesting. Um, it would be interesting. Okay, let's get our skill up again. I don't think we actually start gaining the skill boosts until like 7 p.m. though. I think it happens from like 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. But maybe I'm just guessing and I'm wrong. I don't actually know. Um, what does the werewolf sim look like in human form? Um... Well, he doesn't really have a human form. What he does have is a hot dog form, if that helps. Oh, like if the werewolf you're trying to be mates with is already married. Oh, oh no. Well, that's just rude of them for flirting with you. If they're already married, I don't stand that. That's wrong. But, you know, maybe they're if they're faded mates, they're faded mates. <laughs> you wouldn't have guessed it was Stanley? Yeah, it is. Believe it or not. <sighs> Unfortunately for us. Um, <laughs> she says that she's broken up several marriages. Look. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And sometimes what you gotta do is break up marriages. <laughs> Um, no, Marie, I think the pack comes out at 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. So, like, tomorrow, but, like, five hours ago, um, I believe is when the pack comes out. So, um, that's usually when game packs come out is at 1 p.m. Eastern time. That's, that's 6 p.m. in the UK, if that helps you figure it out. Um, that's, that's the confirmed time for tomorrow, I think, from what I've heard. Um, but that, they pretty much always do. Same thing with updates. They all come out at that time. That's, like, their release time. So... Um, okay, anyway, <laughs> this is going quite well, I think. Um, that's what it says on Origin? Yeah, exactly. So it, that should be confirmed then, but it'll be tomorrow afternoon, basically. The red glow is, it means that we're getting close to our fury being maxed. So he's gonna go on a rampage soon. It's warning me. Oh, I've got a sentiment with Becca, but I can't click on it. <gasps> oh, I can invite her out now. Okay, Jordan, come on. I would like to see you. Jordan. Jordan, okay. Finally. 
Um, Jordan, I would like to have a deep conversation with you and share some of my werewolf experiences. Try not to run away from me this time. What am I still upset about? Oh my god, calm down. Maybe take a picture with Jordan? Oh, maybe Becca and I have a negative sentiment because she's scared of me. That would explain it. Oh, I'm in such a bad mood. Fatigued from working out? Yeah, so? No, Jordan's like a spawn sim, Drew. Jordan's not one of the, like, existing townies. Like, you know how the game just generates new sims? Jordan is one of the game-generated sims. What about Greg? My relationship with Greg is not working out according to plan. I tried to flirt with him again, and he immediately beat me up. And you know what? I'm gonna say it. I shouldn't have to put myself through that. Greg, he doesn't love me, and it's not fair. It's complicated, our relationship. But if he if he's gonna treat me like this, I shouldn't have to deal with that. You know? Uh, and Didi, you can change their noses in cast, you know? <laughs> Just like how you can change dogs, you can change the color and the shape of their nose. Um... So that, that's just because my sims spawned that way, but they're not all like- It's just a coincidence they're both like that, but they aren't all like that. Um, you can change their noses and the color of their nose in, um, in Cass. So. Oh, she hates me. Tell a joke about werewolves. Maybe that'll work this time. Ask about Moonwood Mill. Maybe, 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 maybe. Moon bathing during the full moon is a unique experience for us werewolves. Okay. Okay. Do you know, Lainey, it's interesting that you say that because we've- there's been a lot of, uh, talk about tales today. Um, oh, she won't kiss me. She hates me. Um, but I think- so, number one, I guess werewolves traditionally and, like, werewolf lore and stuff don't have tales. That's, like, not normal. Um, I guess sometimes they do, but, like, traditionally they don't. But also, I think in The Sims, realistically, I think that it would probably be weird. Like, it would probably be, like, weird and clippy with, like, them- Like, think about them sitting in a chair. Um, I feel like it wouldn't work. Like, I don't know, I just- I feel like it would just be odd and probably, like, too technically difficult to figure out. And I- I just, like, I'm not that worried about it, you know? Um, but I feel like traditionally they don't even have tails anyway. So I'm not, like, I don't really care that much. They've got these little, like- <laughs> little nuggets of tails, <laughs> little nubs. <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't know. I feel like it would just be kind of weird most of the time. The tail might just look kind of odd. So, um, you know what? I don't think I've actually asked if this sim is single or not. And she left, so it's too late. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. I, I thought about it too, about the tails, but the more I think about it, I'm like, oh, I guess it kind of makes more sense. Like, it kind of makes sense. Um, but anyway, it's interesting. <laughs> My creator code does still work. Tomato Gal, I think it works until tomorrow. Um, the Nubtails let us to do more animations with them and also no clipping. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and there's some cool real world lore about Taylor's werewolves as well. As well. That, that makes sense to me. I was figuring that it had to do with the animations too. Because, especially because it just wouldn't work with like a lot of the existing animations. You gotta keep in mind that they're trying to make the werewolves be able to do all of the other things that regular sims can do still. Um, and also have some new werewolf stuff. And if they had like a weirder shape that was less sim-like or like a tail or something, it might not work with the existing animations. And then what? Can they just like not sit at a computer, that would suck, you know? So, it makes sense to me. But the creator code thing, let me explain. Um, because I think it'll still work until tomorrow. So they're doing like a really, really limited beta test of creator codes. Um, EA is. They've literally got 10 people. It's like 10 simmers from all over the place, all over the world. Um, and they have creator codes, myself included. It's just, mine's just a little simsy. Um, so when you check out, like, buying a, a Sims pack in Origin, you can put, like, in the promo code section, code Lil Simsy, and then it gives me 5% of the purchase, <laughs> which is quite cool. Um, obviously it's a very limited beta, and it's only been for, like, a month, and it ends, I think, tomorrow. Um, 
so that's one thing to point out if you're planning on buying the pack or like pre-ordering it or whatever you can use my creator code um i you don't have to you can use somebody else's i'm just i'm i'm wanting this to go well because i would very very much like to see them expand this to like everybody i think that would be so cool um if like all of the uh creator network had creator codes like that a lot of other game companies have stuff like that um like epic games like the fortnite company does that and it's like really successful um so I would um, very much like to see that get expanded. Um, you put it, when you when you do it, it's under the promo code section, Nio. So where you would put like a discount code, but it's a promo, it's a it's like a creator code right now. I assume if they actually expand it to everyone, they'll probably make like a, a separate creator code thing that you could put in a creator code, but for now it's just a promo code. Um, doesn't give you a discount, but uh, it would it would work for me, so. Oh, you're fine, cool. Don't worry. Don't worry if you didn't use it. It's not a big deal. It's just like if you want to try it out, feel free. I'm not gonna like. I'm not, I'm not upset. Don't worry. It's okay, and it won't work on PlayStation, no, Marlon, because it it's purely on Origin. Um, so it doesn't work on console or on Steam or anything, because the console is like a different store. Um, Origin is EA's official store, so. Um, yeah, and it doesn't work on bundles. That's the only thing. It doesn't work on bundles. Um, it works on, like, the base game, every pack, but it doesn't work on, like, custom bundles for some reason, is what they said. Um, but again, tomorrow's the last day for it, so. But you don't have to worry about doing it. Like, I just, um, somebody asked, so I was gonna explain it. And the name, it's just Lil Simsy, just my username is the code. So, you used it twice? Oh, no way! I've used my own creator code twice because I, I gifted a pack twice. <laughs> Um, so I got to use my own creator code. Um, <laughs> um, not to brag, but I used my own creator code. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's just, it's just Lil Simsy. And again, it's not like a discount code or anything. It literally is a code that gives money to the creator that you're using the code of. So I would get 5% of the purchase. So it like, it takes away 5% of the sale from EA and gives it to the creator. <laughs> Um, it's kind of cool again because a lot of other a lot of other game companies have stuff like this um, And it's kind of a cool way to like give back to creators you like without having to cost any money for you because you were like already gonna buy the pack um, But again, you don't have to use mine. <laughs> it's just it's just a beta test. They're doing anyway, and it ends soon, but um, It's cool. So Really blue sky. Yeah, I've I've very I've played very little of sims on console. I don't have a console so I can't very easily play The Sims on console. Obviously, if I, don't, if I don't have one, I can't really do it. I played The Sims 4 on console before it came out at an EA event once, and that was, like, the only time. Um, so I, I haven't played console other than that, though. Oh, it's the lottery. We should enter. Oh, my power's been shut off still. I'm rampaging. I can't pay my bills because the power's off. Oh my gosh, she's got a stool! Wait, wait, do it again. Oh, the kids stand up. I haven't played with kids in telescopes yet. Oh, that's so cute! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Yeah, you can pay bills at a mailbox, Floxy, but my sim is rampaging, so we can't do anything. Um, so, I can't pay the bills yet. <laughs> yeah, you can pay bills on the phone, Hannah, but my sim is rampaging, so we can't do anything. <laughs> uh, when they're rampaging, it, it lasts like three hours when this fury thing gets full. They can't do stuff. And the kid can't pay them, no. The kid can't pay them. Can kids die with the telescope too? I don't know. I, I would assume yes, probably. I'm gonna age the kid up. Yeah, I just, I can't bake a cake yet because my sim is rampaging. Don't worry, we're all on the same page. We all want to do all these things. We just can't. <laughs> <laughs> we just can't yet because my sim is rampaging. All right, there we go. Now you can pay the bills. <laughs> um, I thought kids can't die. No, uh, children in the sims can. They can die from a few different ways. Um, they can die from, oh, maybe he can't get to it because it's like stuck. That's my bad for building it this way. Um, they can, I think they can freeze and overheat. Um, I think they can die in fires. They can drown. Um, and I would not be surprised if they can 
um, die from the meteor. Toddlers and babies can't die, though, and pregnant sims can't die. So, you know, Nicolio, I don't think a death came with werewolves, um, but they did add a new death to the base game yesterday. I built this house, Liminal, I built this house. Um, so I think that's kind of, that we didn't get one in the pack, but they gave one in the base game. That's kind of related to the pack a little bit with the meteor thing. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> I will gladly accept. All right, let's go age up the kid. Leave school early. This is Greg. Greg is uh, Greg's son. Also named Greg. Um... Greg aged up. Should I randomize the trait? No. Music lover and evil? That could be good. That could be good. Oh, Don, I have only good things to say about James Builds. I think this, this world is one of the better ones in the whole game because of James Builds. It's so immersive. It's really good. I think that evil and loves music is quite good. And maybe I'll give you, like, the music aspiration. Oh my gosh. You look just like Stanley. Wait, what does that say? Greg has grown into a full-fledged werewolf. He has gained a temperament and now has to maintain fury. He can also now seek out a pack, learn abilities, and partake in werewolf life. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so the one that he got is survival instincts. These sims seem to have an extra sense for danger, gaining additional fury while scared or tense and try extra hard to keep themselves physically safe. Okay, that checks out. We obviously don't have the transformation mastery yet because we only just were born, but let's go see what his wolf form looks like. I'm curious. Oh, Greg Humphrey Jr., you're so cute. You look a lot like Greg Greg. Like a lot like Greg, the real Greg. Oh, Greg Jr. is kind of concerning, I won't lie. <laughs> Greg Jr. is kind of scary. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yeah, the forms are automatically linked, and then you would have to unlink them to change it. So interesting. It does look a lot like Greg. Greg has a different wolf-like pattern, though. Oops. I think Greg has... I think this one is Greg's pattern, but he's got the same eyes as Greg, and I think their faces are sort of similar. That's so interesting. Oh. I don't really mess with occults that much. I assume the other occults have this too, but you can change like what parts to link too. Oh, and somebody was asking earlier, they were annoyed about the noses, um, being like the same color, but you can change the color of the nose. I don't know if you can see, but you can like customize the nose colors yourself. Um, that's not new. Yeah, I figured it wasn't. <laughs> um, you can also paint the nose in the paint mode, yeah, just like you can with pets. Um, but yeah, I assume that was the way it always was, but I don't really play with the Colts that much, so I wouldn't have known. <laughs> Can we dress him? Uh, I guess we could do a little bit of dressing of the Sim. I kind of forgot about that. This way you can see some of the more, some of the cast stuff again. <laughs> if the forms aren't linked, okay, so this is what it means by linked. Um, when the forms are linked, basically that means that, um, let me show you some of the werewolf cast stuff. Uh, when the forms are linked, if I put on a shirt, then the werewolf will also wear the shirt. Does that make sense? Um, but if the forms are not linked, then if I change this one's shirt, then it won't change on the wolf. Do you see what I mean? All of the, um, all of the occults in The Sims are like that. So that way you can have, like, the vampire's dark form be different than their human form and stuff like that. Um, but it's pretty good. No, Annabelle, the cast from Werewolves isn't still broken. They had a patch, like, an SDX drop came out today that fixed it. Um... So we had, that was the first time I saw the glitch, and then it was already fixed anyway. So, um, they fixed that already, luckily, which is good. 
Um, except aliens, sure. But anyway, the, the glitch is not going to be happening tomorrow when it comes out. Um, but that's what it was. There was it, it was a weird glitch from the SDX drop like two days ago, and they had to give a new SDX drop today to fix it. Uh, from my understanding. To fix it, like, when people were playing in early access, they had to take the SDX drop, like, folder out, the content folder out of their game so that it wouldn't happen anymore. It's really weird, but it's fixed now, so it won't, you won't have that problem tomorrow when the pack comes out. That was, like, purely an early access bug. Um, so you don't have to worry about that, luckily. Um, luckily. I don't really want to wear werewolf clothes. Um, they howl so much in cast. Yeah, they really do. <laughs> Oh, he's got Greg's eyes. And Greg's frown. <laughs> With Stanley's hair. <laughs> he's actually quite cute, I think. Huh. But he's naked now? I don't really think of the werewolves not wearing clothes as being naked. Um, I think of them as just being, you know, a wolf. Oh, we woohooed Greg. We had a baby with Greg. This, this is the baby that we had with Greg. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, this, in fact, is the baby that we had with Greg. And he looks, in my opinion, very cool. You want to get some shoes? I don't know. These ones, maybe? Don't wear, like, the ripped shirt. I kind of like that. You want the mullet again? We can have the mullet back. It's kind of a cool hairstyle. I'm into it. Okay, I'm done now. I don't really want to do cast. <laughs> I don't really want to just dress us him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I add Greg to my household? I guess we could. Um, do you know what we should do? Oh my gosh. We should have Greg's son go try and see Greg. I think that's the real thing we should do is, I'm on the wrong place, I'm lost, I'm lost. We should have Greg's son go try and see Greg and see what Greg does. Cause I think Greg will still hate me cause I'm a werewolf. <laughs> Morgan goes, oh no. <laughs> yeah, not a good sign, not a good sign. No, I think Greg's probably gonna still hate me. So, should I come attempt to distract? Oh, and that's not right. You beat me up, Greg! Watch out, Greg is transforming. Oh, I'm Greg. I thought he meant that Greg. I was like, oh no. Yeah, I'm Greg. And now I'm, okay. And now I'm rampaging also. So that's good. <laughs> oh, this is not going well, chat. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is really not good. <laughs> Greg? Dad? Oh, I can't do anything because I'm rampaging. Just howl. Just go for it. Do what you need to do, buddy. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge. You know what, besties? Today has been a lot of fun. <laughs> Today has been a lot of fun, I think. Um, I'm probably gonna get off stream here in like 15 minutes, um, just to warn you. I've been live for almost five hours. Um, but plans for this week, like other plans for the rest of the, the week streams. Tomorrow we're playing with werewolves again, regular time, 4 p.m. Eastern time, um, to sort of celebrate the pack release. But then tomorrow night, I'm gonna leave my Sims game unpaused overnight. The idea is that I wanna get a big household full of occult Sims, like a werewolf, a vampire, an alien, a mermaid. Like I wanna get one of everybody, spellcaster, you know, um, ghost even, <laughs> maybe Stanley, a hot dog. And then put them all in a house and then leave the game unpaused for like 12 hours to see what happens. Um, it should be pretty fun. It's kind of going to be a fun way to celebrate the occults coming out. So we'll do that tomorrow night, like overnight. Um, so we've got a couple more we werewolf plans for this weekend. That should be interesting. <laughs> Sounds epic. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> um, Stanley is the token human. Yeah, exactly. Um, so beekeeper, people keep saying plant Sam. Have you played with plant sims? Because, oh my god. The plant sims aren't really an occult. Like, the plant sims um, 
are like a half occult because they they don't stay plant sims permanently they get like they become plant simified for like three days and then it goes away so i wouldn't really consider a plant sim one of them in the sims 4 maybe in the older sims games but not in the sims 4 with the way they are i i probably wouldn't um it's more like a temporary condition yeah it's not really the same as the other occults so I wouldn't really class them as one. Um, we were talking about putting a tragic clown in though. I was like, tragic clown, hot dog Stanley, vampire spellcaster, werewolf. <laughs> like that's kind of the plan. <laughs> um, so that's that's kind of what I'm thinking we'll do tomorrow night, overnight. We'll just like keep streaming and then I'll just like, you know, I'll do my regular stream and then probably just like leave the game unpaused after. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but, there's, yeah, there'll be a mermaid, don't worry, I'm not gonna forget one. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, I'm now a werewolf runt. I'm getting the hang of the werewolf thing. Um, oh no. Now look at me, I'm off somewhere. We aged the child up, Fez. They're a teen now, and a werewolf. Um, but anyway, that's the plan, so it should be really interesting. Um, I've also got on my YouTube channel, I know a lot of you have, have said you've just come in um, and you like missed something and were wondering and you had a question or whatever. Um, I did post a video we doing, to... oh, sorry, I opened it. I posted a video reviewing the werewolf pack today um, and hopefully I have a lot of helpful information in, in that video. I try to show off a lot of stuff. Um, and tomorrow I'm gonna post the first episode of a let's play about werewolves on YouTube. So hopefully if, if you're looking for some more like condensed werewolf content, um, you'll be able to find it um, on my YouTube channel. And yes, Hope already finished the captions. Hope worked really hard to get the captions out fast. So there's already closed captions on that video too. Um, Hope does the closed captions on all of my YouTube videos, but sometimes obviously, you know, if she has work, <laughs> um, they aren't always up like immediately. We try and get them up that day or the next day, but. There are closed captions already. Sorry, I was like, hello, who is this? Why are you texting me these weird memes? You're texting? You're texting while rampaging? I will eat your sofa or unintelligible screeching noises. You're texting while rampaging? Teen werewolves do that? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It's just a teen thing. I love that. I was like, why haven't I seen this yet? Because <laughs> it's a teen thing? That is so funny. Okay, and now he's woken up um, confused and at the top of the mountain and he's evil cackling cool cool you can just tell i i i love this pack obviously because it's really good but also i can just tell how much the sim gurus that worked on it really really like this pack and like how much love was put into it i know they always do this for all the packs but like this one it feels like it was very meaningful to a lot of the people that worked on it and that just makes it i don't know it just makes it really good i think um Oh, the new temperament. Oh my gosh. The new one that we got is Grumpy Wolf. This sim might need a little extra rest in order to stay balanced. Okay, that checks out. <laughs> it was a blast when you appeared us to work on. I'm really glad to hear that. That makes me feel really good about this. All right, I'm going to get Ferocity so I can intimidate people. I want to get the Wolf Nap one. Maybe Territory Marking and like Voracious Hunger. I can devour objects to satisfy hunger perhaps. Should I come try? Devour. <laughs> Should we come try? Let's find out. You wanna come eat the couch? Oh! <gasps> oh my god, you weren't kidding! You literally- You ate the couch! Like, completely ate the cow. Yeah, I will eat your sofa. He said he would, and he did. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? So he has the scared moodlet still from like transforming. And he has the what have I done object. Undoubtedly it was delicious, but at the cost of Greg's humanity. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I kind of want to go, do you want to go like torment some townies? and eat their houses? Cause I do. <laughs> I'm like, let's go eat the goth family's house. <laughs> let's go eat their house. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Knock on the door, please. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Werewolf, devour. Werewolf, devour. I literally am eating their couch. Eat this. <laughs> I ate the whole table, like, with the decoration and everything. No way! And the way that his fun goes up, too. <laughs> I can, like, fully destroy their entire house. Okay, I'm- I'm grumpy because I need to sleep, but... <laughs> no, this is so funny. This is so funny. The fact that I can literally eat, like, anything. I ate the whole table! The whole thing is gone! I can eat their kitchen cabinets? You can actually eat anything. I can just- I can completely destroy the goth family's house. I can get rid of everything from their house. If I got Stanley here, I could start just, like, breaking stuff too. Uh-oh, I'm transforming. I did too much. <laughs> I did too much. Well, I could probably keep devouring, right? Yeah. Just because I'm rampaging does not mean that I can't destroy things. I'm a tier three werewolf already. <laughs> okay, we got the restless animal one. I feel too constrained while indoors and I gain extra fear without anything fun to do. Okay, that makes sense. Can I, oh, I can eat their appliances? No way. No, I, I feel like it's very important to me to destroy their entire kitchen. Simsy behaves like she's rampaging even when she's not rampaging. I do. Yeah, my fun goes up from this. My fun is full, so you can't see, but your fun does go up from this. As it should. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna destroy their entire kitchen. I have slowly but surely gone through and eaten literally everything in their entire kitchen. Literally everything in their entire kitchen. <laughs> Come on, finish it up. Let's go. You're almost done. Devour this. Can I eat the curtains? You can eat the curtains? Oh, I stopped rampaging. I'm gonna start again from this. Come on. Okay, we should go home. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. Okay, okay, okay. Back home, back home, back home. I need to shower or something. <laughs> the werewolf pack is so fun. There are so many things in this pack that are so fun. Like, so many little details and stuff. I really, really enjoy this pack. <laughs> I'm serious. It's so much fun. Um, I was saying in my review, so you might have seen this already if you watched my YouTube video, but if you didn't hear me, I'll say it again. Um, I think this pack is probably one of, if not the best, game pack for The Sims 4. I'm so impressed by everything that comes in it. It's so cool. And I think one of those reasons is that this pack feels very replayable to me. Like, a lot of times with, with packs, kind of the, the scale that I use is, like, how, how likely are you to use this pack again? Because, like, for example, with Strangerville, that gameplay is the same every time, right? Like, you, you solve the mystery, you save the town. It's kind of cool. It, it's, it's, like, four hours of gameplay, but it's the same pretty much each time you do it. It's not going to, like, differ based on your sim, really. Um, whereas with werewolves, this pack has four different aspirations, like four different main goals. Do you want to, like we just did, be a wild fang renegade? Do you want to do the other pack? Um, do you want to do maybe like the, the werewolf cure one? Do you want to be a lone wolf? Like there's all these different sort of paths to go down, but also with the skill tree and all these different temperaments, 
Like, they're completely random. They're different each time. These these two Sims have completely different werewolf temperaments, especially now that we've, like, re-rolled his, but... And then the skill tree, too, like, with the different things to unlock, they're different each time, you know? So if you were to play this again, you could play a totally different werewolf, and it would be a totally different gameplay experience, and it would feel like a new pack again. Um, and I really enjoy that about it. I really do. I think this is a really cool pack. So, um... Is Lil Simsy in a cult stand now? No, I don't look. Okay, here's the thing. I'm not in a cult stand. I'm probably not gonna play with werewolves again, like, on a daily basis, you know? It's just not really how I play the Sims. I don't really ever have vampires or spellcasters either. But I can also acknowledge this pack is really cool. Like, I've had a lot of fun playing with it. Like, this is a really cool pack. Like, <laughs> there's no way around that. There's a lot of really cool stuff in this one. So... Um, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I think you'll have fun with it. I feel really confident in recommending to you, re recommending it to you, you know? Um, it's really impressive. If you're gonna get any occult pack, if you're, like, kind of on the fence between, like, vampires or spellcasters or this one, I would, I would pick this one. This one, I think, is the best one. So, um, it's just, it's got so much good stuff. Yeah, Veronica, I think so. I think the code expires tomorrow. I don't really know what time, though, but it should still work tomorrow, yeah. Uh, my creator code should still work tomorrow, but tomorrow's the last day of the experiment. But I feel like they wouldn't close it, like, before the pack comes out, right? Um, it should be around still, but I don't, I don't actually know. They haven't said, so. It's worth trying, <laughs> um, but don't feel bad. It's, like, not a big deal. It's totally fine. Um, it's all just an experiment, but it won't work on Steam. No, it only works on Origin, um, and you can pre-order with the code. Yeah, it works to pre-order, too. So, Mooncast, I've got a creator code. They've got, like, a 10 creator, one month long, super mega beta test of a creator code program. It's not a discount code. Um, the code is Lil Simsy, and it gives me 5% of the sale. So, if you buy the pack, it pays me, basically. But it's a really super small beta test they're doing. Um, just, I assume to see if they want to expand it out in the future to, like, every person in the creator network. Across, like, not just the Sims, but, like, all the EA games and stuff. Um, but it's a very small beta test, and it ends tomorrow, so, um, but it isn't, like, a discount code or anything, um, it's just a way to support creators, and you don't have to use mine, don't worry about it, um, but tomorrow's the last day, so people are kind of asking about it, you know? Can you kill Stanley so we can see the grave pretty please? Oh. No, I can show you the grave in debug. There's a grave in debug, um, so I should be able to show it to you there. Testing cheats on bb.show hidden objects. And we should be able to access it from debug so you can see it. Said it wasn't available. Oh no, Andy, that, that, see, it might, maybe it closed already. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure, but it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's just an experiment. Don't worry about it too much. If it doesn't work, it's like no big deal. Let me go into live edit. Show live edit objects. Okay. Um... So, this is the werewolf grave. It's pretty cool, right? And then inside, this is the urn. Which is also quite cool. All the different, the different occult sims have, like, different kinds of graves. Um, this one's just, if it's floating on water, it'll look like this. If they die, like, if they drown in the ocean or something. Um, but that's the, uh, the different graves. So it's kind of cool, right? This one's really pretty, I think. I'm very impressed by it. Um, but that's the werewolf pack. We played it for, like, five hours today. There's still more stuff we haven't done yet. Um, but I do, I do think that, um, the fact that we became the, like, the pack alpha, I feel very accomplished. <laughs> you know, I feel pretty good about that. Um, and don't worry, tomorrow we'll play with werewolves again. I'm gonna make some new sims tomorrow, probably. And then we'll do the, like, occult on pause thing, obviously. Um. Oh, Greg's human form. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. I'll show you Greg's human form and then I'll leave. <laughs> we already showed it off earlier in the stream, but I've been live for so long. I might as well show you again. Um, fine, fine. Where am I? I'm lost. I keep getting lost in this world. Okay, this is where Greg lives. <laughs> this is where Greg lives. Nobody died. I was just showing the graves. Nobody actually died, chat. I was just showing off how the graves look. Um, oh, it's Harvest Fest. You're having a mood swing? Stop! You can't be serious. Okay. Greg. Oh, Greg. <laughs> Greg Jr. is actually Greg's kid, yes. Uh, Stanley and Greg had a baby. 
So here's Werewolf Greg. Very scary, very interesting. And here is Human Greg. <laughs> um, no, 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 Little Zika, my, all the trash in my build is debugged from this pack. I didn't use, it's base game and, and the Werewolf's pack. The whole build that we were playing on was base game and Werewolf's pack. But um, this is Greg. So. Gasp, I know. <laughs> Shocking, right? Anyway, today's been a lot of fun, everybody. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Um, I'm going to run because I kind of want to go eat dinner. <laughs> uh, but thank you for hanging out. Um, I'm so shocked. What, by Greg's human form? I know. So shocking and exciting. Um, but I'd like to go raid a friend, possibly somebody who maybe is playing with werewolves, perhaps? I don't know. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, I know that we raided Sasha this week because she was playing Sims 1, um, but my friend Sasha is playing with the werewolf pack right now also, and I think she might be doing the opposite, um, the opposite pack. So we did the wild things, I think she's doing the other pack. So it might be kind of fun to go over there and see what they're up to, um, and see, like, the other one, you know? <laughs> um, some other kind of gameplay, really. Um, but tomorrow we'll be live playing some more werewolves, don't worry. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I really had a lot of fun today. I hope you like the pack. I think it's really cool. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Hopefully you'll have fun playing with it tomorrow. Um, have the best rest of your day. Oh my god, Sasha is literally fighting somebody right now as we speak. Okay. Or people are fighting each other as we speak. Oh my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, go say hi to her. <laughs> and then I will, um, I will see you all tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Have the best rest of your night. All right. All right. All right. Good night, everybody. Okay. Goodbye. And stop streaming.